Welcome everyone to the finals for premium for BCS 2022. I am Kai. Here's I'm TIE Fighter. It's a beautiful sunny morning here in Los Angeles and we're very excited to be uh, bringing some premium games to you today. And this is the first tournament or first world finals back in real life meeting real people. This is the first time me and TIE met. So yeah. Hey. Good, good to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be very exciting. Premium is in a very, very cool state, I think, at the moment. And, uh, you know, there has been a recent change in the format. So there could be uh, some interesting things that could be happening. But first off, we do have a bit of a, some, some housekeeping to talk about. So sure. Let's kind of talk about the schedule bits that's happening. So you can see that we've got a, a couple of rounds happening. Yeah, right? yeah, a few. Max seven, but I think it's more likely going to be six. Uh, this is just a guideline, by the way, for everyone. I think we're, we are running slightly behind schedule right now, just because, you know, real life, real events. A lot uh, of moving parts to get uh, working in the right order, so. Yeah, so we, we'll keep you all updated, but, you know, just check out, check out the stream, keep it open, and uh, you, you'll be seeing some games. Yeah, definitely, least. definitely. Uh, we do have a really cool prize. Look at that. Oh yeah, the the very very shiny uh, Colonel Dragon next stage. Uh, this is very fun for me. Just like a very uh, kind of like a blast from the past type of card right. for premium. Uh, and it's very very shiny too. So one one lucky contestant today will be taking that home. Only one, only one. So gonna be an amazing prize card. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I would I would love to compete with it. Yeah right. <laughs> Or for it as well, you know, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is that is going to be the, the prizes, prizes, and uh, uh, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think, think of the current format? format? Uh, you, uh, know, you know, like, like you mentioned, mentioned uh, we, we did have a, a, a fairly recent ban list, list, but it was, I would say, somewhat, somewhat minimal. minimal. Um, we, we didn't, didn't see too many things hit, but I think they were. Uh, definitely impactful hits. So we're definitely going to see some changes from what we saw back in BCS. Um, but I don't know if it's going to change too, too much. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see like, you know, all our Narukami players out there, uh, how they've adapted <laughs> to having their one uh, stun verse, how they're going to work with that. Can't spam it quite as uh, frequently anymore, yeah, yeah. but see how they adapt to that. Um, Steam Maiden players as well. That was another like really big deck that we mm -hmm. saw all throughout BCS season. They lost their uh, turn-wide guard restrict, so that's we'll right, see how right. they've adapted to that as well. Personally, I think they'll still do pretty well. It's a very, think, very strong deck still. <laughs> yeah, if the core is all there, right? Yes, you know, yep. All the good parts about the deck is still mm -hmm, there, mm -hmm. minus the God Restrict. Right, and right. And we also have the uh, the good old Highlander. Mm, uh, the yes. Primal, that is uh, doing very, very well. And I don't know, it feels like there could be some movements, right? People Definitely. People might be going, hey, you know, maybe I'm, I was on the uh, vowing, say, reverse train, but mm. now... I'm, I'm a Highlander, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just jump clans, go for something uh, yeah, a little right. bit different, something uh, that they can uh, ideally... See too many like off the wall picks, but I do think there are some uh, very strong rogue contenders that we mm -hmm. could see pop up today. Okay. Um, I would like to see that. Um, we'll see how far they get. You know, maybe maybe there's a, a very strong anti meta pick, something that's got a very strong answer to Highlander that we could see pop up today that maybe we haven't seen yet. The so far. hidden tech. Yes, right, exactly, tech. exactly. So that's I'm, I'm a big fan of anti meta. I'm a big fan of rogue picks. Uh, would love to see something like that today. I know. Uh, I feel like Cradle Colony is a sleeper. Um, I feel like Ooh. I feel like that deck. I don't think people take it seriously enough. Uh, I've I've heard I've heard some mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. rumbling. So maybe that might happen. Um, so yeah, I think it'll be very interesting to uh, see what people bring. We, For sure. It'll be a closed deck format as well. So yes. The surprises. Yeah. Yes. The surprises. Definitely. The definitely. Text, the beauty. So. We, we should come back very, very soon. Currently, again, they're still uh, finishing off some registrations, I think, right? Yes, yeah. Uh, and still trying to get everybody into the building so that we can get started, so. Yeah, and after that's done, then we can start jumping into the games. Absolutely. And uh, continue from there. So uh, stay put. Uh, and we'll be right back. Be right back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool.
they're still chatting. Uh, looks like everybody else is in there. Break.
Card Fight Vanguard. The Glitters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising. Bushy Road.
question? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like they... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to BCS 2022, the World Finals for Premium. Uh, we are still getting some things set up. We have plenty of people still trying to make their way in, uh, but hopefully we shouldn't be too much long before we can start getting into all of the juicy action here today. Uh, we have, I think, what did we say, seven rounds? Six, seven rounds? Six, seven rounds. With Somewhere out there. there. Yeah, yeah, they're still registering players, uh, so there should be, there could be some differences. But, yeah, we'll keep you all updated. And, by the way, if you are an artist and you want to uh, get get a sleeve oh, that's design. Right. Yeah. yeah. We have the, uh, the the Dear Days sleeve competition. So, if you, uh, like Kai said, if you're an artist and you want to uh, design your own sleeve and see it in-game in the uh, Vanguard Dear Days uh, Switch, and I think it's on Steam as well. Steam, yeah, uh, that's right. You can uh, submit that, and then one lucky winner will uh, have their art chosen and be implemented in-game for uh, some custom sleeves uh, in the, the game there. So yeah. You don't even have to be an artist. You just you just draw. Get it out there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, everybody's got to start somewhere. If you have exactly. a pen, you got some paper. Why not? That's Throw right. your hat in the ring. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so I think we're gonna be right back. I think they're just finally finishing everything up. But yes, yeah. Be back soon, and then we can get the game started. Yes, we right can get here. going. We can get some uh, some <laughs> some action on screen for you guys. So thank you. All right. Cool. Card Fight Vanguard. The Glitters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising, Bushy Road.
I believe, yes, we are back. Uh, we uh, have uh, round one up. Uh, let's see, we have Brian Nguyen against uh, David Adipatama. Adipatama. Otherwise, otherwise known as Weirab, but I think the game has already started, so let's jump in and just just see what's going on. It's yeah, gonna be get very, right very into exciting. it, right into the action. It's, 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 it's the matchup that I think yeah, okay, hang on. I we, we all knew that this was going to happen today. I don't know if I necessarily expected it this early, round one, uh, but you know, let's just get it started, get it going. I, I, I think this is actually really dead. I don't know, man. I just got the You just called me to build? Uh, yeah. I believe uh, a lot of people kind of consider this the best deck in the format right now, so not at all surprising to. Uh, in the finals, oh, and, uh, right at uh, round one, uh, both players bringing out uh, the big guns. You know, Wait, that, that card's trash! Is it only plus? <laughs> Yo, you're trolling! Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. If you're at less damage, you don't lose. So. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's mostly the basic bang on such a right? Yep, yep. Not early. Yes, yep, yep. <laughs> Simply, just do not hit less damage. I 
It's just whoever opens better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that technically, yeah. But, yeah. And, uh, the deck is very peaceful. Mm -hmm. You're either searching for the hand traps or the right exactly. I, I, I do know I do know me. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah. Basically, get to play over. Yeah, five minutes. 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 Five Just, just for you. I know my friends are like, you know, all things about it. Wait, I know you're defensive. No. You hit her. Yes, yeah. That's pretty good. Little as I know about Highlander, I do know me some Pearl Sisters. I know me some Q-Tile. Yo, that's a shitty roll, too. I mean, that shitty roll, going second. Better than that, yeah. No, going second is terrible. Going first is good. Right. Because it doesn't look like a shot. Because I have a board. It's so warm here. It's so warm here. I'm one of those two, but I'm not going to be like, yeah. <laughs> That's what you mean by the first part that I went Yeah, this was, this was the one that I was thinking about. I, I think, uh, 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 Ryan not getting the right down there. I think he's probably thinking, go right down there. sitting kind of pretty at a cool zero that damage, been a good, so <laughs> right, I know, right. uh, looks like he's just preparing to oh, just kind of take a very yeah. heavy, aggressive push turn and ideally go not to six and then uh, maybe... It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> 
kind of need damage to uh, do a lot of things. So I think this is, this is a prime opportunity, you know, save some hands, don't want to uh, drop too much shield on a, a big game. Uh, Players can breathe a, a slight sigh of relief. They don't have to go just just one less round for those. Yeah, yeah. Our voices can just. Yes, we can also rest easy. So now onto the. Oh wow! He dropped the elementaria here, uh, and you know, stride does have. There. There's the Q tire. <laughs> Yeah, but how much hand are you willing to spend before uh, you have like nothing left really to, uh, to use on you? Oh, yeah. I don't want to guard anymore. Oh, it's like a PG. As, as oxymoronic as it sounds, a very <laughs> aggressive defensive strategy that we're seeing here yes. of just not taking any single hit. And I think, what is this, uh, our, our uh, third, fourth turn uh, for David here, and uh, still sitting at a very low damage. Brian, finally took one damage. I wonder if uh, how much it factors in playing a uh, a deck like Highlander, where uh, most of your cards are singleton copies. Maybe maybe he's just trying desperately to not lose any pieces to damage. <laughs> Wondering if that maybe might be some of the mentality here. Yeah, and then 
Is that three damage now? Yeah. Uh, very quick succession uh, took that three damage. It looks like he's debating where to put that force marker, but it looks like he is committing to stacking it yeah, on if that you, one If you there. stack it, it means you search for one. If you, mm -hmm. Well, you always only search for one. Sure, but if you sure. split it, it means you have like some kind of laser lot play. Because right. then you can call the laser lot on one side, and then your top deck can call the other side, and they right, both kind right. of hit. Which technically is an available play for David here. So he's still still deciding. Um, yeah, I think that's that's one of the the big issues uh, with a deck like Highlander is that you uh, you have so many options to you, and it's just a matter of all right, which one is going to fit the situation best here, and how am I going to get to that uh, desired game state? Yeah, the, the key thing is like when you look at the damage that just came out, there was no damage triggers. None at all. So yeah. the Lisa lot play is is legit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it looks like he did drop the Lisa lot. Yeah, and not having to uh, not having to search a Katir as well, because mm -hmm. maybe the hand is just that good. Maybe, you're, maybe. You're fine. Um, the other thing also is you could call the uh, uh, the Matoa as well, can do mm -hmm. kind of a similar thing. OT comes out. Ooh. Wow, okay. Ooh. So we not only are we starting off the day, first thing, round one, uh, the uh, Bermuda Mirror, but a uh, <laughs> offensive a OT. As well, on top of that. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's just make these uh, these uh, these rear guards even bigger. Well, actually, the OT is called of the Lisa lot, so that's the. Mm. As a, so, so we see an OT, but oh, so it was not checked. It wasn't okay. the check. It wasn't the check. So 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 not as explosive. <laughs> not as explosive. It's it's more a bit, bit, bit sad as well. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, oh, I could have triggered it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes. The damage uh, comes out, and ooh, was that a crit draw? This is a fast game. Yeah, yeah. Both sides, I think, is still hitting as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Spreading out those uh, those force markers coming through. Because, I mean, I guess that's kind of the the idea here is even calling something like your over trigger to a rear guard circle as long as it's not a force marker, you still have oh, potential wait, to. No, uh, I, I think the uh, the lethal one's not hitting anymore. But the. Oh, did we did we see a defensive? Trigger, I think he, he put, yeah, there was a defensive, but he, he put the trigger on the uh, the OT. So that's like mm. a twenty-five now. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. okay, that makes sense. Uh, David sitting on a pretty stacked hand, it looks like, though. Uh, <laughs> Brian, not so much going to his turn, but I'm sure that can uh, turn around probably. He did guard a lot. The issue is, like, what happens next turn, you know? Yeah. Is, is he really going to have any pieces to try and uh, push back is really what the question is going to be, I feel like. And be able to push back and also push through that hand that David has just farmed up. Yeah. His next turn is is going to be pretty much his last turn. Yeah. He has to got to make it count. Yeah, he's got to punch through like 14 cards, I think, around that. It's a pretty fat hand. It's a with, pretty fat hand. With two damage to work with as well. Yeah, David is yeah. only on three. And uh, yeah, so that's a, <laughs> that's a tall order. Even yeah, if, yeah. Even if Brian triggers the OT on the next turn, I still feel David has enough cards to do that. Because yeah. it's at least one PG. And I think that we saw like a Rolock as well. And yeah, yeah. I mean, Rolock's probably not, not very useful right now. But no, not, not, not at this point in the game. Um, but, you know, shield is shield. Maybe, so. Is that Pearl Sisters? Guarding with Pearl Sisters? Oof. Oof. Really not a great situation here, it seems like. Yeah, that's a... That's not great, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> looks like he's got one of the, the stride crits uh, pitching that for the uh, cost there. Or is that a G-guard? I can't no, tell what's a happening. No, it's a stride Okay, I, I, I got confused for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, th there is usually only one way. Like you, you, the, uh, the only, it looks like they're, they're quite, quite animated as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's round one. It's, it's, it's still, still within the range to kind of have a good time. <laughs> yeah, so there is like one, one card... The, the modern Highland that always goes into is that is Heltrotter. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes Tiroa if you just sure. don't yeah. have any CB. Yeah. Uh, but Even me as a non bermuda player, those are names that I recognize. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. The issue is with Brian's side is I only think he has four cards in the hand. Yeah, not, not a very fun spot to be in, especially uh, staring down your opponent at three damage and a... 14 card hand I think we said so yeah there's uh, not too fun to try and break through here with your uh, very much smaller hand size here and only one force marker as well That's, uh, yeah that is also a bit a bit painful as well uh, so at, at best Brian can call down like one card yeah and one of those soul in crits yeah yeah 
to be able to hit that three card threshold that you need for control this uh, skill. Uh, Let's see. And that top five looks. He's just gonna get the orange and discard it. Okay. The other issue is he's on a Tira, which I guess is okay. But yeah. It's gonna be a. I think it's going to be a very weak tier because, mm -hmm. again, one force marker is, that's not on Vanguard. Yeah, <laughs> not very ideal here. So, in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, in yeah. A bit of a pickle. And it, it's interesting, uh, you know, uh, I think it just kind of speaks to how kind of uh, explosive these decks can be. Uh, how, you know, Brian, you know, that very aggressive defense, uh, not taking any damage for the first, like, three turns of the game, and even, like, I think the first three or four attacks on uh, David's first stride turn still didn't take any damage, and then still got pushed from yeah. zero to five yeah. in a single turn. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if your hand is that, if you can defend like that, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just do it, but maybe sometimes the best option is to bounce it out a bit more, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because having damage isn't exactly a bad thing. No, Attacks no. You could say David has used his damage quite well. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely uh, seemed to fuel that uh, very uh, like big push that we saw on that last turn. Yeah, next turn, David, again, he'll probably want to just take some damage here because, you know, Hellshot requires one CB. Yep, yep. And requires another CB. He does, I think he does have the Reindeer in hand still. Mm. He's just going to take yep, this one. taking this one. There goes the second Q tire. Yep, yep. But just looks like now everything will be guarded. Yep. Discarding the last three cards in the hand. Uh, All right. Bouncing the Sedna. Camera focusing on the, the spike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, uh, this is this is what uh, I like to call a struggle stride turn, where you're uh, just trying to make the best with what you got. <laughs> yeah, it's not totally a struggle stride. You're still getting multi attacks to the true, Vanguard. True. True. Right? So, uh, in terms of <laughs> the value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the, the Justine got discarded, so you're able to call it out. Uh, but again, the issue is, you know, one force marker, your Justine is just, yeah. you're just sitting on the sidelines a bit sad. Uh, needs a trigger to kind of hit, but you know, you, your deck does, you know, does like, how do you say it, compress? Yeah, yeah. Deck thinning, deck winning. That's exactly right. Uh, just for the previous turn. Yep, yep, yep. So, so quite a few triggers already. Um, so we'll see from Brian's side how many triggers are going to come out. But yeah. Again, um, 14 cards in hand. Yeah. One more damage left to work with. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe a miracle won't. Uh, it's a six damage OT. Yeah. Six damage OT is maybe the out. But uh, in, even in those situations, all right. Six damage OT doesn't mean you ha get like enough cards in hand again for another that whole True, pool, right? true. Because now David also has the Kitai set up. Right. Yeah. Can, very true. He can go uh, just start farming hands again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, a six damage OT can save your life, but if you don't have the hand to capitalize on it, it uh, may not actually be that beneficial. PG coming out with a heal trigger uh, and heals off a thing. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I think we saw a Hanali on those drive checks as well. Yeah. Um, Thanks to the play cams now that you can see. You can yeah, see that yeah. A David is quite tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you lean in. <laughs> a great addition. Right yes, there. yes, yes. It's always good seeing Absolutely. how the plays, are, their expressions. Yeah, you know, yeah. The, the thought processes they may be going through. Whether they're under stress. Yep. <laughs> So the Helltrotter uh, activates and uh, out comes the Tira now. But this Tira is like 13k, right? Yeah, uh, it's a very easy guard here. So you can take a risk, but it looks like David would not want to. He doesn't want to yeah. lose to like OT crit. Yes, right? yeah. Like, if you have the PG, might as well just, just go for it. Especially, like, you know, on the the world's final stage right here, you know. Uh, yeah, you don't want to take, take any risks if at all possible. Risk. Yeah. I don't know if ooh, a PG comes out of that's, yeah. that's pretty good for Brian here. Uh, extra card in hand and a PG. And that's a draw? 
another draw as well. Uh, which, you know, I feel like if you're Brian, you're you're kind of thinking this is pretty good. Uh, trying to uh, get that hand somewhat, you know, back up after uh, starting with four cards in hand and having to discard three for the uh, was it uh, Heltrana Tirwa? Uh, one of the, one of the Bermuda strides. <laughs> so there actually was a world where you can put. Yeah, well, attacking the OT is actually very, very smart. He mm. knows uh, he's not going to kill David this turn. Right. So let's deny that 50k shield that yeah. <laughs> David can probably bounce the next Yeah, game. yeah. But David going into Leona. Wow. And this one uh, is going to <laughs> allow him to bounce something, yep, which is yep. the OT. Yep. Oh, that's uh, pretty good value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give him the, <laughs> don't give him the chance. It's like, oh, you want to swing at my uh, 50k shield? Well, I'll just add it to my hand right now. <laughs> Thanks, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for showing me what I needed to do. I wonder if David still has the ability to go into uh, the Pearl Sisters section, which mm, would mm -hmm, be mm -hmm. pretty devastating. Yeah, yeah. And Leona finishes the effect, and the last attack is Brian going to give one damage to David. Well, this one damage will... Like, David will likely take it. Right? Yeah, yeah. It will enable his Heltrotter into Ange. Yep. But if he doesn't take it or he decides not to attack into it, then he should still have the option of Heltrotter into Reindeer, which is mm. even more devastating in right. some ways. Uh, attacking into the Lee Slot's not bad, but by now I think you know, David is pretty much set up. So yeah, yeah. He doesn't mind letting it go. He's, he's, he's sitting in a very uh, pretty position right here. Very commanding position, yeah. And uh, even... The Pulse, the Pulse is still like pressure turn is just mm -hmm. insane. It's, it's just so much. He's at f Brian's at four damage, but yep. everything is near lethal. You know? Yes, yeah. He's a big attack into the lethal. Yes, okay. So he's just denying that yeah. last damage. We did see the Hanali off the uh, Brian's drive checks as well. So I, if I remember right, I do believe Bermuda does have ways to kind of cheat that out onto the board yes. uh, during the opponent's turn. So I think uh, denying that little bit of extra damage could potentially come in handy here to try and stave off some of the aggression here. Um, yeah, it really comes. It really comes down to what uh, what gets called off like the reindeers. Right, right. Because uh, if they get more regard attacks, then. Yes, it's pretty good. But yeah. With three Vanguard attacks, that there's not much you can do about that with Hanali. Pretty unfortunately. much. And you know, we're talking about a clan that can bounce not just your own, but your opponent's things. Your as opponent's well. things as well. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> so, absolutely true. Even if you call down that Hanali, not not exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can just. Uh, Get that back as well. It, it's, it honestly just kind of depends on what pieces uh, both players have in hand and how they can kind of uh, try and uh, play around each other. It's it's like watching fencing, you know, like they're they're yeah. going tit for tat, yeah. And then uh, but you slip up once, uh, That's you're gonna game. get that. Yep, it's done. <laughs> it's done. So I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be another hell troll because why, sure why 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 do not, anything right? else, why you know? <laughs> and uh, oof. Just depends what else he calls down. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Checking his damage here. See what's already gone. Uh, maybe getting a trigger count here, I think. Yeah, one thing you have to be very careful with Highlander is you have to know what's not in your deck. Yeah, you know? yeah. You run one of them, especially with Kutia, you want to call the correct Yes, card. yeah. You don't, you don't want to uh, call a name that's already been uh, revealed. And then... Uh, oh, there's the Aqua. Alrighty. Aqua means a second Katia. Yep. Because why not spam the one card that can uh, basically turn on everything else in your deck? Also <laughs> Search for everything. Deck, right? Yep, also. yep. Like we said, deck thinning, deck winning, especially in a game like Vanguard where uh, trigger checks can come in very clutch. And if you can go through your deck and pull out as many non-triggers as possible. Ooh. Ooh. We know there's one Pell Sister in the deck. So. All right. Oh, he's allowing, it looks like they're allowing him to just speed, speed up the process a bit. Good, good, good. Uh, getting the other Pell sister. So we've got the Pell turn set up. Yep. Usually in the Highlander mirror, people, they, they, they both know what the Kutir, Kutirs are like. You know? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think the Highlander mirror is one of those, although we say... Pell sister, Pell sister, GG, right? You're right, right. Uh, it does go, f it can go for a while, if, especially if you're both using a lot of the uh, the Katia plays. Right, right. Do -do 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 yep, yep. <laughs> card, you know? But here we go. Double, double Pell sister set up. They're going in. These are, these are massive. Yeah. 
These very, are very, very big. Very big columns here. I feel like, uh, you know, if you're Brian, you're probably starting to sweat a little bit uh, because, you know, your hand has not been as large, especially with the uh, very aggressive guarding we saw through the game. Um, we'll see what happens here. Uh, we could very likely be looking at the uh, the end of the game here potentially, um, yeah. unless we see a miracle, which you know it's Vanguard. Anything anything is possible. Yes, very very true. And also, if these are technically, if Brian wants to take damage, these are the ones that you probably will want to take because you know that there are two damage. Each. Yes. Yeah. The Vanguard might just only be one damage for now, but yeah. because of how compress the deck uh, is likely to be for David. Definitely, definitely. He could hit more than one critical. Yep. And later on, if you if you guard the Vanguard as well, those mm -hmm. other Pearl Sisters that are out might be a... Uh, oh, looks like that, that, is, that is one miracle. Taking it. That's a heal. That's, that's very good right here. Big help, for sure. All right, but so nice little 10k buff. Uh, lose, a, lose a damage there. But now these these are kind of scary because a six damage over trigger will not help you. Though. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, with with two crits sitting on the board, um, you need you need to hit uh, six damage OT and another heal to yeah, ideally yeah. make it through this. So, how many miracles are you gonna try and count on here? Yeah, that's uh, he's he's gonna guard this for sure. All right. Yep. Another heal. Real. So that's th that should be at least three heals gone. Yep, we saw yep. one earlier game. So right now in the deck, I think there's like an OT and a heal. Right. Here comes a Citron to call the Honolly. Interesting. Okay. So trying trying his best to kind of uh, stave off the the rest of the attacks this turn, or at least yep. make guarding easier, um, so that way he doesn't have to guard quite so many attacks. And here comes the Hell Trotter attack. So this is the third attack. Just bear in mind, if you're not sure what uh, Honolly does, it limits regard attacks uh, to the Vanguard from the fifth or more battle of the mm -hmm. turn. So uh, this being the third means David has one one more regard attack yep. before he has to start paying one CB for that. And with only one CB open, that can potentially be a uh, bit of a sticky position to be in. Um, unless, like you know, was mentioned, uh, he has a way to bounce that Hanalei <laughs> back to hand and just not deal with it right now. Yeah, and Heltrona does bounce things, but she only bounce cards on your side of the field. Right, so right. Unfortunately, can't bounce your opponent's cards. Anj was the one card that could do that. Mm, mm. Um, but David has decided to go into the Reindeer, so we won't be seeing that. Still three. Oh, going so so. This is a smart play. Instead of you know you have no way of getting over a Honolulu, right? But you sure, know, sure. You know what's big is Pearl Sisters, and if you yeah, boost yeah. them, they get even bigger. Yep. <laughs> so here comes the. He's, he's putting the Justine as well behind the Vanga to boost. So here's a first check, then a second check, and a third check. Very looks very blank. I think the yeah, last one was yeah. I think that was three blanks right there. But this is fine, because mm -hmm. your next regard attack still comes in with a crit. Yep. And it is huge. Absolutely massive. Yeah, and I think, uh, so we had the uh, the one PG drop there. I'm not sure if Brian is sitting on another PG or not. Um, well, well, oh, there it is. You know what? There, there it is. <laughs> what else do you do right here, you know? Well, I, I think he's out of PGs. He's used a lot of defensive cards yes. in this game already. Yes. Uh, let's see. That's that's two PGs just on this turn. We've already seen the Elementaria get taken out. Um, I can't remember if we saw the the last PG, but uh, how likely is that to be in hand at this point? And I don't think we saw it on those drive checks last turn. And I don't think Brian has many cards in, in his hand. No, I think he's looking at a two, one, two cards left. One. Yeah. Looks like one. Looks like a no god. Yep. Uh, for a trigger check. <laughs> I, I think that's kind of the, the smart play there is guard the uh, the two crit swing and uh, maybe hope Let's you check. see OT or heal on Ooh, the... that was blank city. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that's the game, though. <laughs> and wow. Wow. That is a... That was a... That was a first game of Highland Mirror. Yeah, right. yeah. For round one, uh, right to the, uh, the mirror match. Um, I understood 
a little bit of what was going on there. I'm glad I had you here to kind That's of help right. guide me through it. Teamwork, I, we'll, teamwork. We'll, we'll probably be seeing uh, a couple more of these, and uh, we can kind of uh, maybe I'll, I'll feel it out as we go. Yeah. You, you are the viewer, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm, uh, Learning I'm as a, we go. The, the surrogate for the viewer here. Yeah. <laughs> at least in, in these in these matches. But yeah, that was a that was a great gameplay by both players. Two different kinds yeah. of styles. It was very interesting. You know, it was like very polar opposite. Uh, Brian going in, like I said, with that very just aggressive defense, and then uh, David with just a very aggressive aggression. Yeah, <laughs> you know, aggressive so. using taking the damage, but also just using that resource yes, to the yeah. T. Right, yeah. every time he every turn he knew how much damage he wanted to take and how yeah, much he was yeah. going to use. And I think that was the biggest difference uh, in, in regards to how this game yeah, played out. Yeah, how it was played out. Eventually, Brian just ran out of hand. Yep. Well, David had a lot of hand. A lot of hand. <laughs> a lot of hand. Damage to work with, you know. Um, and, yeah, that, uh, that first stride turn. Yeah, didn't really have much hand to work with, <laughs> despite having all the CB in the world. But yeah. So with that, yeah. I think we're going to go into a short break before uh, round two begins. So stay put. We'll be right back with more games. Cardfight Vanguard. The Glitters have obtained great strength yeah. in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back yeah. too. Like Booster Pack, Minerva Rising, oh, nice. Bushy Road. Oh, wow.
to show up there. Oh, uh, just like this? Or uh, yeah. I think it, it, won't, be okay. it won't show up here, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. Another goal. If, if, uh, I'll, I'll look on it when we're doing it, and then uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be good now. Sure. Yeah. All right, cool. cool. Okay. We'll see how it goes.
that's a versus team thing. Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah. They, they axed that because the players weren't coming out. Certain players weren't coming out on it. So, okay. so they, they axed that, so we're just going to go like player one, player two, and then into the match. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. And then I guess they'll update the scoreboard and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'll relay that information once I have it, and I'll plug it in so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's cool, fine. cool. And then I'll, I do apologize for the time things, the breaks. It's just kind of like they're getting things adjusted. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. We're, we're happy. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Just relax. <laughs> yeah.
Mike Schwartz guy is sitting out there too. I feel they might be. starting in 15 and everyone's already in that stuff.
Welcome back everyone, it is round two of premium and I mean first game was pretty cool but I can guarantee you this second game is going to be a very interesting one. Yeah, we, we got some uh, some spicy picks here, it's going to be uh, very exciting to get into. Um, real quick before we get into the rounds, just wanted to remind everybody again about the uh, Deer Days sleeve design contest. Again, artist or otherwise, if you feel like uh, trying to get some uh, art published in the uh, Deer Days video game, uh, have some custom sleeves for that, go ahead and uh, uh, try your hand at it. Yeah. Got nothing to lose, right? That's great. <laughs> and uh, speaking of that, look at this. We have Andrew Lawrence Kondrick uh, on the left. And he, he's, he's getting ready to go. I think he's on his phone. Right. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's oh, yeah. looking uh, Got to get their strats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very focused. And and Ty, Ty Smith. Ty Smith, the other, the other Ty. <laughs> you, can, you can hear him even when he is silent. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hear him all the way here. So, yep, absolutely. Uh, can't wait. This should be a very interesting game. We have, I think, Ty, Ty qualified with a Narukami deck. Back he there. did, yeah. I believe that was BCS Chicago. And, uh, and now it looks like Ty gets a start with Narukami, but on the left, that looks like a Gize deck. What Look is at that. Yeah, what is going Narukami, on here? Narukami, you expect to see. Uh, Gize, maybe not so much. Uh, Gize, but which clan? Well, it yes, is actually yeah. the Shadow Paladinos. Yes. Right? And uh, that's that's a weird combination. Yeah, know? yeah. Normally it's, uh, it's what you call a... Uh, Angel Feather? Angel Feather, yeah. Angel Fe Angel Gize, that's a, that's a very popular deck. We see uh, Ty starting us off here. He rides the Nusku, uh, just doing some Narukami things. Uh, check stop Whoa. five for an Arcator. Here is a bit of tech. Interesting. Yeah. So we have Salire here. And this this one Soul Blast and reveals a gray three from your hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can put a gray three from your drop and put it on top of your deck so you can spam those. Heal Guardians, and we have a Klesina on the left for some reason. But it's, uh, <laughs> now that we know the cards are working, yep, yep. Uh, which we was a bit of an issue before, but hey, here we go. So let's, let's we can bring it on screen and show everyone. Uh, ooh, boom! Technology. There we go. Oh, wait, wait that's still Klesina. What? <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Hey. Here's the correct card. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and then the one damage on the Narukami side as well. Uh, uh, Rolok going to damage. Kind of interesting. Rolok was really played a lot because Narukami is it's a really good grade two game. You yes. Know, Demolition yes. Dragon just makes every game work. Yep. Uh, and then if you stay there with a Rolok, you basically win every single game, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> so that's pretty good. But there's another card that is similar to to, uh, to Demolition Dragon. And that is Spark Rays Spark Dragon. Spark Rays, yep. yeah. It looks like he uh, rode the Spark Rays, got himself another Spark Rays. Uh, maybe that was off the Nusku here that we just saw come down. Yeah. Um, you know, that's just, you know, how uh, Eradicators like to do. Oh, okay, Whoa, so we demolition. are committing to a very aggressive board right here. Uh, double demolition is also very scary, especially uh, with the, uh, the Spark Rays on Vanguard. Uh, just get a very cool draw, too, uh, while we're at it. Yeah, but cards don't really matter in this matchup uh, in your hand because, you know what? You, know, it's, you just take five damage. Yeah. It usually comes out, right? But a heal guarding comes in clutch for Absolutely. Andrew there. Uh, one, of the, one of the greatest additions to the Gizeh lineup is the heal guardian. Definitely. Do note that because of... Uh, because of how it is, Gize. Yeah, you don't yeah. get trigger power, but nope. heal guardian power is pretty good. Yeah, heal guardian power is uh, very handy. And look at this nice, nice little bit of a tech. Uh, okay. Whew. Yeah. See, this I, this is I what I was hoping to see. Something like this. Something something. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm excited to see it. <laughs> I, I don't think he... Well, he, he has to reveal three grade threes, actually. So there, yes, there, yeah. He has it. He has it. And now he gets to start getting that, yep. that uh, engine going. And we'll see a, a Stark flipped up first. Yeah, one zeroth already on the way. And wow. Ooh, okay, going straight into a Descendant. This is actually a very, very strong kind of play here uh, because you just get to do uh, Spark Rays again, you know, especially with that uh, uh, Demolition Dragon right behind there. Um, just continuously uh, threaten your opponent with some on-hit draws and also uh, some, some binds from drop too uh, with the demolition. Kind of start getting the ball rolling early potentially. Yep, and uh, one of, the, one of the, the strats here is when you fight a Gize deck, you just go, let's just go in. There's no way he gets trigger power, so it's yep. very hard for him to guard. Yep. Uh, there are some times when you want to stop attacking though. 
Yeah. But it really comes. Ooh, that is that is that a is a very, a, a very just a, a aggressive uh, back row there. Uh, just all three demolition dragons. Uh, Ty Smith uh, choosing violence today. It seems like. Yeah, just going all in and Vanguard attacks first. No trigger. It's fine. Uh, and then look at those draws. Yeah, just a <laughs> just a bunch of draws. Just a yeah. bunch of draws. Playing we, aggressively, drawing a bunch of cards. It's uh, very good. The sad thing here is that you know that Andrew's hand is just full of grade three. You know? Yeah, yeah. But in a way, he does have a heal guardian play because he just put on something true, that can trigger true. it. True, true. So he continues to do it. Yep, right. yep. There it is. And uh, the last attack. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, he's, mm. I think he's just swinging all of it in. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. All Rides right. old Luard. Yeah, uh, drag fall Luard right here. Uh, classic card. <laughs> See. A lot of new Luard builds have kind of been opting more to the V lineup. Yeah, it's a very, very aggressive push early. Um, but I, I do think there's there's some room for uh, drag fall still. Uh, can potentially get yourself that kind of uh, free strides, but I don't know how important that is going to be. Uh, here, especially since he's going to be trying to go for Giza, but we only have one Xeroth up. Uh, well, what do you go in in Luan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you, you Drop Zone is not necessarily set up to do a Morfessa. Maybe we try and do Morf uh, Morfessa. There, there it is. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe we'll see. Like, I mean, at, at the very least, you maybe get a draw two. I guess. Uh, you could, like, just win, you know, just attack a couple times, crits. Yeah, yeah. The, like, there's so many threes in Andrew's hand. It is so bad. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, you, you can prepare all you want, but every now and again, maybe your deck just decides, eh, not today, not today. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's still a bit far away from his zero. Uh, yeah. Oh, Gize. Um, Imagine having to turn over that card every, every yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, I think, uh, with uh, Ty as well, just like he has just come out of the gate not pulling any punches and is just uh, really trying to push here. And especially with Andrew, like like was mentioned, that uh, that <laughs> very heavy grade three hand, uh, not the best spot to be in. But he's, 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 he's digging for something here. I think Andrew just drew another grade three as well. Yeah. Attacking the re now. It's the classic. Yes, yeah. He's on one damage. Let's just... Gizia does five damage. Let's yep, push to yep. six. The heal goes off again. Ooh. That's pretty handy, actually. It's pretty uh, good. Ooh, and the, a draw trigger as well. Go ahead and get yourself another Xeroth. We're at three Xeroths here. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? You know, not your typical Morfessa turn that you typically expect to see when the card hits the board, uh, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Yeah, this game has been a... Quite the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, what do you? What do you? I, I was. I would normally say, you know, if you stun versus as Narukami into Shadow Paladin, especially mm -hmm. Luard, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty devastating because they lose yeah. all the grade ones. But uh, this, this is not the. Uh, this is not the Luard deck is, you're looking for. No, you know? this is this is <laughs> not the board you want to see as a Narukami player either. Because ideally, you'd want to be going into a Steve here, but with an empty front row, Steve is basically useless. Uh, well, that sweep command. But exterminate um, is still pretty good. Exterminate yeah. is very good. And if your opponent's just going to give you an empty front row, why not like, just go for it? Uh, he did lose the Cho'o last turn. Uh, so unless he can pull out another one. Uh, I mean, this could get really scary really quickly. Uh, he actually does here. have the sweep command. So he can still get another Excel circle. And then going True. to exterminate. But after that, he's just going to get damage choked uh, yeah. for a very long time. I think he might actually have to bind something in order to get that uh, Excel circle now. Oh, no, no, just riding and get an Excel Just riding. Yeah. Oh, true, 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 true. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking way too far ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like, he, the, the, he, he's going to be stuck on one damage. One scary thing to think about is that, although, yeah, Gizeh does deal five damage, you, know, you mm -hmm. still have heals, mm -hmm. OTs. Yep, yep. Uh, that can kind of stop you from just immediately dying. Yep. Uh, and then the, the clap back from... A Narukami play, just going to exterminate is ve still very, very scary. And yes, still hits yeah. over like certain numbers uh, without much difficulty, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or even like a GBA doesn't like. Yeah, that, right? yeah. Uh, I, I'm just curious on how 
the how mm. Andrew wants to gain a lot of hand because you know when you have a huge hand on the Giza, you're basically not undefeatable. Yes, right? yeah, uh, uh, really high base power. It doesn't take. Wait, is that a stun verse? I think that's a stun verse. Interesting. Okay, so he's just gonna, uh, you know, rip apart the drop zone. Um, I think he's just going for that. Uh, gonna try and go for that because I think he stayed on the descendant. So going to try and pressure with that uh, restand potential. Um, just trying to maximize attacks, it looks like. The best part about Stunverse is that Stunverse is free. Yes, you very, know? very free. It only requires a Soul Blast and, uh, hey, le leaves your CB free. Yep. Let's you yep. do a big push. The we okay, the here is the here is the most important part I think that he, uh, Ty has to be really careful here is mm. if he hits one damage here and that's a trigger uh, you go to f you go to four zeros yep and then anything after that means he's unlocked Gize, right yep yep a lot of players what they do is they like to hit to the four mm -hmm. and then pass yeah and that gives them another term of just bashing into a, like an eleven k. A body yeah, before yeah. having to deal with the 30k. Yeah. And now this side's swinging. In. He's, it looks like he, I don't know, maybe he's just going in. He just wants to draw more cards. Yeah, one, seems like it. One thing you have to be careful about, if you draw too many cards, the Giza actually just decks you out with the 5 damage as well. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, draw trigger. Yeah. Uh, and there is the fourth. There is the fourth. Oof, okay, yeah. Ty, Ty doing a lot of uh, drawing here. Uh, that, that full back row of uh, Demolition Dragon has been doing some work. But like you mentioned, uh, could, in the long game, potentially come back and bite him? We'll just have to yeah. see. Yeah, and is Ty going to risk the last attack? He's thinking about it. Yeah. He's thinking about it. <laughs> huh. Ooh. Ooh, he does the pass! Okay, pass. He does All the right. pass. All right. Okay. Now... Let's look at let's look at the Luad here. Do you go into that Morfesser again? Yeah, another <laughs> another like uh, call down two cards, uh, retire them, draw two more cards, uh, just try and like build yourself up, especially. I, so here's the thing: what Andrew can actually do is he can actually just give damage. Yeah, you yeah. Because you know, if you put him to two, that means there's a high chance of just winning. Yep, yep. Right. And realistically, what's the difference between one and two? Damage? Right, right. Well, there is a difference because that means yeah. Ty gets two exterminate turns. Yes, but yeah. Really, you know, let's see, you could go for that confirmed kill. Yes, yeah. Or the less confirmed one, but playing hyper right. safe, right? Actually, attacking, like here, if you go for the damage in Nye play, though, the nice thing is you'll attack into the Cho. Mm -hmm. And with if you did attack into the Vanguard, you'll be able to do like an exterminate Cho and get that extra attack. Yeah, yeah. But four damage, maybe maybe it's fine. Yeah. Maybe it's fine. Hand size is not great, though. <coughs> I have to say the hand size is not yeah, great. Yeah, uh, especially, oh, looks like that's what we're doing. Going back into the uh, Morfessa, Morfessa here. Morfessa, yeah. Uh, proccing the uh, drag fall. Pulling out, I believe that is an a Belial Owl? Is that a Belial Owl? That, that, that yes, looks that like is. I, th I believe owl. that's Belial Owl. That's old, old Belial Owl, eh? Yeah, yeah. We're, wow. we're, we're uh, playing some GBT 13, it looks like. That's a, uh, you know, the good thing about Belial Owl is that it draws cards. Yes, yeah, which is uh, <laughs> uh, something that uh, Andrew is probably really looking for right now. Yeah, we can see the, uh, look, this, this is so old school. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very old school. And we've got the domains to thin out the deck as yep, well. Yep, yep. Try and uh, just maximize those trigger chances. Uh, let's see. And you know you can still heal as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he, I think I think the, the cool play that we saw Andrew do was the the get the heal and stack the heal and heal down again. Yeah. And you get yeah. like double value from that. It's really cool. Playing the witches as well. Wow. Like okay. So <laughs> very interesting here. What 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 exactly is uh fem fem doing for this deck here? That's what what I'm curious about. I am very curious as well. I mean, Shadow, Shadow Pound and Gize is is not a <laughs> it's not a huge thing, and that does have it has an act effect. Let's see, it chooses two great zeros, uh, and ma makes your opponent call them uh, to regard circles of grade one or greater. Okay, know, so I th but th that's a. What is that, a Vanguard skill? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is a Vanguard so skill. I, so I guess this is for the Grade 2 game? Uh, so this is just a body on board at this point, I'm guessing. But is he using the effect? Because I don't think he can, right? No. Uh, he, 
I think. Did he use an effect? Well, he's calling two great zeros. So is that correct? Uh, let's 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 uh. Take so let's see here. Well, let's take a look at that. Is that a? Just checking the witches, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And okay, it looks like he's just going to attack into the rear. And going to for the uh, the zero, the stand trigger, the counter charge yeah, stand yeah. trigger. Yeah, so I think the judges are looking at it now. Okay. Honestly speaking, it makes not much difference because there's yeah. still cards for there to retire. So I think they're just going to put back the cards, yeah. Okay. It's very easily reversible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We the, we, 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 we've not gotten too far away from the game state, so. Yeah. So, probably just like a warning or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, still, the attack is <coughs> likely going to attack into the Churro because Churro is yes. the most devastating yeah, card out that of Yeah, that is absolutely what you want to do here. I think he's going to no guard this. Yeah, first check. There's another heal. Get that fifth Xeroth up. Ooh, here it is. Are yep. you ready? Uh, Let's see. Where, where is this one attacking into? The. I guess is that a that a spark raise on rearguard that he might be trying to swing into? Yeah, here? but you know, it's cool the damage deny, but at the same time, yeah. you're ready to go, right? Yeah, but yeah. I, I, and if he's swinging into Van, uh, getting him at two just kind of helps. Uh, mitigate any well, chance. Well, he's actually guarding, guarding oh, the spark interesting. raise. Okay. okay, okay. And this is 18 into probably the same place. Okay. Another, is that the uh, double Unruly Dragon? Oh, no, it it actually, I think it's okay. less power. It's ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So Unruly Dragon was actually uh, guarded with. Yeah, um, which I think in this matchup is probably the play because, uh, you know, once those Xeroths come down, what is, uh, <laughs> what is the Unruly Dragon really going to be doing here? So Andrew has healed a lot of times this game. Hasn't yes, he? Yeah. yes he has, uh, which I think is exactly what he wants to be doing here. Uh, just constantly abusing those heal guardians, constantly uh, procking those trigger effects just to get those uh, Xeroths up. Uh, so we're seeing all five of them up. Um, so we have the sweep command called, uh, called in the Vanguard now, getting yep, another yep. Excel circle. Uh, and this should be the exterminate turn. Yes, you, you'd, you'd think. Uh, question is, uh, it's not going to be too aggressive, because Ty's only got one damage to work with, so he can he can proc the um, he can proc the exterminate, but we're not looking at any Cho'o's this turn, which I don't even know if he has any Oh, he's going to Esperal Ooh, Esperal okay, so uh, change of plans, we do have some multi-attack this turn, because really at this point I feel like this is, uh, it's getting pretty close to do or die uh, for Ty right now Ty basically has this turn and the next turn before he has mm -hmm. a high chance of losing. Yep. But with Esperal Diaz, uh, there, that can make his push turns very strong. The, the yep. problem is that there's there's a situation where he'll be able to have CB this turn, but the next turn he might not have CB unless he gets that stand trigger mm -hmm. that he showed before they can counter charge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the nice thing now, though, is that he can kind of get rid of uh, front rook, buying front rook cards. Yes. With yep. the sweep command, which is, I guess, uh, it's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> Open that front row for that exterminate. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a little I bit of card kind draw, of, too. Kind, kind of pointing out what it does. Yeah, yeah. Last turn would have been the, the most uh, perfect time for it, though. Um, mm. But you do want to get the maximum, maximum power. The yeah. Empty, empty power there. Interesting that I think he just wiped out uh, a column rather than uh, clearing the front row. Yeah. Um, interesting uh, choice there. And the double Esperal Dia and the Spark Rays. But mm. this, I don't think. He, well, if he gets a. If he runs Suheal, he'll be able to retire the front row for free. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be a bit difficult. Um. Yeah, I don't think yeah. there is a way no. without the, the Suheal, right? Mm -mm. Looks like, uh, let's see. Oh, he's uh, pitching a PG for the cost of Nusku there. Yeah, you don't uh, really need too many of them. No. Worst case is you're just guarding the the, the, the 
use A and the zero offs later yeah. on, but they don't get any trigger power in the end. So Ty's deck is also looking very, very thin <laughs> right about now, uh, yeah. which can be a good and bad thing because I don't believe we've seen OT from either side yet. Um, and if Ty has that OT, uh, that He's could... He's only getting 10k, though. Ooh. Yes, yeah, Ooh. which is uh, not ideal. Like, it's very, very interesting here. I think there's still mostly two card guards, though. I, so yeah, be, uh, because, uh, you know, he doesn't really have to worry about any uh, defensive checks. Yeah. Uh, so I guess 10k is enough, you yeah. know? And the hand size is still not high. Yeah. If Tiger like if Ty gets the OT this turn with like a crit or something, that yes. actually just could be game. And it seems like I, I think that's probably the out he's playing to right here after calling down those double Nuskus and things like yeah. that. Trying to trying to compress his deck as much as possible to raise those chances as high as takes, possible. Takes takes one damage. Uh, Nix comes the the spark ray. Yep. Yep. Column. Takes this one as well. Boosted Nothing. by the... Okay, and Going he is draw? drawing. Interesting. And the second, the okay. third attack. He's just taking everything. Woo. Yeah, I, I mean... Let's see. Uh, PG here for the exterminate. And he's standing the SPL. Yep, do yep. Don't forget to do that. So first check. Thanks, Jude. Crit. There's a crit. Okay, and... Surgic, nothing. Okay, got a got a descendant, but that's not doing anything for you right here. Uh, so this is 19 and 8, 27, 37 mm -hmm. with a critical. Uh, heal guard comes down. Okay. So I think the, the pretty cool thing that the binds have been doing is it's been kind of sending away grade grade one or less from the deck right? yeah, uh, from the yeah. drop zone, mm -hmm, which kind of mm -hmm. denies the new G guardian. That uh, is yeah. really good. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, basically functions as a perfect guard without the Sentinel keyword, which can be relevant in certain certain matchups for sure. Yes, yes. And Andrew's taking the fifth damage. Oh, there's the OT he's guarding with. And the l lost attack was guarded. And now we get to see okay. the ultimate stride. It's, uh, it's go time. We're going to... Oh, he's going into uh, getting himself a, uh, a marker. Force marker? <laughs> in my Dragfall Luar deck? <laughs> Is it actually Dragfall Luar at this point? <laughs> right. <laughs> and going into... It's uh, Dragfall in name only. Here we go. And yep. There's the Gize. Let's, let's bring up the Gize. We haven't seen this this in a while. Yeah. <laughs> so right there. Woo. There it is. And all the zeros are out, going into the Esperaldias, because you've yep. you got to take them out to stem, stem the attacks. But I've... Ooh, draw trigger. Okay. That's pretty good. Yep. Ano and ooh, another, another draw one. trigger. Okay, there's all the triggers we haven't really been seeing this game. Yep. Got... Oh. Oof. Should just be, yeah, 25. Yep. Just sanctitude on that. All right, okay. there we go. Okay. And then now, Ty's turn. Uh... You this can't is, exterminate, uh, though, which is... Yeah. Uh, he can and he's Vanquisher. already used a stun verse. He can vanquish her, actually. Mm, that's true. That's true. Let's see. And he could also... He doesn't have GB8, though. He's way too... But yeah. Okay, yep. There's... Uh, which one is that? Is that Voltage? Voltage, yeah. And this is... Now, we, we the whole game... Ty has been just binding a lot of cards. Yep, yep. And now it's coming into effect because, wow, those things, are, I, we, we don't know the power, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but they should be pretty big. Presumably large, They get yes. 3K for each card in the bind zone. Right, right. Which and I think, uh, have we gotten a bind count yet? Looks like that's quick, what that is right there. Count, yeah. <laughs> Which actually gives more power than what the exterminates would have done in yeah, uh, the previous yeah. turn, right? So this is getting like a plus, let's say a random number, like a 24. Eight right, cards in right. is pretty easy to do. Yeah, definitely. Especially after a stun burst. Uh, so this, uh, those Esper ideas are hitting for like a lot of power. Yeah, a, a very, very big. And I think, um, you know, despite his deck getting uh, pretty thin, uh, riding that other sweep command, getting yourself an extra marker just to build the board wider, also giving yourself an extra soul to uh, really capitalize on those two Esper ideas that are still on board. Yeah, just putting in perspective there, he had to... 
Andrea Degard with two cards, so 50 to 10 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. against the Esperaldias. And he's yep. 30k base. That's a 55k yep. power all up. Yeah. So they were hitting for just under that. Heal trigger, does it go off? Uh, does it get some power? Uh, this is, you can, you can definitely tell Ty is like very much in a do or die. Uh, mentality right now because on <gasps> there's the OT. Ooh, that's not ideal. Yeah, actually, the hundred million is great, but I think he just showed that he only had three cards in deck. He can't actually attack with the Vanguard anymore. No, un unfortunately. And if uh, he doesn't win, yeah, and ooh, there, there it is. is. Wow. Okay. There wow. Is. Hits the OT. Uh, what kind of a a. a Bit of a lackluster OT, I would say. Like, still 100 million 100 for sure. Good. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that extra effect is basically uh, lost on you at that moment. Uh, but honestly, you know, like we see here, doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So, pretty much, that was that was how Narukami deals with your uh, Gize. Your Gize deck, yep, right? yep. <laughs> Very, that, very interesting matchup. Very uh, well played, I would yes, say. Very yeah, well yeah. played. We saw some nice kind of. Gimmick plays in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Stacking those heals. Uh, that's right. That's checking right. them constantly just to have a consistent way to check triggers, to flip up your Xeros, to go into your big uh, Gize play. Unfortunately, uh, it seems like Ty was, uh, uh, knew what he needed to do, needed to really, really push and just not uh, see that turn because that is kind of the weakness of Gize. Is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a slow start. Very explosive, but a bit of a slow start. If you can get there faster, then uh, that's all the more power to you. Yeah, in a way, probably the worst matchup for Andrew as uh, you know, Ty, big fan of yeah, the old yep. format. So he definitely <laughs> knows how to combat that geezer. And we saw like those correct plays, yep, those correct yep. stoppages, and the correct way to just like kind of push damage. Yep, yep. Right. So I think that was very, very good. Very well played uh, from both parties. And with that, that round two is finished. Round we'll two is finished. Stay put, everyone. We'll be back very, very soon for round three. Uh, and see you more games. See you soon. See you soon. Card Fight Vanguard. The glitters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising, Bushy Road.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Finals of the Bushiro Championship Series 2022. Uh, we're very excited to be back, uh, getting ready to get back into some games. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling, Kai? Feeling really, really good and still some really good games so far. And yep. uh, look, plus one more thing, right? If you want get to get your art out, get it on the sleeve. Get that art out. Yeah. Dear days. Dear days. Get your sleeves in there. That's right. That's right. Uh, but I think the players are ready. Yes. So look, they're ready and so am I. We got Anthony Weber. <coughs> he's got uh, he's rocking up with Geek Chronicle. Mm. Right. It'll be our first Geek Chronicle on stream. Yep, yep. And the second one we've got uh, Tamim Nazari with the uh, Narukami. And this will be an EU versus USA mm. kind of a fight. So the good old Very fun. Yeah, yeah. EU versus NA. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I can. S I think this will be really good. We yeah, both yeah. decks got hit. Yes. In the last uh, restriction list. Yep. Both. Uh, both of the big power plays. I'd like to say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kind of not there anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how the decks have adapted, mm -hmm. and uh, which one really comes out on top. Yeah. Because this matchup before was relatively favored for Steam Maidens in mm. the early in the early game because sure. you do have the ride down while Narukami doesn't right but as the game progresses past that stage uh, the stun versus you should just uh, demolish the hand the field yeah. the drop yeah. everything right but you don't have that anymore nope but the rush power from uh, from the Steam Maiden side that early game push with the Colossus doesn't doesn't exist anymore as well right. so uh, We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, Geek Chronicle starting off. So Anthony starting off uh, with the with, uh, pretty good. You know when you yep, go first yep. with, a, with the ride down deck, you generally ride down. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, so let's see what happens. He gets the Geek Cat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always good. Nice. We'll start some uh, start some plusing here. The, the most important card will be revealed at grade two. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, and. Does he get any? Does he miss? Oh, it doesn't miss. He okay, gets it. yeah. And take a look at that gear cat. Ooh, there it is. Actually putting another one Ooh, now. Ooh, wow. Wow. Okay. Was, he, right. was he missing a grade two? Because I feel like that's the only reason why yeah, he yeah. do that. Uh, either way, he's definitely got his uh, grade two now. And the most important card. <clears throat> yep, the uh, Enteron. Well, actually, no. He went second. So, okay. Yes, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. I was... The hand was hiding the... Uh, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was hovering <laughs> over a little bit. Just a little bit. And, uh, oh, yeah. The still at zero damage currently. Yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be interesting because I feel like uh, for um, Tamim here, that's Ooh. probably uh, what you want to see going first. A critical comes out and a draw wow. trigger. Wow, okay. Ooh. So not not the best to see uh, a crit uh, this early, but if you're going to if you're gonna get crit, hitting a, a draw trigger of your own to kind of... Uh, uh, come back a little bit is good. Uh, yep. It looks like he's swinging at the rear guard, uh, not looking to give uh, any damage here at this stage of the game. The demolition goes off, which is very nice. Yep, yep. Does work, just has to hit something when mm -hmm, it boosts. Mm -hmm. so can hit anything. And just denying, he saw the Interano. Yep. And he goes, I'm not going to let you use it. Yep, right? yep. And quite likely, might be the only card that you can ride. Yeah, so yeah. That just kind of lowers the, the, uh, the plussing. Yep. And there and it is. And there it is, yep. Uh, not a very good position to be in. Uh, just swinging. Just, just swinging. Just swinging. And this is pretty good for Narukami actually going first instead of uh, the other side going yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see him just a straight ride up. If he has like a vowing, uh, vowing reverse there, that's mm -hmm, probably mm -hmm. the best ride. He can and have. there it is. Mm. Vowing reverse coming down, getting that Excel marker. Able Got to get like a double bind. Yes, now. yeah. Got a. Two damage work with here, calling down the Nusku. Uh, just might as well uh, check for any piece you might be uh, missing in this situation. Looks like he's double checking his hand to see what he might want here. The most important part of this uh, this this vowing play is to just kind of force a bit of the bind out already. Mm -hmm. And after you get after you set up just like a few cards in the bind zone, when Gear Chronicle wants to do its multi attacks, it has to bind its own cards as well, yep. adding more. Yep. And when you hit those like four bind thresholds, mm -hmm. you can start, you know, using your bulwarks mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just kind of stopping entire <coughs> plays from there. And you'll see he's doing the lock now. Okay. From reverse. Just gonna start building up those binds. He's also gonna get some power as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he binds the quick shield. Very smart. Very very smart play right there. One of the few things you can do. Yep. Uh, when going second. All right. 
going just for an attack now. Just, uh, you know, nothing nothing too crazy. Just uh, <coughs> Not, swinging and going. Nothing else to bind, unfortunately. Able to get a draw from mm -hmm. Demolition. But mm -hmm. otherwise, you could also... This, this would have been the perfect time to, like, soul in the, the Demolition. Mm -hmm. Just to get another <coughs> bind out. Uh, but now we see Andrew just going to the Anglisa. And will likely just stride into Schlishma. Yeah. Start doing the multi-attack plays already. Here we go, the stride. I feel like this is a, a, a very big uh, opportunity to try and push uh, because we all know how scary a uh, Narukami stride turn can be. So you might want to uh, try and get ahead of that as much as possible here. Yeah, this is the one turn as well where he's more free to do what he wants to do because you mm -hmm. know there's no threat of multi impedes. Yep. There's also no threat of a bulwark so far because there's nothing really in the bind zone yep. for him, which he did very, very well. Yep, the yep. turn after this one is when you're going to see some power G Guardians come down from the Narukami side and just kind of uh, make you stop plays, yes, right? Yeah. Instead of doing the double attack before the Vanguard, you have to just give up one of those attacks mm -hmm. to dodge the Bulwark. So we'll be very interested <laughs> to see how, he, uh, how this happens. Uh, the Entrana being able to be played now. Yep. Is, uh, Got the damage to work with now. Uh, get the, the pluses here, which I think uh, uh, for Tamim here... Uh, Probably don't care too much at this point because you've already kind of ridden up, kind of gotten some skills off, kind of gotten some things going. Uh, probably now is like an okay time for uh, something like this to happen. So the, sh the good thing about Schlishma is that she is pretty much free. Yes. Right? No yeah. counter blast required, so you can just use that counter blast for other things mm -hmm. and still get a lot of attacks. You know, that's yep, yep. That's very, why very so easy strong. to do. Yeah. Front row gets get power as well. Elul will get some power as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise, I think this is going to be the start of the attacks. So the Elul right. swings in. And, uh, Let's see. Narukami only at two damage now. To me, yeah. he's going to have to play this a bit more carefully because he hasn't really... He hasn't gotten the, the engine going, right? Yes, yeah. And one, a 5k guard there, which is all right. And this one is slightly bigger. Well, not just slightly, but actually, actually right. bigger. Uh, nine, it should be a 9k boost right now, or is it... I think it's 9k boost. Yeah. Uh, so it's hitting like 20, 29-ish. Ah. Ooh. The, uh, the, the new uh, premium collection G card that we got. I can't remember its name, but I know he's basically giving uh, his opponent to bind his front row, and if he doesn't, he gets a whole lot of shield power. And uh, expectedly... I'd say it seems uh, Anthony decided not to bind any of his front row. <laughs> seems like a weird timing to use it, though. Yeah, honest. actually. Right? It's like one, one, one of the good times to use it was just like a Vanguard attack, right? Yeah, two yeah. standing side columns. Uh, so I guess uh, maybe uh, fearing a potential OT, just kind of rendering all that extra shield power null, yeah. potentially. If you're really afraid of it, then that, that's just how it is, right? Mm -hmm, but mm hmm I think that is the bind zone currently. Three cards there. Well, yep. Not many choices. I wonder how many more can he do? There it is. There it is. All right. And he can do probably like three more attacks. I think yeah, that's yeah. what it looks like. And the gear cat comes down again. Gets another card. It Can't quite oh, tell what that one is. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a spicy tech right there. I think that's Danish. Uh, so, an uh, old card, uh, old old G card, actually. So yeah. We'll bring it up here. Very, that's an interesting one, running this this card. Going for a triple drive and getting a critical. Ooh, okay. Gonna gonna smash Tamim to four damage now. Yep. And putting the power on the Elo, it looks like. See what we got here. Okay, we got a crit trigger on the uh, defense there and a heal. Okay. Wow. Uh, not too bad right there. Uh, Tamim sitting on a, uh, a nice 32k base now. Yeah, and that heal is actually pretty clutch, I think. Absolutely, absolutely. Being able to keep on low, getting the double trigger, mm -hmm. so he's on 32. Mm -hmm. I think this turn is nearly ended, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else Anthony can do here. And that Elul might just be a 5k shield. <coughs> With the four cards in bind, then probably just... No, no, it's got a 10k from the Schlishma and then a trigger. So it's like 33 yeah. at least. And just depending on how many cards are bound right now. Uh, so maybe a... 
Looks like he's debating on what to guard with. Uh, yeah. Drops a Cho. Oh, okay. A lot of good cards to guard. You know that that. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to guard with anything because they're just too good. Okay, just going for <laughs> another uh, vowing saber here. Second vowing saber. Yeah. So he's unlocked the ability to uh, do multi attacks. And the other thing he can do now is he, this is kind of like uh, projecting that he's going to stun verse, which is not bad. Because mm -hmm. uh, now your opponent, you have three cards to get rid of on their field, and then I think it just looks like three in the drop zone. Mm -hmm. That takes the bind zone from, I think it was three before, it be become nine. Yes, which is enough for a uh, bind two, draw two. Yes, yes. Uh, but now you just don't have the ability to multi this. Because if you can stun yeah. this multiple times, it's just a lot of cards. Let's see. But he's he's got, he's also not in that timing where like the multi-attacks from the vowing will be very very uh, yeah good. sitting only uh, uh opponent only sitting out one damage is not he's, he's not like uh too scared right now um just kind of building that <laughs> that bind zone up yeah. um let's see here in a way though he didn't really have any good strides to really go through as mm -hmm. well so mm -hmm. i think that's that's just how it is yep yeah, it's, they're just considering. He could get even more than than a few bound if he's a mm -hmm. his opponent uh, wants to wants to dodge the vowing vowing reverse skill. Drawing his cards there. Let's see, getting out some uh, <laughs> some uh, power counters here. Yeah, you gotta you, you gotta keep track of these. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> can get uh pretty crazy pretty quickly. So I'm thinking it's like four fives in a. Four fives and two fives? <laughs> yeah, seems a uh, uh, six total. Are they all ten Ks? Just, uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I can't tell. I guess uh, could be anything. Yeah. yeah, it's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> he gets more off now as well mm -hmm, with the mm -hmm. the reverse seal, and now he's just swinging in with the. It looks like he's just playing it very conservatively. Yeah, yeah, just uh, you know. Uh, one rearguard swing and one very big vanguard swing. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think there's too much of a reason to push too hard right now. Don't want to give your opponent too many resources. The way they can just use it to uh, push back on their turn. So, so he drops the PG here and uh, two blanks. So the PG is kind of interesting because it does stop demolition from hitting and drawing more cards. Yeah, and then just yeah. emptying more of the field. Uh, but it does... Well, his hand's actually pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. He's he's sitting on a, a pretty fat hand right there. Which is kind of what you expect from Narukami, uh, with all the deck thinning, the drawing, the <laughs> everything they have going on. So, Anthony actually splitting the force markers. Normally, normally you, you do want to put them, stack them right? And yeah, kind yeah. Of keep on Keep on reusing that one, but have a like a consistent, reusable, very, very big rear guard swing. Especially because you're going to be calling to that circle over and over. Yeah, maybe he just just wants to make sure everything hits and doesn't really care too much about the multi attack. Yeah, he's going yeah. for more power. But you know, you're in that situation now as the Geek Chronicle player where you have to be careful on uh, how you attack slightly. Yeah. So you don't uh, lose to a bulwark. You know? Yeah. He is in the threshold where he does lose to a bulwark. Yeah, especially uh, I believe we said something about like nine cards in bind. I think yes, so. Yes. The a bulwark coming down right now is just going to uh, potentially just nuke your front row. Yeah, and just stop all your multi attacks that you work so hard for. Yep, yep. It's a very very slippery slope here. Um, especially it's, it's th this matchup is always interesting too because you've got uh, Narukami that loves to uh, bind their opponent's units and then Steam Maidens which like to use their bind zone to kind of like toolbox and multi-attack a little bit but it's like who can use those uh, those uh, to their advantage better so Anthony he's, 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 he's thinking about it yeah yeah does he want to play greedy or not <laughs> <laughs> oh okay here we go he's, he's all right all right greedy. ideally the cor correct play I'm just dodging the bulwark. Yep, yep. Because you either have a less good turn mm -hmm. or just a no turn. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, what does he call out now, though? Maybe just another L? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it seemed to uh, do okay. Uh, oh, we have a... I think it's, it's that? I think it's Ail? Ail, yeah. They, they all have very similar names. <laughs> 
but yeah, this is. This looks like it's a very, very normal turn. He gets like one more attack off the. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah so that uh, Ailol probably be. Uh, Ailol. Pretty. Ailol. Ailol. <laughs> very uh, pretty, pretty big swing there. So no guards this one. Okay. Uh, is that a critical? That is a crit. Yes. Ooh. One so more drive check. I think that was a uh, time leaper right there. Uh, so a great forehand. Sanctitude goes to damage though. Ooh, that's not uh, not, not too ideal there. To me, known five one damage away from losing, but the game is still just. Beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's not over until that six card hits the damage zone. Uh, and honestly, giving your opponent four open counter blasts can be a bit scary. Yeah, this is where. Tamim can use Vowing Saber versus second to skill and just restand the whole board. Yep. So it seems like he's just going to try and push. Like, try and do what he can, uh, if not kill this turn, to at least just thin that hand down. Maybe try and limit uh, some of the uh, the options that uh, Tamim is going to have uh, to his uh, available to him on his next turn. Yeah, so you come to the Schlishma for the extra attack. Yep. But this one's only going to be like 25, so mm, it's like a mm. 5k guard, I think, pretty easily. Yeah. That defensive uh, kind of came in clutch right there. Yeah, very, very clutch. Which very I think is uh, why, why there's an argument for stacking your force markers in the first place, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and there's the bulwark. It's, this one's not, well... It's not... Uh, it, it's fine, because he retires yeah. this, the Schlishma goes away, yep, and he can yep. exterminate next turn. Uh, which is all good. And there's the Shlishma. Okay. Yep. So now back to uh, Townsend. Looks like uh, Townsend's sitting on a pretty small hand. So uh, if the goal was to uh, thin that hand down, it definitely worked. But we are seeing the sweep command come down. Uh, nothing for him to bind, unfortunately. Uh, so he can't get uh, even more uh, Excel markers here. But... An open front row is basically just a free exterminate at this point, which we do see him going into here. Yeah, going to be able to draw two and get 20, 20k. Dropping a Nusku, very good. Uh, try and find uh, some more pieces uh, to try. And I imagine at this point, you're probably just wanting to get as wide of a board as possible and just try and just swing for the fences. Uh, I think uh, two to six can be a very real possibility with Narakami. Yeah. Especially with an exterminate on board and an empty front row. How many churros does uh, does Tamim have though? That's gonna. That's that's the the big question here. I think we got a spark raise, a spark raise, Zoe, no oh. choos, no choos. That's not uh, ideal. That's not ideal at all. Uh, but still, just slapping a, a nice twenty k to his front row. So there's a twenty eight k in this right yeah. now, which is pretty strong. So yep, got. Yep. Yep. They're just making sure that everything is correct. Yep, yep. I think uh, trying to probably uh, plan out uh, his cards this turn. Yeah, you still got to be very careful, even with the standards. Yes, yeah. What uh, 20k to your front row is still a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially when you go wide with excels like Yes, this. yeah. Actually, guard this, so very cool. Okay. Let's see what we're going to drop down here. Uh, I believe that's... Uh, Ur Uluru, right? Uluru, yeah, I believe it's the uh, the original Uluru G guard. Uh, so probably shuffling a couple cards back from his drop into his deck. Uh, ideally, you probably want those to be triggers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as long as you can guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as you can guard, yeah. It's, uh, it's fine. Looks like we have a uh, crit on defense here. Uh, definitely going to come in handy uh, with... A full front row uh, buffed the way they are. Yeah, an early crit as well, which is uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty good. How many triggers did he get, though? It's the important bit. Stand. There's a stand. Oh, okay. Well, oh. you don't need a cho if you uh, see a stand, I guess. <laughs> That's right. And a crit. Whoa. And a crit. Okay. Uh, this turn just got a lot scarier. So this will just bring up to five. Yep. And a draw. draw. Okay, wow. Uh, three drive checks, three hits. Wow, that's a that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a big swing. 
All right, now uh, another trigger comes out, so it's uh, be 33k in Gleesa. Yep, uh, definitely helps uh, the situation here. Uh, definitely makes uh, guarding the rest of these attacks a lot easier. They're still big, uh, still probably going to require some uh, cards to drop, especially after hitting three triggers on your drive checks. Um, yeah, yeah. But let's see. Uh, he, I feel like uh, you know, obviously in kind of a, a stressful spot, being at five damage, not really where you want to be. But I think uh, you know hitting. 20k in defensive triggers when your opponent has given 20k to the front row uh, helps out this situation that's quite right, a bit. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> kind of just cancels out, right? Yeah, yeah. But still, you still need a card, God of Cards. So yes, yes. The hand rip is going to be very strong. Yes. Still, still plenty of swings. And here comes Spark Rays. Guarded. Another, another guard. guard. Another spark raise. Another Has guard. Has to guard everything. Lost attack. Guarded as well. Guarded. Okay. And yeah. it looks like he's sitting on, what is that, two, three cards in hand? Three cards in hand. That is not a lot of cards. Not a lot at all. Uh, but, you know, potentially, depending on uh, what we can, uh, what is in that hand um, and what we uh, see uh, stride from the G zone can maybe not be too big of a deal, uh, but... That's all really going to kind of come down to what the contents of that hand actually are. Yeah, as long as as long as long Anthony can stride, it's fine. Yep. Uh, what does he stride into? Probably just another Schlishma, right? Yeah, yeah. probably. Looks like he's pitching that uh, time leaper there. Yeah, and Schlishma basically turns anything into something. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Works out pretty well. And sure enough, there's uh, <laughs> another Schlishma. Yeah. If, it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? You that's know. right. That's right. <laughs> What what is the rest of what is the rest of the hand? Uh, that's what I'm curious. Yeah, about. Yeah, that's that's really what this is uh, going to come down to for sure. Uh, Elo. Elo, okay, and, and uh, Elo, okay. Uh, all the hands on the board. You know, this is uh, you know, final do, turn? this is the, the do or die moment. You exactly. know, if you're if you're going to take it, this is the chance to do it. Uh, and you just you know, why why hang on to cards if there's probably not going to be another turn after this? You throw know? it in, hope for the best. Yep, yep. Doesn't work out. Just stab the cookie crumbles, right? Yeah, yep. That's the way it goes. But Let's it's see it's here. It's okay, here's the here's the issue. He still has to pass an attack. Yep. Okay. And I think doing it correct. A double intercept and a, a crit trigger from hand to guard. Yep. Uh, let's see. Bringing down the uh, Schlishma from the G zone. Ooh, here it is. It's 25. Putting on five, so it has to has to guard everything. Yep, yep. Uh, unfortunately, Narukami uh, draws a uh, very large amount, so it looks like the hand is getting pretty thin, though. Uh, but you know. We'll, we'll just have to see if he can uh, push through. It looks like five cards in hand. Uh, definitely doable. Uh, just yeah, really yeah. depends on what those five cards actually are. That's right. Five cards in premium is not really a lot of cards. Yeah. <laughs> and, ooh. He's getting more. Yep, more. yep. Oh, changes his mind a little bit. It's, it's hard, you know. Like, yeah, this is yeah. Like, like this, this is, is this the is, turn. Yes, right? this, this is, is the, the turn. turn. This is know? like every every uh, uh, choice is critical in this moment, uh, and one one light like little uh, uh, slip up can really just cost you this entire game. Even the tournament. Right? Even the tournament. Absolutely. You, 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 get, you get one chance. Yep. Right? Yep. You can go X one. You still have, you probably have a chance to make it. Yep. Uh, but after that, you know, you, you'd rather just keep your your good chances. Yeah. That, yeah. that extra lifeline through Swiss. Unfortunately, three blanks on those drive checks there. Not what you want to see in this sort of situation. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no more grade threes as well. So the Schlishma mm. can't come out yep. anymore. So I think these are basically... Well, actually... Oh, wow. Whoa, what? Okay, I guess uh, no guard. Well, okay. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Tamim actually, looks looking for me, he doesn't look like they have that many cards in hand. Yeah, wow. Is it like a two? Two two cards in hand and oh wow. Well. well, all right. I guess uh, I guess that's the game. <laughs> that, that's just how it is. <laughs> that's just how it goes. Uh, you know, we were. I was uh, so busy sitting here just trying to analyze what was happening that the game ended before <laughs> I realized it. That's. I mean, that's that's kind of premium. You know, uh, you you, uh, you look away for a second, all of a sudden the the game's decided. So yeah, yeah. It felt like it just felt like Tamim was in an okay shape. Yeah, but it just yeah. Looks like from 
that lost interaction. Was, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe spreading gone. those force markers around was definitely the way to go, just to kind of uh, like push for more guard on each attack. Uh, you know, especially when the hand was getting that thin. Anything you can do to get like as many cards as possible out of your opponent's hand to seal a deal, just like this, is just exactly what you yeah. want to be doing. I'm throwing down those extra cards, like playing around in P yeah. a bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think they, they know the matchup quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely we're prepared for this especially, uh, yeah. which I think, you know, for something like Steam Maidens where uh, your bind zone is so critical to your game plan. Um, and then, you know, same thing with Narukami. Your bind zone is still critical to their game <laughs> plan. So you really got to know what you're doing to be able to navigate that uh, yeah. matchup and come out on top just like we saw here. So good knowledge, good knowledge from both players. That was a very, very interesting game to see yeah, where both yeah. decks are at in this new kind of format for them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and hopefully we'll see more of these cool games in the future. Next, yeah. next couple of rounds. Halfway next through. Rounds. Halfway yeah, through, halfway yeah. through. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're making it. We're making it. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back for round four, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing what the top eight is going to be mm, developing yeah. into. Uh, quite a few people are undefeated, but a lot have fallen. So yep, yep. Oof. We'll see what's going on. Yeah. Be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. We are in premium now in round four. Woo. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trucking right along today. Uh, before we get to the games, uh, just want to reiterate those sleeves. Get those sleeves in there for the uh, Deer Days competition. Might see some of your artwork in the game. Uh, and then uh, I think before we jump to the games as well, we have uh, our current standings for the uh, tournament today as well. So you can look on the screen now. We have a... Lion King in rank 11. And uh, then we got Stephen Lee, 12th, T Tamim. And then Toby, uh, the Mo, Blank, Sean, uh, Karis, Andrew, and David Aribatama. Yeah, All righty. Uh, like 11 to 20? Yep, yep. What about 1 to 10? Oh, we oh, don't have well. 1 to 10. Well, we don't have one to ten. Well, let's just get right into the game. You I guys think, have uh, to imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've got we got plenty of rounds to go through and uh, uh, check back in on those standings. But I think uh, our players are probably very ready. Uh, That's they, right. they they seem like they are uh, just raring to go. And honestly, I'm I'm, I'm raring to go for them as well. We got a White, White King, King right there. Uh, and then now we have Sean Tan. Yep, Actually, yep. I think is the defending. Uh, well, he used to be the champion for Buddy Five. Now went. Yeah, yeah. I want to play Vanguard Premium. Yeah, yeah. Premium. That's the that's the correct choice. Yep, yep. Buddy Fight might be gone, but it's still in our hearts, and uh, right. hopefully, still still carrying on uh, that legacy here for us today in uh, the Premium Round Four here at uh, BCS Worlds 2022. So looking at here, we have Wyatt is starting and actually rides a 3K. Uh, wow. Okay. It's it's pretty useful. That 3K oh, is pretty good. Looks like uh, Sean is uh, oh, no. G assisting right oh, off the no. bat. Uh, not what anyone ever wants to see, uh, quite quite honestly. Um, but and you know what? You know this is a this is kind of a saving grace for White here because if you don't have a grade one, uh, you know riding that 3K, hey. Not too bad. Yeah, you can still you can still swing for some numbers yeah. there. <laughs> like you, you only get you only at maximum have one grade one from yes, this, right? Yeah. So it's very hard for you to rush this three K. Yep. Yep. Uh, which is perfectly what you want to do. You see three K, yeah, put yeah. in a bunch of H. Do 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 do. Yep. Yep. Lots of damage, right? Yep. Unfortunately, uh, not quite what's happening here. It looks like oh, he's getting rid of the. I think that was, was a TikTok. A TikTok and maybe a PG as well. Um, very interesting. Uh, but, you know, uh, difficult times call for difficult choices. That's so. right. That's right. And, I mean, a TikTok is not very useful going second yes, against yeah. Highlander. Because what's likely going to happen in the future is Highlander ideally rides to uh, Reindeer. Yes. Rides yeah. back down to two. And then what is the Gear Chronicle play going to do? He is going to ride to Anglisa and yep. ride back down to two. It's right. going to be a, a pretty entertaining game of chicken, I'd say, of like who's who's willing to stay on grade three longer than the other. That's right. And the TikTok doesn't help in that match. Yep. Nope. Yeah, nope. That's a, that just doesn't help. So let's just get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is not the matchup where you want to see a TikTok. And let's just focus on the important cards. Sure. Now, sure. doing one drive check, we see a Melum. Probably going to get like discarded. It's yeah. It's not that yeah. very useful in this matchup <laughs> right now. Unless we see why just straight up riding to three and being unfortunate like the first time yeah, we saw yeah. Highlander. We've got some uh, some very uh, some some fat trimming uh, choices here from that hand. <laughs> yeah. Let's and see. Ooh, we have the. Ooh, that's a that's an, that's an interesting grade too. I don't think a lot of Highland decks really run this specific one. Uh, this is the multiple shine Mirada. So when you play, you draw a card. See if you want to draw a card. Look at top seven. And then you can ride another grade two mm. as stand. A lot of, a lot of Highlander decks just don't really have space for yeah, something yeah. like this. So interesting, interesting tech, uh, and able to have one CB as well. And it's it's not it, I ideally you get the Klesina, but I guess this is not bad. Yeah, you do get a, do get kind of a plus, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, looks like he's. Passing the turn there. Uh, One back damage. to uh, Sean here. Sean, this is if he has in Toronto now. It's good going. Yeah, to yeah. Points. He's got he's got the one damage. Can uh, try and uh, recoup some of that hand that he uh, so unfortunately had to uh, dismiss so early on in this match. And with the uh, with Gear Chronicle, I find that being able to set up Gear Cats early really powers up. It's kind of uh, game where it wants like keep on writing down and up and down and up yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. So if you can start developing it. So he's got two Interranas oh, actually. Oh wow. That's a... Uh, 
Really can only uh, proc one of them, but I mean, who's complaining about a nice uh, plus three right there? Yeah, you always want to proc the one on the side as well. Cause yep, yep. It just gets way more value in premium. Definitely. Um, but having two means that later on, I'm pretty sure you can just like ride down and uh, get a pretty good card. Yeah, there yeah. <laughs> and stay, if he needs to stay at grade two, it's a pretty good card. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Very, very good ride target there, uh, you know. Cause is, that a, is that a third? That's a third in Tirana. Yes, it is. Yeah. And Tirana, the, that means he can play another one next turn as yeah, well. That's, yeah. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Potentially two, depending on uh, the amount of damage he gets, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Depending on how many uh, cats he's got left back in deck. And is that a – just pushing now. Okay, Swing yeah. down a hand and going for it. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do this while uh, Wyatt was sitting on a 3K. Uh, yeah, that would have been really good. But yeah, that would have been uh, ideal. Uh, but in the meantime, is that an over trigger? That I think is that, that an is the OT. over trigger. Ooh. That is very scary to see right about now, uh, because the dark state's over trigger uh, is one of those ones that carries its effect throughout the entire game. So yes. uh, Sean here is just going to have a permanent 10k and a crit on his vanguard. Uh, not what you want to be seeing if you're Wyatt right now. Yeah, and this is going to really help him out for the Absolutely. early game too. Uh, or especially the ride down game as well, because you oh, know what's, yeah. what's better than getting force? It's getting force and 10k in a yeah, on top yeah. of that, right? So yeah, this early trigger, huge value, huge value. And uh, unfortunately, Wyatt, this is looking really rough for Wyatt to be honest. Yeah, uh, definitely a uh, very difficult situation to be in here. Because you don't want to kind of ride up and stay. There's like yeah. no no chance in the world where you ride up and stay. Yeah. Uh, so you have to kind of keep on riding down, but you have to deal. You have mm -hmm. to deal with that mm -hmm. that OT. Just gonna be this uh, this shadow looming over him for the rest of this game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, and, uh, uh, oh, dropping a, a uh, heal, heal guard. guard. I imagine probably, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if that was the, the 100 mil swing there, uh, but if it was, probably just minus the minus crit there. Crit, yeah. Yeah. Minus Still crit. hits, but uh, you're not taking any damage. So he's putting the force marker on reindeer. Uh, mm. Just wants the multi-value swing, but the yep. crit is going to help oh. him out quite a lot. That's, uh, that's definitely what you want to see here. <laughs> yeah, Kutia might... Might save him actually, you know, being able to use Katia a couple of times. Is that Aqua that he grabbed there? Yeah, you get Aqua, and then you can use the Aqua to bounce the Katia. Because some some players run the double, uh, mm. the double Aqua on top, so gotcha. your first search has to always be the Aqua. Ah, gotcha. Uh, but then after that, you're pretty much good to go. Well, there we go. I'm I'm learning some Bermuda Triangle names already. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, the Aqua is pretty good. You know, bounce gets a draw off as well, mm -hmm, so you can mm -hmm. hand filter. Drops 15k when you put yep. something in the same column, so... Just bounce that Q tire, probably uh, just gonna drop that rate back down, I imagine. Gets rid of Atira, that's pretty big info. Mm. That means you don't have to deal with Atira anymore, but yeah. you know, we have things like Sistico that you can just put put the Atira back. And uh, I wonder what he's gonna call now. It's a big one. It's yeah. the Justine. So the okay. Justine uh, will allow him to ride down, because it's like an undiscard Soul Blast mm -hmm. and uh, call it onto the Regard Circle. But then you can still blast your three when you're uh, when you're using reindeer skill. So very interesting. Just don't miss with reindeer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but when you have a Kutir in the Aqua setup like that, there is no chance you're missing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so now let's see what else he puts down his his hand. Mm. Thing is, like without something that can like repeatedly bounce the uh, the Kutir, then you don't generate that hand. Yeah. Um, Radica comes down as well. And now that column's like 23. Mm. So ideally, you'd be swinging like 13, 23, uh, than, than, than the big one. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, intercepts with the Enterana. Not really uh, hurting for Enteranas right now, so <laughs> no big deal there. This is a no guard. First check is a crit. Okay. Uh, you know, turnabout is fair play. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And second check is a Klesina. Ooh. Mm, very interesting. Seen is like the perfect ride down target for Highlander as well, because mm. you know uh, when you, you when you ride back down to two, you ride onto the Klesina, and then the Klesina effect goes off again. You just mm. plus infinite from that. It's like like an Enterana. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> and here we go. The top ten is. Uh, Gets an Ange. Ange's mm. a very good ride target here. And he goes, you'll be able to do bounce the Kutia, which is very, very cool, protecting the cards and getting just accelerating 
double force now as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So very good, very strong play. This is what you need just to kind of equalize the game. Definitely. Uh, because your opponent got their first OT. So having this bit yeah. of luck here is very, very good. I think it was that that may have was that the first or second swing of the the game from um, Sean. Uh, yeah, I think it's the second second swing. Just like immediately getting that. Uh, it's a very, very big power buff for the rest of this game. Exactly, exactly. And Colin just steam behind. He's putting double force on the Vanguard. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Normally you kind of start splitting. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, know, you can split the last force marker, I guess. Going for the uh, the Overlord type strats here. <laughs> yeah, it's basically pretty Overlord when you think yeah, about yeah. it. You know, Hell Trotter, three Vanguard attacks. Yeah, you know? yeah. So get uh, some uh, maximum return on that investment for sure. Yeah, and I think this one's like a 38 because it got a trigger, so it used to be 28. But mm. no, it's 23 now to 33. Uh, but I, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah. I think it's 23. <laughs> <laughs> Don't doing math is hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Looks like, seems uh, like Sean is debating on whether he wants to take it. Yeah. If he's, if he's debating on taking this, it means he's thinking of taking the Vanguard swing or maybe yeah. the last swing. Uh, actually, just oh, okay. throwing yep. some cards down. Yep. I'm gonna go for a full full board bounce here. Okay. So we'll get a force marker, and. Uh, then we'll be able to, to call something from the deck. Yep, the, there. there we go. That's that's the one that he splits, the uh, the third one there. Now he's gonna what, what will he search? Will it just be another Kutir and just right. call it more Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Absolutely it is. I mean, why would you do why anything not, different? Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> when you have a play that good to you, why, why not? Yeah, and I think from now on, it's just like keep on repeating the same process and process yep, yep. Uh, until you kind of outgrind the Key Chronicle. But the plus side is Geek Chronicle has a pretty good field setup, so... Yeah, absolutely. You can kind of just keep on valuing that. But this deck is going to get super compressed. Yeah, definitely. Gets the Rolock. Ooh, Very smart. Interesting. Yeah, uh, just uh, preparing for that next turn. Yeah, because he's going to ride down to two, yep, so that yep. Rolock is active. And that's really good now, even though the Vanguard has that plus 10 in the crit. Yeah. This will solve that problem. Yes, At definitely. least for one turn. Yes, yeah. Can uh, skirt by it uh, for at least that that one time, but yeah. uh, the the longer this game goes on, the uh, the grindier it's definitely going to be getting. Oh, did he just no god that Vanguard swing? Wow! Whoa! Bold, very bold. bold. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's he's not afraid. He's not afraid. In some ways, like you look at your hand and you go, "How am I gonna? How is this hand gonna work for, uh, you know, the next X turns? Right? Mm -hmm. If I got here, can can I live the next two turns? Yeah. And if the answer is sometimes no, and that is how you have to win, yeah, then you just got to take a risk at some point. Yeah. And look, take it. I save a hand and. Yeah, that's I can get back to the game like having that. having an extra turn with no plays isn't exactly uh, useful to you. So sometimes you got to take that gamble, keep your hand, so that way, uh, you know, uh, provided your opponent just doesn't outright crit you out of the game, you actually have an answer on your next turn to try and push back for sure. Yeah, and the Murata coming back, getting the rewrite and getting a CB one, which is in a draw, so extra cards. So that's actually pretty yeah. cool, uh, and we can see that uh, why its hand is huge. Absolutely, it is really yeah. Really big. So Sean's got his work cut out for him here <laughs> to try exactly. and exactly, uh, and that does that no god on four as well. Just kind of a well, is he actually on four? I think he's on. Th is him on three or four? Uh, I believe it's four. Yes. Four. Okay. All right. Well, then that that's kind of different, right? It's yeah. No yeah. On three, um, it's very very safe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Double crits do happen, but uh, in that instance, uh, probably probably fine. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, it's calling another gear cat in front of the gear cats. Mm. I'm curious to see how many our gear cats are left in the deck because ideally, I feel like you probably want to do your ride down into the Interana to try and get some more gear cats, get some more plussing for yourself. But uh, there's not any targets left. I'm not sure how. Ooh, uh, get the steam maiden. Mm. Nice 20k shield. Yep, and definitely. Activate some uh, ooze. What will stride into? I think it's just Time Leaper Dragon. Yeah. 100%. Yep. It's uh, probably your your like safest go-to pick just to kind of get some extra swings on board. 
But the like one of the, one of the problems with the uh, the steam main index, I think, is that you can, can t you can do the ride down, but can you? How long can you continuously ride down? Because you have yeah, a lot of moving exactly. pieces that you have to do to put cards back, mm -hmm. while other decks kind of just do it better. So like you know, Highland just has to draw another reindeer. Yep. Uh, while Thavis just has to draw another Thavis. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, this one you have to like, you know, get the time leap bar, then kind of ride back. You automatically get out of two, but yep, then you got to yep. you know, get the card back if you don't run multiples, etc. Looks like Wyatt took that rear guard hit and seemed to do pretty well for him, hitting a draw trigger defensively, uh, getting some extra cards in hand, some power to work with as well. Uh, but this Vanguard swing is definitely uh, scary as is. It was already scary. Uh, without being at four damage, because uh, just one crit uh, just means the game's over for you. Yep. Uh, I should be able to go. I got the Rollick for the reason. Yeah, yes, exactly. And he does have the Overtrigger as well, so this is actually a have to guard from the Vanguard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Calls a Karinta, it seems. Ah, interesting. And uh, can you just call it? Ooh, bottom deck to Katia? Ah, Ooh. okay. Yeah, kind of get that. Uh, just shut down the, uh, the continuous spam of Q-Tire right there. Well, Y still has one in the hand, though, so mm -hmm. I think he's not, he shouldn't that's be that That's true, fast. that's true. I expect to see, like, the Rollock just come down here. On yeah, the right side. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's any other option, necessarily. Yep, there it is. There yep, it is. Yep, yep. Going for the, the twin drive. Let's see what, uh, what happens. First check. Nothing. Second check. Does that Ooh, I th believe that was double cats. Double cats? Actually. Uh, so the, the, the rewrite into Enterana, not looking too good anymore, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, the extra <laughs> Enterana in hand also, I think, is just, uh, I think he's just done. Yep, yep. That's That's really scary because now why it's going to go into his next turn of, like, at least double force marker in the Vanguard. Yep. And there is not really good defensive value in Wyatt's hand is what it looks like. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, it's... It's just a tank. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Karinta swing in. Like, I believe that's a 38k column here. Maybe uh, more. It's like 18, 28. And then you, know, you have plus 2k. So it's a 30. 30, 30. And then I think uh, Time Leaper uh, oh, gives that yes. 10k as well. So that'll be a, a 40k swing right here. That's a big swing. But he's yeah. Does he have to guard that though? I feel like he's that's take it. what I. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. I guess uh, why is just not looking to deal with any more than just uh, he has to, <laughs> you know. Oh, he I put think the gear cat back. That's right. Ooh, the time ooh, there we go. Okay, that's actually that's actually very good. That's the very, plays. Very good. The yeah. plays. And now this cat's also gonna plus hopefully yeah yeah this is this is why they're sitting at that top table right now yeah, <laughs> yeah. the plays like that <laughs> and uh yeah here's the cat there's a lot of there's a lot of, a lot of uh looking at looking through the deck with these actually yeah top x top x is that a miss Ooh. ouch not what you want to see there it's that's correct yeah you definitely don't want to see that rise the lupina okay so that is the end of the the ride down game now okay okay but this could very well be the end of of a uh, Sean if this the Pina is just massive. Yeah. Cuz if if uh if Wyatt has a Pulses to set up it's a uh, Katir into Pulses. Yeah, to yeah. Do the, the five attacks. Yep. <laughs> Looks like Wyatt just uh, considering what to do. Big play cuz once you commit. Yep. Yep, you know, there's the the Q tire uh to be expected. And which, what did he call for, I wonder? Was it the other Pell sister? Oh, no, he actually got a Sedna. Oh, okay. Ooh, a Sedna. What's, what's the significance of uh, Sedna here, Kai? Enlighten me. I guess Sedna, you can just search for another grade three. Oh, good. Right. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> <That's pretty good>. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, uh, since, uh, what is it, uh, Sean was uh, so nice to put a uh, Q-Tire back into uh, Wyatt's deck. That's, I guess that's an option for it's him a, here, it's too. It's a good target. Bounce the q again. I, I feel like... You know, you got the double Katir that you can go for already. Yeah. I, why not Pearl Sisters, you know? Absolutely. Okay. He's pointing to maybe the, the two that he that, that he revealed. Maybe that's Grey 2 Pearl Sister is what he mm, means, you know? Mm. Uh, but yeah, this just seems like a perfect time to do it because you just don't have... Uh, th there it is. Okay. Okay. We got it. There we go. We got there it. we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm it, curious to see if we can see the, if this game will end with neither side striding. <laughs> it's quite the possibility. <laughs> it is quite the possibility. I, I think it'll be interesting to see if he moves those two cards back and then puts yeah, out two, yeah. two Pell Sisters, you know? Um, oh, he, he is one. Okay. He's moved the Katia back. So he, he comes a card that's going to be dropped down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's oh, see. A Brewster. Okay. Okay. That's Betty. So it's a top seven. And grabs the Sandy. He's, he's eyeing over the Sandy. Mm. All right. And then he gets to put a he has to put a card back, if I remember. From the hand. Yeah. It's not a not a straight up plus. More of a just uh try and get the piece that you need right now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the one. Which at this moment, if uh you know, I think if you're Wyatt, you're probably trying to uh close this game out this turn, if at all possible. Uh so just try and uh push for game right here. Yeah, but it, it, does it just drop the the double pearls. Right? Yeah, drop the double uh, pearls. I, th I think I think it, it should be pretty pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Let's see. And he goes for. Oh, he's doing the Lupina effect now. Soul Blast two. What does he call? Does he? I think he gets it. That, that's a Pearl Sister, right? On the last one. Just put it down. Oh, yeah. There we go. No. Okay. <laughs> We're in. Here's the board. <laughs> that felt like a very roundabout way to do it, though, right? Yeah, definitely. I feel like you could tear the Pearl, Aqua, the Katia, then get the Pearl again, right? But Yeah, yeah. You know, I guess the deck is slightly thinner now. And, uh, you know, extra Always, Always one. a good thing to have. Always good to have a, a nicely compressed deck. Yeah, this is looking like a really, really scary turn. Absolutely. Okay. Wow. I'm just wondering, can, uh, yeah, can, can Sean actually, can Sean actually uh, survive this? Let's and see. we haven't even strode yet. Yeah, there are no huh? strides in this game. <laughs> it's almost like, uh, it, like it's, it's very close to watching uh, uh, V gameplay, except uh, V is played not like this in any way. Yeah, yeah here he is. <laughs> you're not, not going to see anybody riding down in V, I don't think. Here comes the swing. So there's, I think there's multiple situations. Well, I can guard all attacks, it's good. Uh, otherwise, he has to take one of these crit attacks um, and then hopefully get some triggers. Otherwise, he can guard all. He can guard four of these pulses this attack, and maybe no guard the vanguard. Yeah, and then just hope and pray for no crit. Yeah, but even if Wyatt somehow, no, if Sean somehow survives here, yeah, he's not gonna have much to work with at all. Yeah, and I think Wyatt's hand is gonna go up. Oh, he's just taking it. First check, second check, and that That's is game. the game. That's Whoa. game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the power of the Pearl Sisters combo. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, been enlightened, uh, <laughs> I think, for a uh, second time today. Uh, right. Yeah, no, uh, when you've just got big numbers, big crits, uh, what, what more do you need, really? Yeah. Uh, especially when you've got your opponent right where you want them at four damage. We did see that OT come in early. Uh, it seemed like that was going to be pretty scary. But yeah, Wyatt, favoring Sean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But Wyatt, uh, you know. Kept his cool, uh, worked his way through, and then uh, pulled out the dub in the end. Yeah, you have to Very think impressive. about the OT gave one crit, while Pearl Sisters give two. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes four if you can restand them. So right, you know, right. Just get the Pearl A and the Pearl E. Yep, yep. <laughs> Good times. Good there times. we go. We do have the leaderboard from the previous round as well. Yes, the uh, first through ten. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so first. I think I know through first, but yeah, there we are. Yeah, yeah. Maxime de Kock, <laughs> otherwise known as Solemn Vanguard, yes, is sir. first. Undefeated. Undefeated Going into so this far round. today. Don't know what will happen to him, but we'll see. Uh, and then second, we've got Matthew Dark. Uh, third, we've got Carlos. Uh, fourth, we've got Johan. Fifth, we've got Lloyd. Sixth, we've got Anthony. And then seventh, we've got Simon Zhang, the mm. defending world champion for premium. Eighth, we have Ty Smith. Saw him on stream earlier today in that uh, uh, piloting Narukami. Into that uh, Luard Gize. Yeah, the Luard Gize. A very spicy match that was. In nine, we've got Gabriel Tan. And in 10th, we've got Henry Gross. So Alrighty. Uh, overall, that is the... be interesting to see how that develops in the next round, because this is yeah. round four. Yep. And maybe, you know, we'll see 
from those spots. Change. Yeah, kind of shuffle around a little bit, but still, still, uh, it seems like quite a few uh, undefeated so far. We'll see uh, how long our players can kind of keep that up. Uh, this is this is actually a very crucial match, by the way, because mm. if you win this and go four zero. Uh, your resistance is really, really good. Mm -hmm, you, even mm -hmm. if you lose the next two, you still have a very uh, good chance. I want to say the best chance, but you have a right. better chance than others right. of making it to the top eight. And you only need like win one more in like round five to confirm your like top eight cut. Sure. So very, very important round this one. Yeah. Uh, and the same uh, the next round too. Pressure's going to be mounting on. So uh, let's see if uh, we'll, we'll be seeing if our players can uh, stand up to it, have the uh, the mental fortitude to uh, <laughs> keep on going on. So. And the physical fortitude. It's uh you got to have that stamina. Yes, man. absolutely. Absolutely. Physically and mentally. That's right. Uh, we'll be going to a short break now, and uh, we'll be back with round five. Alrighty. See you guys soon. Card by Vanguard. The glitters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising, Bushy Road.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the BCS 2022 World Finals. We are coming back to you here in sunny Los Angeles, uh, getting ready to get back into, I believe this is round five that That's we're going right. into now. That's right. Uh, trucking right along through our day. Uh, we'll get ready to get into the games here. Uh, here in just a sec. Yeah, but um, don't but forget. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. If you like <laughs> art and you like sleeves, you can make your sleeve art with Deer Days. Yes. There's a promotion going on. Go check it out. And speaking of winners, we do have a leaderboard now as well. Yes, yeah. Ooh, we'll, uh, look at look at these top players. Take right. a look at what we got uh, shaping up here today. And Matthew Bank in first place. Very wow. cool, very cool. Doing very, very well. Looks like Maxime has dropped. Yep, it's down to down to four. Uh, but you know what? Still good. Still good. Uh, you know, X one is nothing to be uh, to be ashamed of. Yeah, and some other famous things. Jaime is in the eighteen. Wow. Oh wow! I don't think we saw him in one of our previous yeah. uh, standings. So he's working his way up as well. Yeah, Mo and Weirab as well. Just fine. Dave Vect. Dave Vect. Oh, yeah. Wow. Gear Chronicle man himself. Still <laughs> a lot of players yes, that yes. you know can uh, in getting into it. But we have our. Uh, Players up here got Carlos uh, Zai Devana. I, I think I, I think I ruined well, that. You know, yeah. we're, well, I I don't think I can do much better. Uh, uh, Carlos versus Yoan. Uh, Yoan. Bar yes. Bar That's pretty good. That's that's that's, that's my good. guess. That's my uh, guess. Both <laughs> Europeans. One qualifying from UK and the other one qualifying from uh, Spain. But this is a matchup that is quite dark. Right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, we've got uh, let's see, uh, Yoan. Brothers. Playing uh, Gear Chronicle here, going first, uh, yeah. riding to Cats. And on the other side, Carolus, uh playing some Spike Brothers. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Spikes, personally. Yes. Uh, th 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 not a deck I get to play too often, but every now and again, when I can bust that out, just uh, very very fun with all the combos you can kind of pull off in that clan. A lot of, lot of moving parts in Spike Brothers. That's right. Spikes is the one of the few clans right now in premium that doesn't ride down, mm -hmm. but it makes up for it with a pretty... Offensive push. Yeah, very, yeah. very big offensive push. Uh, you know, we were talking about some like overlord strategies earlier with uh, some some of the Bermuda decks. And honestly, uh, the way uh, Spike Brothers works right now, that's that's kind of how you do too. You know, uh, you don't really care about riding down a grade two gaming because why would you when you have such a strong likelihood to potentially just blow your opponent out of the game with three Vanguard swings that all have a crit. Yeah, and the the interesting thing as well is it's not just the the rising greed on kind of builds that we see uh, go very very successful. We already mm -hmm. we also saw, see some just normal aggressive builds of uh, Spike Brothers do well as well. Yep, so yep. there's like kind of that that mix up going right there. Yeah, yeah. So it should be quite interesting to see what kind of build this one is. Uh, and both you know both both of those builds, it's it's just very scary. Big attacks yeah. followed up with even bigger attacks from yep. the new stride uh, from the galley. So. Galley is an absolutely uh, insane card. It's been a, a very huge boon to the clan as well. Uh, you know, for, for a very long time, they had their uh, bull power Agrius. That was kind of uh, their go-to de facto first stride for a very long time. And then uh, now we, they finally have Galley, uh, which puts in a ton of work. In a this lot deck. of work. It basically fixed all the problems. It went from absolutely. A, Spike went from a GB8 only deck to a, a GB, GB1 deck. Yeah, don't GB1 worry. deck. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to flip up anything when we can just kill you with our first galley turn. That's right. And Yohan now getting a pretty good good thing going. He is a ride down deck and going first. Mm -hmm. That are two things that you need to fear. Yes. But what else you need to fear is he's dropped an Interana. Right, mm -hmm. so he's getting some good amount of value yes, right now. Absolutely, this is a play we've seen a lot so far today. I think uh, in about three of the rounds we've seen today, we've seen some Steam Maiden. So Steam Maiden certainly, uh, you know, definitely got a little slap on the wrist on that last ban list, but they uh, are showing no signs of slowing down. Yeah, and we—it's not actually the Betty; it's actually the enter. There we go. Mm -hmm. That is the one we want to see. There we go. Damage coming in uh, on the side of. Carolus, one damage, pretty good. Uh, but this Antirana skill just getting some extra pluses, so very, very nice. Both players down on one damage. And uh, what will be happening with Carolus here? Carolus has to be really careful. Yes, so absolutely. Going second into this matchup, he has to be ready. There's going to be a big turn of, mm -hmm. of just like the Time Leaper coming down, do a bunch of uh, damage, then going back to the two. Uh, so he has, to, he has to be ready to just, you know, kind of push enough mm -hmm. out of. Yoan's turn that he can't, he doesn't lose like the ride down, then followed yep. up by the Schlishma. Yep, yep. Let's see here. Uh, very, very uh, 
uh, uh, patented uh, grade two turn right here, uh, riding the uh, Rona, calling out the Dudley Lucifer. Uh, Lucifer going to counter charge here. Uh, basically, it's a, a Soul Blast one to get a, a body on board. <laughs> It's pretty good. Yep, yep. And it's a good. pretty pretty good body as well. Absolutely. Uh, Bracky hitting the board as well. That's uh, very good for the early game here. Oh, we're seeing some big plays. If you don't remove that Bracky as well, it's going to kind of go back into Soul and compress yep. your deck and make a big kind of annoying uh, attack from that side true. Yep. Uh, but I think just with uh, just with you know, Geek Chronicle, they have ways to just remove things. So it's not yes, really that yeah, much of a big deal. Some, some uh, like kind of uh, out-of-the-box ways of removing things, too. We saw uh, an example of this earlier with, uh, I believe it was maybe even been the last round, with uh, Time Leaper going to the Karunta. Yep. Karunta uh, not only uh, you know uh, spinning something uh, back to the opponent's deck, but then uh, getting yourself a plus as well. <laughs> yeah. And... This one of the scary things as well about Spike Brothers is that you can usually hit over like Heal Guardian Pal. Yeah, yeah. So even just one trigger is not going to totally save you. Yep. Uh, not even not even a Heal Guardian necessarily either. It definitely helps, uh, but yep, yep. with with the amount of the kind of numbers that Spike Brothers can do, uh, it can be very scary very quickly. A lot of players run Rolox as well in decks just to kind of make these kind of uh, push push games easier, but yeah, not everyone yeah. runs it, and sometimes. There's some builds of Gear Chronicles as well that don't run it just because of the space, right? Yeah, you get yeah. super greedy with the, the Melon's Law, you can kind of run a few. Uh, well, other decks like Narukami kind of find this easy because they have removal. Yep, yep. Uh, they have, you know, just space that they can put in the Rolox. So, Yohan riding straight up to the Inglisa, which is a great start. Yep, yep. Definitely what you expect to see right here. Uh, you know, can uh, definitely do a pretty solid push here while also ducking uh, a very scary galley turn coming up. Uh, or at least uh, just delaying it at the very least. And you have to remember as well, you know, uh, taking all this damage early, uh, two damage is fine right now, but if yeah. you're doing more, you know, suddenly the turns become much more scary. You have to yes. guard a few more. I feel like on Yoan's side, it should be pretty good uh, next turn mm -hmm. just to tank the the rising greed on turn. Yeah, yeah. And what else will he develop though? We've got the time leaper out. Got at least a uh, four attack turn going on right here. Just reusing that force to max effect. Yep, right? absolutely. Calls down a Nabu. Ooh, this is Nabu. pretty annoying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think we've uh, seen a, a, a Nabu uh, hit the board, or at least if we have, uh, it wasn't <laughs> enough for me to really take note of it. Uh, this is a. Uh, Pretty fun here. It looks like uh, Carol's double Carol's checking. Yeah, yeah. just uh, like is, it, is that is that the right card? Is that, that that's not a steam maiden, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but surprise, surprise, it is. And uh, the this is going to be very annoying. It's got like a pseudo guard restrict in yep. a way. And going in, binding a card to activate it. You have to guard with triggers with this one. Yep, yep. It's kind of okay, but when it hits over a certain amount, you just yeah. have to take it. Oh, hitting a heal right there, too. That's, uh, that's all that's right. Pretty good. Not the best. Uh, I mean, the trigger's good. Yeah, yeah. Not healing is... Not healing is uh, less good. <laughs> it's less good. Oh, the Interana. Mm. Going into the side. Still not... The Gear Cat hasn't powered up enough um, to be able to kind of hit that 10k threshold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the good thing about Interana is you don't have to attack a Vanguard. To mm. get the, the, the plus, so True. It's, just, it's just value. It's just value. Uh, I think we... Oh, no, oh. another Entorana. Okay. Yeah, so the time we've been doing that playing it, yep, bottom yep. decking the Gear Cat to get another Entorana for the, yeah. the Gear Cats. Yeah, yeah, just farm up some hand. Uh, you know, you're probably going to need it you know, with uh, what you're probably expecting to uh, come from the Spike Brothers side of the table. Yeah, but at the same time, you have to be careful of the Spike Brothers player because once you lose you know, too many cards as well, your offensive options become more limited mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. and the Gear Cat missing. Wow. Mm. Not lucky. what you want to see here. Uh, Let's see. Carol's actually guarding this. Looks like it is a heal guardian. Mm. Probably just going to give 10k to itself. But I'm yep. pretty sure it's just going to hit over. Yeah, just going to... Flesh it into the heal. Oh. The Ooh. heal goes no. off. <laughs> this heal does go off. <laughs> and this is a very, very strong heal, actually. Yes, yeah. Having extra, d just extra damage to work with against very, uh, uh, like, early aggressive decks mm -hmm. is huge. Mm -hmm. 
And this last deck has to take it because it's still very big. Mm. Got a rising going to damage there, uh, but I don't think uh, Careless is too concerned. I think I, I, I just spotted one in the hand there. Um. And then the Interana going off and getting more pluses. Uh. Let's see. There it is. There okay. It is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For a second, there was a... Yeah, yeah, it was like, I thought he might be riding down to a grade zero. It's like, no, 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 no. We, we, we ride down, just not ride down that far. That's right, that's right. <laughs> uh, Interana comes in front or all Interanas. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. an Interana party. Which is uh, honestly probably what you want to see uh, as a steam native player. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Especially on like your, your grade two, your grade three turn. Uh, It'd be probably better if you had more geek hats in the back there. That'd yes, make it yeah, better, definitely. Know? Uh, looks like uh, Kalos was kind of debating whether or not to ride up. Um, it gets the Rising Nova. That's it's very good. That yeah, is the yeah. ride you want to get. You get Force 3. Yeah, Force 3. Yeah. Uh, i assuming he's probably going to stack those both on Van, but I guess we'll see. He seems like he's kind of debating this as well. Uh, on to the, the rear side. guard. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Not what I expected at all. Because uh, typically when uh, you see Spike Brothers, they... Uh, like, like you said, it's like the Overlord strats. Stack all your markers on your Vanguard, uh, swing at your Vanguard three times, and just really pressure your I opponent. I think this means he can't copy Greed on, right? Because I, I think so, too. Uh, it seems like he's probably isn't sitting on the pieces he wants to, which is probably why he was debating on whether or not to ride up in the first yeah, place. Yeah, but you, you, you just have to ride up. I think he's just yeah. thinking maybe the turn, maybe. But You're, you're, you're not going to be able to. Like, uh, unless you uh, are able to kind of keep up with the, the pace that Steam Maidens is going to be setting by uh, riding up, doing your time leap returns, and then riding back down. Uh, that's going to be very difficult to deal with. And unfortunately, I think like the best option... That, oh, it looks like we got an uh, Ambush Dexter coming down, sucking up the... Ro very interesting. Uh, looks like uh, he dropped the Dexter, uh, sucked up the Rona, and is going to be calling some grade twos. Uh, I think typically... You I think you the Agile fullback, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess that's that, that, that makes sense. Uh, I feel like you probably typically would maybe want to go for the, the the Lucifer there and get yourself your greed on your Max Max, but maybe he's uh, he's got another plan in mind here for sure. I think this one you're just going to do a bunch of attacks. and then Yeah, just, just, kind just of as many as you can get. Yeah. And then next turn just do the galley stride. Yeah. And he gets the Bracky. That's going to be a very big column for sure. You got the, the full back in the back row. So at the very least, he's got himself a nice four attack turn. Uh, not going to be spamming the Vanguard swings like you might expect in this, but um, still, this is going to be a pretty solid turn. Uh, we'll see if it is uh, solid enough to really kind of uh, impact uh, Yoan's hand here. Because uh, really, that's that's going to be uh, his main goal here, I think. Oh, it looks like he's uh, swinging for the rear, rear? Guns, actually. Oh. All right, so maybe, maybe we got some damage denying going on here. Uh, which, honestly, that's actually probably the best play here. So, yeah, like, I guess these two go to the, to the rears, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you get your uh, Force Marker one to attack Van for, like, the multi-damage yeah. and see if he wants to take it or not. And then you can just totally pass after that if they decide not yeah. to. If you just really want to keep them at zero, but Schlishma doesn't mind. He just yeah, exactly. I think I think. Oh, yeah, a and total he passes. pass. Yep. Okay, that, that's that's exactly what I think. He was is probably the, the way to go about this uh, because really, uh, Careless just needs to get to a galley turn. As long as he gets to a galley turn, he's looking a, to be in a very, very good spot. Uh, and the best way to kind of get to that is to not uh, deal with uh, as many things on your opponent's side. So locking him out of uh, any more Entoranas, but I don't think there are any more Entoranas even available yeah, I, to Yohan at this point. I think that's it. I think this is a bit questionable because Schlishma doesn't require any Exactly, TV, right? yeah. So doing the damage here or n like near right doesn't yeah really, yeah doesn't really matter if you if he just took damage that means he's closer to losing right yeah Which is yeah pretty good uh but here now i'm pretty sure you just stride schlishma and do your combo yeah just, just that's you know get 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 a few swings on uh i think uh i think if you're you're careless here you're probably just uh just survive there this turn is. your mentality is just survive this turn survive this turn and you can more than likely probably push your opponent from one to six. I think that's the uh, the goal here from the, the left side of the table. 
And let's see what kind of turn uh, Yolan can do. Kills on three damage, which is it's pretty close. And he's stacking mm -hmm. that double uh, force marker as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's definitely the uh, the target for uh, the the grade threes, the time leaps, the uh, <laughs> the, the the Schlishma called from uh, the the G zone. Seems like he's kind of uh, debating here what to do next. Yeah, you still have to be really careful. Absolutely. Every card you commit is one you don't have in hand to guard with unless it has intercept. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, calling a Melum down. Do we have oh, a TikTok? I think we might. Yeah. And if we don't, we probably will soon. Yeah, Melum can get a TikTok. So it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yoan is sitting on a pretty like stacked hand as well, so it, it is, seems like he's uh, just really, really carefully picking and choosing what pieces he's committing to board here. Uh, looks like a, is that an L O? I believe it's an, it's an Allo, I think. Allo, okay. <laughs> L O Allo, uh, just a different vowel sound. That's right. <laughs> a A A I A I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the game. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, Yohan's sitting in a, in a pretty good position. And Ooh, he's also them. swinging at the rear guards here. He uh, is respecting the Bracky, which is yes, very nice yes. to see. The Melon will go for Vanguard. And this is a 30, it's like a 31. Uh, yes, 31. Very, very old school. We'll likely just get a TikTok. Mm -hmm. And after that, you know, you can just bind the, the Alol. Uh, and then make your front row again. And then make a bunch of bunch of multi attacks from there. So yeah, yeah. So here Let's we see, get and then yep, there's the TikTok. And then Schlishma should just get a well, the Bison's not bad. No. You can get like an Interana mm -hmm. on the uh, on the double force and still get value. Yeah, absolutely. What would the other one be called? Will they just get the uh, get a three maybe? So you can go like three into mm -hmm. the four, uh, and then kind of play over the four, and then get the uh, the four again. Yeah, it's very complicated. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a of, lot of moving parts going on here. A long, long wind string of attacks. All right, there's the the Alol and the Enterana coming back out. There we go. Uh, Enterana going right onto that uh, stacked four circle, uh, so that's uh, you know definitely your your time leap target right there for TikTok. The power line's a bit weird though because you have to boost the Enterana to get the draw. Yeah. And a no guard on Carolus' side, and a first crit just coming out. This could be yeah, the end. And I, a second, and a second one. crit. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> These are the risks you have to take. Yeah. And the third yeah. one is that a. Was, was that another? Yeah, that was a I trigger. I think it, it might have been a draw. So yeah. three damage wow. coming out. First, second. That's a stand. Uh, stand, not the trigger you want to see here. The and third wow, is just wow, game. wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> sometimes you know this. That's the that's the gamble you take uh, playing Vanguard. Is uh, you know, double crit may not be the most likely, but they do happen. And I think um, it's like a around like a ten percent chance with yeah. like the rough numbers and like you know everything equal. But, you know, Steam Maiden does compress a lot. Yes, so it does. It does. And we saw quite a bit of that even just before we even got to that uh, stride turn. Uh, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of deck compression. Um, and then, yeah, you know, uh, it's, the, it's the risk you take, uh, saying no guard. But, exactly. you know, I, I think uh, it was probably an educated risk. Probably was just trying yeah. to hang on to as many pieces as exactly, possible as he had. Exactly. Like, he, he needs to live that turn. He knows there's a yep. lot of attacks coming. Yep. This is the one of the most annoying and big attacks, yep. right? Yep. Just, just take this one. Maybe it's easy to guard the other ones. Yep. And then next turn, you get into that galley turn. To pop a bunch of cards down. And, go and then bam. ideally, that's probably game for you in that moment. Yes, uh, but, but you have to make sure you have the capacity yes. to be able to yeah. unleash that attack. Uh, so you got to take those risks. Yep. And yep. sometimes, you know, sometimes you get crit and sometimes you don't, right? Sometimes, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's exactly right. <laughs> and I mean, you're at the world stage. You got to take some risks in order yeah. to win. Yeah. That's that's just how it is. Yeah. No. Right. You you gotta you gotta make some bold moves. Some bold moves. You know, because it definitely took plenty of bold moves to just even make it here today. That's right. Uh, so that's right. Got to do what you got to do. All right. We will be back soon with the last round of Swiss. You don't want to miss it because that will make and break some players' records. And uh, yeah, that that will be. That will be very, very cool to see. So. Yeah, definitely. Be Everyone, back soon. See you all back soon. Card Fight Vanguard.
the glitters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising. Bushy Road.
Welcome back, everyone, to the last round of the Swiss rounds for the World Championships for Premium. I'm Kai with my pal Tie Fighter. It's been it's been great, right? Yeah, we've been uh, trucking right along. Honestly, uh, rounds have been moving along pretty smoothly. Uh, been uh, pretty interesting games today. Some uh, some interesting spice picks we've seen as well. That's right. uh, Luard Gize, uh, kind of <laughs> the the big standout there, I think I'd say. Um, but yeah, we're uh, getting ready to go into our, our final round of Swiss here. Uh, see what's going on there. Uh, but before we do, uh, again, just to uh, reiterate. We, uh, we want your sleeve art. We want your sleeve right. art for Deer Days. Get that art in there. Uh, maybe you'll see uh, your own creation implemented in game for some sleeves over there. That's so. right. Uh, we have a leaderboard, though. We yes. want to see who is, who is near, the, near the tops to make it into the top eight. See how things shaped up after the last round. And here we have first place, oh, Matthew Bake. And second place, Maxime is second. So mm. we have only one undefeated now. Yes. So that yeah. means... A lot of these X twos might be making everyone fighting for that like last few spots. Look at Stephen yeah, Lee yeah. on the on the eighth spot, and if we swap it around, David Vecht as well on tenth. So wow, yeah, just the winning in pretty much. Yeah, a bunch of these X twos are still in that winning in sight. So uh, this is the round this that is will the make or break. Right? Yeah. yeah, last Absolutely. round of Swiss. We are pretty much ready to go into the game, and I think we got some pretty interesting names. We got. Matthew Bike here, oh, right, showing yep, off yep. his uh, phone prowess. Yeah, <laughs> uh, some also, some wicked fast text thumbs. Wow, David Vect as well. Another also got the uh, the the texting abilities right there. The phone <laughs> micro both both doing very well. Dave Vect was on a huge roll of Gear Chronicle last season. Yes, and yeah. It looks like he's continuing to dominate. Uh, yeah, both both Gear Chronicle players here. You know, we 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 started. Our Swiss rounds with a mirror match, and we are ending it with another mirror match. Uh, different clans, however. Uh, oh no, not not different. Oh yeah, dude, technically, yeah, we're, we're gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the the one thing that is not the same is where they're from. So Matthew from the USA versus Dave from uh, will qualify from Germany, but I know yes. he's from EU. Yes. Right? So we've got another NA versus EU matchup right here. Yep, yep. And uh, let's see who is gonna take this one home. All right, so Dave actually going second in this matchup. Not the best. Nah, I not what you really want to see playing Sea Maidens. Yeah, because we want to. You want to go first and right down. Yes. Right? Yeah. You want to. You want to uh, ride up, get your time leaper, do some multi attacks, ride down, and then uh, I guess in this matchup, uh, basically force your opponent to do the same thing. I think we saw something similar uh, earlier with uh, uh, both decks on both sides had the capability to ride down. It's just that that kind of game of chicken of like, all right. Who's going to commit a little bit more first, and who is that going to punish? Yeah, and speaking of committing first, we have Dave putting down another gear cat. He wants to capitalize on going second and being able to attack twice. Absolutely. Uh, maybe attack even more, but don't really want to get shut down by a heal guard. And attacking yeah. with a vanguard first. Wow, yeah. No, uh, no trigger guard. coming out. No trigger on either side, uh, so that means the cat can swing in uh, and threaten another damage here. But it looks like... That uh, Matthew is. Uh, oh wow! Ooh. Okay, he was debating. It looked like to uh, whether or not he wanted to take that damage, and decided, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll use this damage. So we're we gonna see a double into Rana right Honestly, now. Honestly, I think uh, that's that's probably uh, the best kind of outcome here. Uh, you know, the best thing you probably do is just try and uh, plus as much as possible in this early game. Yeah, and this is like when just just by taking the damage right seeing how much damage a play takes kind of reveals what is in their hand you know yeah definitely two damage means you probably want two counter blasts because that was a very easy guard as well yeah that like very very like i think just 5k shield uh, yeah, 5K, 5k shield, shield drop 5K that shield would have been very very simple but you know whoa, well, that, there it is there, there it is, is. <laughs> <laughs> the double right? you know what sometimes you play for the high roll right uh just in case and you know uh what is it uh fortune favors the bold that's so, right uh, didn't even bother putting your hand. You know, yeah, yeah. Put it, put it there. Time yeah. to go. And uh, we got a bunch of columns hitting nice numbers. Absolutely. And will Matthew put down a third as well? Just that's to get that that's price uh, the the what, what we need to see here. And honestly, I miss. feel like ooh, oof, not what oof. you want to see. But I feel like uh, you know if you're going going first here, uh, might as well try and take the lead early in damage, uh, so that way your opponent is that much closer to uh, that 6 damage when you do your uh, ride up and then probably ride down turn. Um, and Melon, Melon comes out from the drive check and Whoa, it looks like Dave is going to take a 2 damage as well. Ah, do we yeah. see a double-double in Toronto? Yeah. <laughs> 
hits okay. uh, double crits, so only one of those crits are going to be added to hand. Yep. A bit unfortunate, but that means extra guard value in the hand. Definitely. And David, let's. What will you? Res well, Dave, what will you respond? Yeah, with, right? yeah. Let's see. Is it the Nabu ooh, ooh, riding okay. a Nabu? Not quite as good, but there still is an Entirana. Yep, yep. So there's there's still some potential here. It looks like he may even try and go for a wider board. Um, he could. He could go double Entirana, I think, and have just a you know max max field. Yes, definitely. Try and uh, really really push because I I think uh, the way this game is shaping up already, I think both players are just trying to uh, push as early and as quickly as possible because uh, I think maybe the best way to uh, not worry about a Shlishma is not give your opponent to even have the chance to do a Shlishma. That's right. And Anglisa coming out as well. Uh, is there a, I think there's a second Enterana right there being dropped. And will it actually, well, is that it? No, no, that's not an Enterana. What is that? I don't even that? know oh, what wait. that card is. <laughs> that is a new one. It takes the damage. A crit comes out to kind of stomp the attacks a bit. And, uh, oh, that is a Lacina Bell, which is a PR. Oh, wow. That's a, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting It's an old card as well. So generation break one. Mm. Uh, when the unit is put into the binds and from the regard circle, choose up to one of your opponent's grade one or less regards, and your opponent put that unit on the bottom of the deck. So it's like an extra Karunta. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of. An extra yeah, removal. A kind of uh, a, a nice way to kind of potentially deal with Hanali as well, I'd imagine. Uh, that's like the, the, the immediate kind of use case that jumps out to me. Uh, yes, yeah. Being able to, because I, I, I don't think there was a cost on that card as well, was there? No, no. So uh, uh, unlike Karunta, uh, you don't have to worry about having a CB or a Soul. You just got to get that thing in the bind zone. Uh, so that's actually a very, very interesting, very spicy tech. I, I, I like, this is, this is what I wanted to see here today, is uh, some things that you don't normally see. Maybe some cards that you haven't seen in a very long time, or maybe ever in some cases, and then that's see right. what kind of uh, effect they're put to use. That's one of the, the best things about premium, in my opinion. And the only time you'll need to really worry about needing that card is when you're on the Schlish returns, because before yep. that, you're not hitting it the Honolulu in the limit. <laughs> so, uh, the generation break doesn't really matter. The only liability is that it's weak shield and weaker power than normal true, true. Uh, lineups. So uh, that's that's not really that bad. No, no, really I don't think bad. so. Especially as a one of, uh, just to kind of uh, raise the ceiling of your deck and uh, the capabilities you have. Yeah, and Karunta coming down, starting some removal engines on uh, on Matthew's side. Just kind of, you know, when you play these games, the hand sizes are usually small. Mm -hmm. Every little thing you can remove off your opponent's board is just a nice plus for you. Yep. And Steam Eaters overall just really don't use that much CB. So th no. they can happily just utilize that. Looks he's like actually he's attacking. Oh, oh. He's bottom decking the, uh, or retiring the cat. Retiring, interesting. Uh, I think that was the, uh, the, the... Steam card on the right side of his board. I forget its name, but I know it. Uh, Zayed. Zayed, yes. Zayed. Uh, he can he can target and pop something, uh, which is uh, better, I think, in this case because you don't really want to give your opponent a chance to call Search, another yeah. cat out. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it's one of these texts that it's uh it's for the for the mirror. Right? Mm -hmm, Pretty good mm -hmm. the mirror. Yeah. Uh, pretty good foresight uh, in, in that regard uh, because I feel like, you know, Sea Maidens, like we mentioned earlier, they did get a little bit of a slap on the last ban list. But, uh, you know, some people said it made the deck less bricky. So uh, maybe you just kind of make some room for some new techs. That's uh, right. Kind of uh, maybe you, 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 you know that how strong the deck is. You expect to see a mirror. Uh, just kind of uh, prepare for it ahead of time. Yep. And uh, Ooh. looks like soul charging a TikTok worker there. Yeah. Not quite ideal, especially seeing a TikTok and drop as well. Taking this one, and that is a draw trigger. Pretty good. Good, good card to take. Uh, getting to 20k now, but I think will he still guard the rest? I'm wondering. Yeah. Actually, leaping the uh, the, the cat, calling a Nabu. Oh, is that a Nabu? It is a Nabu. Ooh, so this Nabu is going to be like 30k. Yeah. Nice little guard restrict going on right there. A There's roll the roll lock coming down. Okay, that's interesting. We've seen a we've seen a few other gear chronicle lists that weren't 
taking the roll off. Yeah, seems. yeah. Dave respects that early. Yes, definitely does. Definitely does. And he's getting that. Uh, this just makes the Vanguard such an easy guard. So safe as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's First see what these check. drive checks are. Two blanks. Uh, not really what you want to see here. I feel like, uh, you know, with the, the, the Nabu on board, you could potentially see uh, a situation where you just stack some, some triggers on top of the Nabu and, like, maybe just win the game right there. But nope. Easy 15k shield like Easy. that then. And back. And actually, you know, Dave's in a pretty good place. To Absolutely. Be honest. Didn't really lose too much. Now has his ride down turn. And he can oh, wow. It looks like he's riding down into the Zayed. Uh, Ooh. Look like probably going to pop the back row. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Very, very interesting. I don't think this is something that we've seen in any other uh, Gear Chronicle deck today. Uh, Zayed is. Very interesting choice, but seems to be doing quite a bit of work here right now. Yeah, 100%, 100%. We just see, like, Dave's board just disappear. Yeah. I have to wonder if maybe this was kind of a, a tech to go against into the Highlander match, too, uh, because, you know, uh, instead of putting cards back into your opponent's deck that they can just probably Q-Tire back out, yep, you can just yep. get them into the drop zone, uh, not right. have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm kind of liking it. A lot of, a lot of play. Oh, that's oh. not good. That's not an Inglisa. It looks like Dave understands that you know, if he plays his gray down game, uh, right down game against yeah. the Syed, uh, he's going to lose out because yeah. every time he commits, he's going to lose that card. So he decides to, all right, we're going to, we're going to play a normal game. Yeah. I'm, I have to give up my, my grade two game because I, I understand that I can't win it. Yeah. So I have to go to grade three first and deal with the game from yeah. there, which. It, it makes sense, right? If you keep on playing a losing game, you're 100% going to lose. Yeah, yeah. But if you push the game in this direction a bit, then maybe, you know, you can push enough damage here that your opponent kind of a good Schlishma turn or you're just setting up for a for your big Schlishma turn next turn and hoping that he doesn't trigger like a heal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely. Like we, we've said earlier, uh, you know, there's there's got to be a lot of bold moves here today. Uh, and honestly, uh, kind of just taking an element of surprise can come in mighty handy as well because if your opponent is expecting you to do one thing and you zig instead of zag that can kind of throw their whole kind of game plan that they were expecting off and then maybe the the thing that they've been preparing for the previous several turns of the game all of a sudden they uh may not have uh, quite what they want in that regard that's exactly right and i mean this turn would have been way stronger with like the colossus because that's why you run the absolutely the, the elves and the colossus previously to be able to do these kind of turns where you can't win that game and you just kind of just push like that but this is still pretty threatening because uh, because matthew has already rode back down to grade two from grade three his heal yep. guardians do not work anymore yep uh, and he might you don't know if the gear chronicle player plays rocks he might not right? yeah so in terms of being able to defend early they just might not be able to defend. Some yeah. of, like all the Geek Chronicle decks are built very differently. Some of them yeah. are focused towards an earlier game and we'll see cards like Rolock, or they might be f focused more towards the kind of uh, you know time leap plays with the TikToks, the Millums, which are, mm -hmm. do uh, like very cool attacks, right? They add more to your Schlishma turn, but yep. in, uh, in contrast, weaken your kind of earlier defensive power. Definitely. Sure. I think that's something interesting, too, that you mentioned. Uh, you know, that's one thing that I don't think gets brought up too much with uh, Ride Downs is that it does shut off your, your heal guardians. Mm -hmm. um, so if you if you have a way to kind of, like, you know, if you're going uh, second in a Ride Down matchup, uh, being able to just kind of punish your opponent for uh, doing so uh, is honestly going to kind of come in uh, very handy in this kind of uh, format right here. Now... I'm a bit confused though because well, one he didn't have C he doesn't have enough CB to maybe do the multi attack so it looks like yeah Dave is just gonna go into like the mass farm with a double interanus but it's still not that much mass D just no guard this yeah uh, seeing a crit Ooh. right here oh so crit to Vanguard right yeah there it is there it is getting pretty spicy five K there second check do we Ooh. know a rollock okay okay. Must so have, uh, I feel like uh, you're probably breathing a, a big <laughs> sigh of relief. You, know? you say no guard on the vanguard, and your opponent flips up a crit first thing. It's like, uh oh, uh oh. We saw we saw what that can happen uh, just uh, a round or two previous. You say no guard on the vanguard, and like, oh, there's two crits. And that's a lot of guard. So that's 15, and I think a five mm -hmm. or, or a 10. 
Something like that, but it was a Chikok God. Yeah, yeah. And, th and then there's the Heal Guardian. Uh, unfortunately, like you know, we were just saying, uh, doesn't give you quite the benefit that it does once you ride up to grade three, even if you get back down on grade two. Grabbing a PG as well is very, very cool. Uh, and how will how will Cal's got um, math got this? Let's see, got a uh, PG coming down right here. It looks like that's the end of Dave's turn. Yeah, just a very simple turn, getting cards, yeah. adding cards to hand to try and tank the Schlishma turn. Nice little farm turn. And a Gleesa getting ridden. Uh, now he has a true Force Mark aside, so this Schlishma turn is going to be very, very big. Or very devast possibly very devastating. Possibly, He's yeah. Gonna have to, Dave is going to have to guard this correctly. Yeah. I think it was definitely the right move to try and farm up hand. His hand is looking pretty stacked right now, but is it stacked enough to stand up to the uh, expected onslaught that we're going to see from Matthew here? He just has, I think he's got God right, right? So yeah, take the yeah. double force is probably the best. He's actually, ooh, he's going for the intercept. Interesting. you got to just get rid of the, if, if they were going to guard 5K, you know, just get, yeah, get rid of yeah. the 5K, right? Uh, and then this side in, this is, this is like a 35. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, if you want to take one, this one is probably one of the bigger ones, but actually the Schlishma coming out later will be big. Yep, uh, there we go. Seeing a Grunta going to damage. So we have the time leap coming out. Getting ourselves, is that an Elul, I believe? Yep, an Elul coming out. And this Elul, I think there's like three cards in the bind zone, so she's, uh, she is 22. Mm. Uh, and then plus the 20k, so it'll be a 42. Yeah. That's, that's quite a lot of power. That's, that's very, very big. <laughs> I think you might just take this one. Yeah, honestly. I think that's the, uh, the play here. He's got one more damage to kind of work with and uh, ideally try and see a defensive here. And Ooh, he that's gets good. it. That's, that's a, good a defensive. very good defensive. Uh, I don't think, like short of a heal, I think the, the draw is uh, what you want to see here. And the Schlishma doing the combo now. Yep. Double, double Elul. Interesting. He's got two CB to work with, so that works. So they can, go, they can both go to threes. Yep. Uh, and they're all hitting uh, quite big, to be honest, which is scary. And they're both binding cards as well. Yeah, especially uh, now that uh, Dave's been pushed to five. Um, you know, that, that, that defensive is going to help, but is it going to help enough? It won't help enough. That's, that's for sure. Uh, but will the hand help enough? Might right. be. Really depends on these triggers, I think, now. A 5k coming out. And putting the 5 on the side on that side. Okay. Uh, he's, he should have one more drive check. And that's a blank. Okay. So, 5k worth of shield. Yeah, yeah. But we have 30 plus, uh, 30 plus a lot. Yeah, 30 plus a lot is definitely... Is it 20, sure. 24? Is it a... Oh, Dave. Uh, ooh, yeah. He's a uh, sign, right? Yeah, yeah. When, when your opponent starts looking through the cards that are out of the deck already, that's when you can kind of go like... That, that's blood in the water at yeah, that point. Yeah, but this is not the one that you want to know, God. You should take this one. Uh, going for the G card? G guard, guard interesting. Because okay. the... the the Elul will likely go into like an Elul. Yeah. And the Elul can go into the Shlishma. Yep. Uh, and then on the left side, the Elul will go to the Elul on the right to kind of mm -hmm. replace the Shlishma. And the Shlishma will replace the Elul after yep. that. So there's still quite a lot of attacks coming through. Yeah, that's that's one of the kind of uh, interesting things about Gear Chronicles. You can kind of just manipulate your board, especially when, especially any deck that can call units from the G Zone to Rear Guard. Uh, there's, there's usually some fun kind of. Uh, um, combos you can do to kind of reuse the same ones over and over. Rafana coming out. Oh, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a throwback. Rafana. Yeah, definitely. Takes me back to the, uh, the, the, the day. Rene days. Yeah. <laughs> the Rene days, hey, yeah, true. And the LL swing in. This has got this four in the bind, so that's like a plus 12. Uh, so it's like 25 plus 20k, so 40, yeah, yeah. 40, 40, 45, that's... That's power. That's a big number. That's definitely a big number. Oh, bear clock. Bear, bear lock. Bear lock, yes. A very, very interesting card that we got uh, in 
English uh, with the Revival set back in 2021. Uh, it was a card that was in Japan for a while, I believe, and then we finally got it brought uh, to the English format with that set. And honestly, been a pretty fun addition to Gear Chronicle decks as well. Yeah. I would say Bellock's one of the few reasons why this deck works as well. You, you, you just yeah. make a board, push, develop a field, uh, and then now you're like, norm normally when you commit cards, uh, you have less cards in your hand because mm -hmm. they're on the field, mm -hmm. right? But now you can use those cards again for defensive yeah, shielding yeah. purposes. So I think that, that I think that's a great great addition that makes you know, one of the reasons why Gear Chronicle is like so competitive now. Yeah, absolutely. Now, just guarding this this attack. And the three gets played over yep. here. Get us another uh, couple swings with the those good force markers stacked up. Yeah. Another like was it forty five K right? Yep, yep. Ooh, Ooh the drops OT. the OT. Okay, OT is out. And then now... Another G-Guard. Okay. A full, he's actually guarded the whole thing. Yeah, and I think this is his last G-Guard that he can do this game. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, wow. Oh, Putting the OT back. Okay, okay. Very, very spicy here. That's that's some of the some, some uh, interesting things in premium is that there's a lot of clans, a lot of decks that can shuffle cards back into your deck. Uh, and if you have a way to do that with the OT, you kind of get to have your cake and eat it too. You get to guard with it, and you get to have the potential to check it again as well. I think I saw a lot of Inglises in uh, <laughs> in Dave's hand. Mm. But it's okay. They can all turn into something useful. Yes, yeah. <laughs> now it's his turn to slush him. But looking at Matthew's hand, was it that big? It looks very... Small. Yeah, looks looking a little bit thin right about now. Um, I feel like that was probably make or break it turn for Matthew there. Um, when you're not able to clinch it, uh, you know, I mean, we just saw what the what the plays were. You know, on one That's side, right. it's just going to turn around. It's going to happen the other way now. Uh, unfortunately, Matthew is, I believe, setting at five damage. Oh, uh, this this critical trigger binding itself, getting an extra counter mm. charge to make the extra big play. And this is where Dave is going to end it. So we've got the Melum uh, into the likely a TikTok, and the TikTok will bind the Melum into a two, and she's just going to take it. Yep. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was a close. The game. relief. The relief <laughs> right there. <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> This is not, it's not something you want to do playing the mirror. In, yeah. Especially yeah. the Gear Chronicle mirror going second. That's rough, but Dave was able to make it work. Yeah, he the, some some big moves happening on both sides. Uh, Dave, uh, while you know uh, Matthew going to his push turn, Dave fortunately had the benefit of being able to take two damage that turn. He, That's so right. he had a little bit of a cushion that he could work with, and before he started committing all that extra guard, and was just like able to make it through that turn. And then uh, it seems like Matthew could kind of see the writing on the wall. Yeah. Uh, he he. He knows how many attacks are coming. He, kn he knows he's only got a pretty thin hand. He might as well just try and play for the heal, the OT, something to try and stay alive. If you don't get it, you don't get it. That's right. And looking at the, the plays that both of them did, you know, uh, Matthew played more aggressive, it feels like. Yeah. Maybe yeah. more of them minusing his opponent more. Well, yeah. Dave deciding just to play it more conservatively and just adding more cards to hand to be able to survive yeah. that turn because he knows he has to. Yeah. That's yeah. the way out. And then just winning from there. So it was a very, very good, uh, good game. And... That was the last round of Swiss. I think that confirms Dave making it into top eight of I think world so as well. championships. Yeah. Um, and then after we'll be knowing, we'll find out what the top eight is uh, soon. Yep. Right. I think we're gonna have a video as well after yes. this. Yeah. So uh, be stay prepared. I think it'll be happening in around uh, twenty minutes. 4 p.m. 4 yeah. p.m. 4 p.m. local time. Yeah, LA uh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So. <laughs> I, 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 Stick around for that one. I think that'll be very, very cool, right? The, I think there'll be some nice things that will be shown. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Who definitely. knows what we'll see. Mm, mm. So that is it for uh, the Swiss rounds now. Swiss rounds. We'll be back with a video. We'll be mm -hmm. back with the top eight after that, and then we will uh, finally crown our premium champion here at BCS 2022.
fighters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising. Bushy Road.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the BCS 2022 World Finals. We have just finished up with our final round of Swiss. And uh, before we get to all the standings and everything, uh, I think we just kind of want to talk about what we've seen here today. Kai, tell, tell me some of your favorite moments, some, some of your uh, personal kind of like peaks and highlights that you, en you enjoyed today. I think the m one of my highlights today was just watching all the all the decks, just the Luat, I think. That, yeah, that yeah. Was, Honestly, I got to follow you on that yeah, one, too. The, the yeah. Luat, <laughs> surprise, it's Gizeg, you know? Yep, hey, yep, yep. Uh, I, I didn't expect that. No, 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 no. Didn't expect that, honestly. It was it was very, very <laughs> interesting build. And honestly, that's, like, honestly what, what I love about Premium. What I really wanted to see today is just, like, the weird, off-the-wall kind of, like, spice that people bring. Something that's that right. somebody's been kind of cooking up, you know? Maybe it's, like, nobody's something taking something that maybe somebody hasn't like looked at in a very long time kind of recontextualizing it putting it in a new environment and then just kind of seeing where it goes and it seemed to do fairly well um, did okay i think i, I haven't checked the standing we'll yeah find out yeah soon. we'll see we'll see find out uh, soon. either way i think just bringing a deck like that here today is uh it's, pretty it's fun the, it's the world championships right you got to bring the best or the or the most creative thing yeah, that no one yeah. ex is expecting yeah uh, just like you know if you want to make a new sleeve in Vanguard did it. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Like, get your creative juice flowing, might get put on the sleeve, right? Throw so them out there. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Get your get your art in the game, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Immortalize yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're like ramping up to a to a video though. The, yes. the winter is yeah. the winter of the conference? Because I'm I'm from the south, so this is right, my right. summer, right? The, yeah, yeah, your your summer. Uh <laughs> winter English conference, something like that. Uh, yeah. not quite sure what we're gonna be seeing. The winter um, conference, if you're in the northern hemisphere. I don't know about LA. It doesn't feel like winter in LA, right? Mm -hmm. And in Singapore, it's always summer. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> That's a, very true. Depending very true. on where you are. <laughs> then very, very, very sunny here in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, the, so we're going to be weekend. ramping up to that very soon, but. What do you what do you want to see in top eight? Let, let, let's put it this way, you know. You know, I I think I kind of I called my shot a little bit early earlier today. I was like, I, I feel like Cradle Colony slept on, and I don't think we've seen anything I of Cradle Colony. I had uh, a bit of a sneak peek, right? There were Cradle Colony players, right, in this tournament. Just saying. <laughs> Just gotta see how well they did. See if That's any right. of them cracked into that illustrious top eight. Um, we saw like I think uh, three Highlander decks today. Uh, mm. A lot of Steam Maiden. Honestly, I'm I, I'm, I'm surprised. kind of surprised. Yeah, I am too. I, I I expected to see the like the the representation Bermuda have the same representation that Steam Maiden did. Um, but I think it just goes to show you that like you know just because a ban list happens, just because you lose something, doesn't mean that your deck is automatically completely shut out. You're and gone, right? Just completely we, we even saw that today. Not Rikami, right? So Absolutely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true as well. I think a lot of players who qualified brought similar decks to what they qualified true, with. True. Uh, even though they might have gotten hit and even though there is the kind of the, the boogie the boogeyman of Highlander being the best deck. Yeah. The other decks are still quite good, right? If you're a Highlander yeah. player, you're banking on drawing a Katia or something like the Gear Chronicle is a bit more consistent, right? Yeah. Uh, you, you're banking on drawing the Entrana, but it's not as important kind right, of thing. Right. And then your Narukami, a lot of, a lot of Narukami camps are split between the the, uh, the, uh, the Exterminate Dragon mm -hmm. and the Stunverse Dragon, right? Yeah, so if you're, yeah. in the, if you're in one of those camps, 
you really didn't have much to worry about. Yeah. There. I think part of it, too, is, you know, uh, Highlander was kind of like the worst kept secret of the format, yeah, right? Like that's Everybody correct. knew that Highlander was going to be a strong deck. Everybody knew that was going to be played here. So I think we also saw a lot of players just kind of preparing ah, for that match. I think the video's starting. So ah, let's here we are. Let's, let's to throw it. to that. Oh, look, it's Matt. That's Bushy Matt. <laughs> Yo. I like that guy. How you doing? <laughs> Good? All right, cool. Yeah, all right, cool, bro. All right, I'll see you later. To everyone watching at home, welcome to the Bushiro English Conference Winter 2023. And to everyone competing at the World Finals, are you winning, son? Whichever it is, I hope everyone is having fun here at the World Finals. It's been too long since the last one, and this is a great chance for everyone to catch up with your friends or to make new ones who share the same hobby. To give everyone an update on the situation here at the World Finals, the Swiss rounds have ended and we are currently waiting for the top 8 playoffs to begin. I know everyone's excited for it, but you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. We're finalizing the players, brackets and doing deck checks at the moment. While you're waiting, here are some upcoming news and releases in the coming months. Just to let you know, Vanguard related news will be only streamed on the Vanguard Twitch channel, while Vice Schwartz related news will be on the Vice Schwartz Twitch channel. The full version of this conference will be made available on our official Bushroad channel as usual shortly after the streams are over. The World Finals marks the end of one tournament, but also the beginning of another. Bushiroad Spring Fest 2023 will commence from March to June. Assemble your three-man A-team, as BSF will, of course, be a team tournament. Entry is absolutely free, so all you have to do is register, turn up, and you'll get one of these hot-stamped PR cards. Also up for grabs are these amazing champion PR cards. Bro 2023 will be held throughout the year from March to November. Lots of attractive prizes await you, so don't miss out. For more information, you know what to do. Unlike previous years where we've had events happening on back-to-back -back weekends, we're spacing it out just a little bit more this year so that you guys have more events to look forward to throughout the year. Bushiro Fighters Navigator, or Bushi Navi for short, is a system created as a means for our TCG community to manage Bushiro official events or Bushiro sanctioned tournaments. What this means for you as a player is that you will be able to join tournaments, report your round scores, and check your standings during a tournament all via the Bushi Navi app. Bushi Navi is also linked with deck log, so soon you will be able to create and store deck recipes and browse public deck recipes. For Bushiro official stores, Bushi Navi will give you more functionality to better manage the tournaments you host. For example, Bushi Navi comes with an inbuilt pairing system that can help you run tournaments smoothly. Bushi Navi will be made available this year, so you can look forward to a smoother tournament experience real soon. There's a lot more details than we can cover in this video, so please check our SNS for the updates. Next, I would like to introduce everyone to the Bushroad Global Online Store, where you can find official Bushroad merchandise from titles such as Bang Dream, D4DJ, Cardfight Vanguard, Vice Forts, Hololive Production, and many more. Whether you're looking for card sleeves, concert goods, or you just want some new drip, the Bushroad Global Online Store has it all. There is a new series of Vice Shorts and Vanguard merchandise coming to the store, so if you play either of these games, do check them out. Stay tuned to the end of this section for a code that you can use during checkout to get a promotional discount off your orders. Bushiroad on the road to various anime conventions in the United States last year. There were exclusive merchandise produced just for the Bushiroad on the road. Now these exclusive merchandise are made available on our website. The exclusive merchandise items included huppies, t-shirts, acrylic stands, skateboards, license frames, and more. Since these items were previously sold at various conventions during tour, only a limited stock are available. So if you've been meaning to get your hands on these items, now's your chance. If you haven't heard already, we now have Meister uniforms. It's a new series of Vice Short shirts for you to show your love for the game. Here's a look at some of the designs. You can only get these via the online store, so if you want to rock in them, Please head on to the Bushiroad Global Online Store website and make your orders now. And now for Vanguard. The latest merchandise to arrive is the Fighters Apparels. They come in the form of shirts and hats and with six different nations. What better way to show your love and support for your favourite nation than by equipping yourself with our latest Fighters Apparel? You can check out all the designs on the website. If you're watching this stream when it's first airing, you're in luck. For a limited time, we are running a promotion for viewers who use the code BUSHI underscore MATTHEW during checkout to get 15% off your order. That's a 4 for the A and a 3 for the E. Yeah, cool like that. So grab what you want from the Bushiro Global online store and check out before it's too late. This promotion lasts from now to February 4th. There's no restriction on the promotion code and that means you can use this code for any item you find on the store. 
This is the first time we're giving such a huge discount. So add that item you've been eyeing to the cart now. So while you're shopping, let's move on to Vanguard Zero news. Spring is coming soon, and so will the Spring Circuit. The four rank fight seasons will start from February 1st onwards. Registrations for Open Qualifier Round 1 will start from April 5th onwards. And the circuit finals will be held on May 20th and 21st. If you're taking part in the circuit, may the card draw be ever in your favour. For more details, please head on to the events section on our official Bushy Road website. In February, the game will enter the GZ arc, the final sequel to the G series. If you've watched the anime series on our YouTube channel, you would know just how exciting this arc is. But hey, no spoilers. If you have not watched it yet, well, you're in for a ride. Now you get to experience the story firsthand by playing through it on Vanguard Zero. The GZ arc brings about the advent of the Dragon Deity of Destruction, Gizeh. And with Gizeh, the terrifying Zeroth Dragons. The Zeroth Dragons will be released in two parts. In February, you can look forward to the Zeroth Dragons Drachma, Megiddo, and Stark. And in March, you can look forward to the release of Zeroth Dragons Ultima, Dust, and Zoa. The upcoming Imaginary Tower event features Raika and Youthberg that utilizes Revolve Form. Youthberg can be tricky to go up against because of its signature Revolve Form ability, so bring your best deck to the tower and ascend as high as you can. This tower will run from February 4th to 11th. Collect as many medals as you can, and exchange for cards in the exchange shop including Youthberg cards. Clan Fight Challenge featuring Gredora and Mega Colony units will run from February 15th to 22nd. Fight your way through to earn Mega Colony Clan medals, which you can then exchange for Mega Colony cards including the Poison Sickle Mutant Deity Overwhelm and Evil Governor Darkface Gridora in the item exchange store. Gridora's fight skin will also be available from this event onwards, so if you're looking forward to boosting your Mega Colony decks, don't miss this Clan Fight Challenge. After the Mega Colony Clan Fight Challenge comes the Great Nature Clan Fight Challenge. Huh, suddenly see a bit of a pattern here. Brace yourselves, because spring is coming. Likewise, the Great Nature Clan Fight Challenge will offer you a variety of cards to exchange, and if your points are high enough, there are additional ranking rewards waiting for you too. For exchange items, you can look forward to exchanging Melia Shanois, Big Belly, and other Great Nature cards. The month of April is a month of celebration for the third anniversary of Vanguard Zero Global version. This is still in planning, so keep a lookout for the in-game announcements. And that's all we have for Vanguard Zero. And now for Card Fight Vanguard. A new season of Cardfight Vanguard Will Dress just dropped two weeks ago. The first two episodes are already out on our Vanguard YouTube channel, and you can watch it for free on the channel. New episodes are out every Saturday. A total of nine seasons of the anime has also been confirmed. I'm always pumped to watch more intense Vanguard Cardfight battles, so knowing that we have nine seasons planned is really reassuring. It makes the next few years super, super exciting for me. And now on to the products. Here's a summary chart to bring everyone up to speed on what's been announced for Vanguard TCG. A reminder for those who wish to get their hands on a serial number rare version of Minerva, BTO8 Minerva Rising will be going on sale next week. On February 24th, SSO3 Strike Deck Set Chrono Jet will go on sale. This is a special series that contains a Chrono Jet constructed deck and some items such as acrylic fighters coins and a storage box. SSO3 also comes in a premium version which contains additional items that are not included in the normal version. And certain cards get different treatment from those in the normal version as well. More info can be found out on our website. Next up, we have BTO9 Dragon Tree Invasion. Let's take a look at some of the units that will be featured in this product.
Dragon Tree Invasion features cards and units that appear in the first half of the latest anime season. The booster pack contains cards from all five nations, including Bruce's latest form. This product will also reissue some highly sought-after cards such as Detonation Monster Bobomine and Painkiller Angel. We hope that this will make it easier for players to get a playset or an extra piece for their collection. This product goes on sale March 31st. SS04 Strike Deck Set Messiah is similar to SS03 with some minor differences. The constructed deck in the product features Messiah. Definitely do not miss this special series out if you're a Messiah fan. SS04 Strike Deck Set Messiah will be out on June 9th. BT10 Dragon Masquerade will feature cards and units appearing in the second half of the anime season. As you can tell, it features Yu Yu and his latest form of his unit, but since we're still in the early points of the story, we're not going to spoil anything just yet, so you just have to watch the anime yourself to find out. BT10 Dragon Masquerade is scheduled to go on sale this year. Just so you know, SSO5 Festival Booster 2023 is also in the works, so do keep an eye out for further updates on it. And these are the new products for the year that you can expect for Card Fight Vanguard. And that's all we have for Vanguard TCG. This is normally where we end the video, but we have a new title on our belt, so let's move on to Shadowverse Evolve. The social media channels for Shadowverse Evolve English are all set up now, so do follow us for the latest updates. We will be posting regular video contents on our YouTube channel, such as gameplay and mechanic tutorials designed to help beginners learn the game. So, if you've always wanted to pick up Shadowverse Evolve, here's your chance. Shadowverse Evolve is a trading card game based on the digital collectible card game Shadowverse. While gameplay resembles its digital counterpart, it's an entirely different experience thanks to some brand new mechanics. Choose from one of six classes and build a deck of 40 to 50 cards to do battle. Over the course of a match, you will call upon mighty followers, cast dazzling spells, and make use of potent amulets to overcome your opponent. Once their leader's defense reaches zero, you win the game. So Shadowverse Evolve is the result of a collaboration between Cygames Inc. and Bushiroad Inc. Cygames Inc. handles the development or design of the game, while Bushiro Inc. acts as the publisher for the game. The Japanese edition of Shadowverse Evolve was released on April 28, 2022 for the Japanese market to critical acclaim. Now, the game is finally making its way to the West with a global English release. While cards from the Japanese and English editions cannot be used together for official tournament play, players can mix and match in casual settings with the permission of their opponents, of course. I'm sure some of you are keen to get into the game already, but fret not, I'm here to share how. The easiest way is with a starter deck. We'll be releasing six of them, one for each class, and these will go on sale June 30th, 2023. Pre-orders are currently open, so contact an official Bushiro retailer for more information. As I mentioned earlier, each starter deck features one of the classes available in Shadowverse Evolve. Each of these decks provides a glimpse of each class's playstyle and unique strengths. All starter decks are ready to play out of the box and contain exactly the same types of cards per product. The first of these is the Forestcraft starter deck, Regal Fairy Princess, featuring Arisa as its leader. This deck focuses on amassing fairy tokens before buffing them up for a huge attack. Players will also get a peek at the class-specific keyword combo, which enhances your cards as long as you've played a certain number that turn. Next, we have the Swordcraft starter deck, Blade of Resentment, featuring Erika as its leader. This deck offers strong early aggressive cards to start chipping away at the opponent leader's defense for closing out the game with Tsubaki. This card can gain the Storm keyword, which allows it to attack the opposing leader immediately. The Runecraft starter deck, Mysteries of Conjuration, features Isabel as its leader. Unlike the previous two decks, this deck aims to remove the opponent's followers in the early game with spells before summoning its own followers that threaten to end the game in one fell swoop. The keyword Spell Chain appears in this starter deck, powering up your cards if you have a certain number of spell cards in your cemetery. Take to the skies with the Dragoncraft starter deck, Wrath of the Great Worm. This deck features Rowan as its leader. Fans of dragons rejoice, because this deck is packed to the brim with awesome fire breathers. Some cards in the deck have the Overflow keyword, which denotes abilities which activate when your maximum play points is 7 or more. This may seem like a lot considering you start off at 1 play point, but the deck does have ways to ramp up to 7 fairly quickly. Traverse the darkness with the Abysscraft starter deck, Waltz of the Undying Knight featuring Luna as its leader. Based on the Bloodcraft and Shadowcraft classes from Shadowverse, call upon the Denizens of the Night to do your bidding. Summon Forest Bats and Ghost Tokens to dimmer away at your opponents, all while building up these cards in your cemetery for Necro Charge. This keyword buffs your cards once you have a certain number of cards in your cemetery. Walk the Path of Light with the Havencraft starter deck, Maculate Ablution, featuring Eris as its leader. 
This deck plays a defensive early game and aims to close it out with potent amulet cards that summon fearsome token followers. It also has some good support cards for amulets, serving as a strong base for a future amulet-based deck. Speaking of deck options, Shadowverse Evolve Booster Set 1 Advent of Genesis will be launching on the same day, June 30th, 2023. Pre-orders are currently open for this as well, so please contact an official Bushiroad retailer for more information. First edition prints of this product will contain an exclusive box topper promo pack, which contains one of six promo cards. These are one per box, and the card inside is guaranteed to be foil. The set contains cards for all six classes, plus neutral class cards, which are usable in decks of any class. Booster sets contain cards that can be used to upgrade your starter decks or to build entirely new decks. There are 180 new cards in this set with 22 legendary, 38 gold, 56 silver, and 64 bronze rarity cards. There are also a total of 29 special foils in this set with 22 of them being super legendary rarity and 7 of them being ultimate rarity. It will also be available in this set. As we've mentioned, the products will launch on June 30th, 2023. Until then, we will be revealing more information about available products as well as showcasing the cards from each product. Support for monthly shop tournaments will also begin in July, so you can look forward to challenging your friends to a Shadowverse Evolve showdown at a local game store near you. The release will also mark the start of a worldwide demo caravan, where Bushroad staff members will travel to card shops around the world to teach and promote Shadowverse Evolve in addition to other Bushroad trading card games. We are aiming to visit more than 400 stores around the world to spread the love of trading card games. There will also be a handy game assistance app that will be made available after launch. This app will help players to keep track of their playpoint totals as well as their leader's defense. Better yet, this app can also be used to scan leader cards to unlock exclusive voice lines and artwork. And that brings us to the end of the Shadowverse Evolve segment. As we ramp up to the release of the game, more information will be made available through our official social media channels. Give those channels a like, follow, or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest news pertaining to the English edition of Shadowverse Evolve. And that's all we have for everyone today. Thank you guys for tuning in. The conference ends, but please stay tuned as we will resume the live stream for the World Finals really soon. The tournament should be resuming very shortly, and I'll see you guys again later. Oh, and also in the next conference. Not done with me just yet. <laughs> yeah, and, well, it looks like we're back. So. Yeah, we're back. Woo. Wow. How was that? Had, yeah. Did everyone have fun watching yeah, that? that yeah. Was, wow, there's, you know, I, I kind of forget. I get a, I get so tunnel vision on premium sometimes, being such a, a big fan of the format, that I kind of forget just how many products and uh, things that Boosh has got going on, you know? You don't have to be like that. Everything is a premium product. Right, right, right. exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Great tens premium product. Oh, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to somebody trying to figure out a way to uh, jam some spice with that. That's right. Premium. 15 drives. <laughs> There's a reason why they had to ban MFD. Yes, That's yes, yes. They were it is. preparing for this. Yeah. So quite excited. Uh, I think a lot of these were sent up, told us before. Mm -hmm. But now we know the dates for them. Yes, yeah. Uh, so it should be quite exciting. Messiah stride set. Yep. Mint. Yep, Mint. yep. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I think that's my that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, some of the prize cards we saw for like BSF coming up, those were looking uh, pretty sexy that's as right. well. Uh, right. And then a lot of Shadowverse Evolve news as mm -hmm. well. Um, it was like uh, you know we, we got through the Zero, we got through the White, we got through the Vanguard, and then I was like, oh yeah, no, Shadowverse is a game that's coming out very soon Shut as well. You know, <laughs> I'm quite interested for Shadowverse, honestly. Same. It looks like like I I, I play Shadowverse as well. Yeah, Going back yeah. to like the first sets as well, it just seems seems fun. Yeah, right? yeah. The good old yeah. first sets. But now in physical form, right? Yeah, and you can look out for that uh, that demo caravan as well too. They're gonna be traveling around. Yeah. Come to uh, Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Australia's a great place. We got spiders. We got ants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we got drop bears. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, be on the lookout yeah. for a card shop near you, I guess. Uh, maybe they'll, they'll come by, uh, show you how to play the game, help promote it, uh, right. get you into the game. Be very cool. So yeah, I think that is that is just that for now. Yeah, right? I think so too. Any, any if you have more, uh, you can rewatch that. It'll be on YouTube very soon, uh, and we'll be uh, having a short break while we prep for top eight. Yep. And we'll be back for the last little segment for Worlds, right? the most important Ready? segment as yeah, well. Yeah, the the wrap up. The wrap up. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody. See you soon. Right.
the glitters have obtained great strength in response to each of their feelings. These heroes are back too. Booster Pack, Minerva Rising, Bushy Road.
Hello everyone, we are back and now it is the top eight of the World Finals for Premium. Are you excited, Ty? I'm very excited. At long last, you know, after the six rounds of Swiss that we had, I uh, got to see, uh, honestly, I think we got some, maybe some names uh, That's showing up right. in the top eight, we potentially. That's right, we get the bracket now. Yeah. And uh, ooh, you might notice the defending champion, Simon Zhang, is not here. The, his mm. reign is over, is a long reign. Yeah, the yeah. Three year reign. The three year reign. But all things must end. We have a fresh face. So here, uh, we have a lot of a lot of players. We have Matthew Bake uh, playing off against Maxime de Kock, right? And then next we have is Dave Vecht playing against Ty Smith. And then we got Carlos Eduardo Ruiz Juarez versus uh, jo Johan Barczak. And then lastly we got Anthony Weber versus Stephen Lee. And we actually do have a very interesting top eight split. What do we have, Ty? Uh, looks like uh, we've got uh, quite a few, let's think, uh, what we got here, three Steam Maiden? No, we have four, four Steam Maiden. Four Steam Maiden, Ooh. yeah. Got ourselves uh, some Spike Brothers, uh, Rising Nova right there. Uh, one Eradicator. Yeah, uh, man, we know who that is. Yep, yep, we saw him on stream earlier. Uh, and then uh, two Bermuda Triangle. But, um, you know, you guys like the cool matchups. We have the Spike versus the Gear Chronicle coming here. So we got, oh no. Wow, jumping right into it, we have a uh, <laughs> G Assist for Grade 1. I don't think there are many things that are uh, more painful than, one, having to G Assist, but two, especially, especially on Grade 1. Although, you do get to kind of uh, make up for a little bit for it with the, the on-ride draw uh, somewhat. Uh, yeah. Softens the, the blow some, slightly. Some you know? of Interana makes up for that too, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. like <laughs> but this is not a great start from Yuan. The good thing is that he is going first, yes. which means that he will be able to do his ride down play, which should be yep, very yep. effective against spikes. But, you know... Carlos has been playing in these spikes these entire rounds and has been doing very he's like yeah. he like ranked quite oh, did quite well right yeah, to get all yeah. the way here so uh, spikes are uh, not to be trifled with uh, if you're not careful they can just all of a sudden you turn around and you are gone <laughs> that's exactly right so it's if just losing these two cards from Yoan's hand might be all the difference yeah honestly We'll, um, have, we'll have to see how, how Carlos does. Uh, how Carlos things play out, yeah. Yeah, Carlos representing Mexico as well. This is yeah. from France. So this should be great intercontinental battle. Right, right. You see the Gear Cat come in as well. But now. Oh, very good ride right there with the Ambush Dexter. Uh, especially going second because uh, you basically just get to uh, get that free quick shield and then turn it into something else, uh, something better potentially. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like that. Uh, but actually, just, he just swings it, and we see the Ooh, greed on. Greed on, okay. Greed on? okay. I th we, we, so we, we kind of know which direction we're going in now. Um, see what happens when we get to that grade three turn. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting uh, because, you know, the ride down, I almost wonder in this matchup, do you actually ride down? Uh, I mean, I guess I guess dealing with a, a rising greed on turn is a little bit less scary than yeah. dealing with a, a full-on galley combo turn, but still very scary to deal with. <laughs> yeah, in a way, right, sir. So when you decide if you want to ride down or not, you go, does my opponent have a good first stride that I want to deal with? Yeah. And if the answer is no, then you ride down. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. Galley is one of those strides, I think. And based on the hand that Yohan has right now, where you b probably don't have the ability to deal with that Galley stride. Yeah, you especially might be, after that G assist right at the start. Yeah, you, know? you might want to go for a ride down. In fact, you don't even have to. If his hand has like heal guardians, you might. Mm. Might you, even not ride it up at all. That's right. It might be the way for you for you just stay there, use the heal guardians against the the, the rising greed on turn. Yeah, yeah. And that's that. Oh, uh, looks like he's riding a Dudley Mason here. It's uh, pretty interesting. I'm not used to seeing that uh, in in Spike Brothers lists. Yeah, this one is a. I, 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 we, we can see the list. Oh, okay. So oh. first drive check, we had the greed on. Second drive check, we've got the max max. Uh, so already got the pieces for a uh, very potent Rising Nova turn. I think the only thing we haven't seen is Rising himself. Yeah, uh, if the Rising comes out, we're stoked, right? It, yeah, it yeah, should happen. Absolutely. Otherwise, this game has been progressing very, very uh, slowly and conservatively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Normally, like the previous Spike game we saw, yeah. they, went, they went off, right? Yeah, they, they went all in. Uh, same with like the Steam Maiden players, too. I think uh, not seeing uh, any Enterano plays on, on turn two is... 
uh, not ideal. This is the first. Yeah. This is the first yeah. time we haven't seen it. I think we, we've seen at least one, sometimes two, and I think at least at 1.3. <laughs> and turn. unfortunately, this is the one game where you really don't want to not have an yeah. Inchirana yeah. because you G-assisted as well. Yes, yeah. So. Losing those two cards, like, you want to try and make up for it with that Inchirana, but... Not seeing that, uh, I, I'd be a, a little bit, a little bit itchy uh, if I was uh, Yuan here. Just trying to see what we can do here. Uh, it looks like he's going for the time leaper. At least I assume time leaper. Oh wow! Yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah, Yuan go. might not even develop in an entirely full field here as well. Yeah, because it's just it feels like his hand quality is weak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to conserve hand? It just the uh, you know call something to that force marker, swing with it. Uh, time leaper it, uh, get like you know some some big swings. Not a lot of swings, but some big swings. Uh, That's and right. Just try and try and apply some sort of pressure uh, while also conserving hand. Yeah, and he's just you have to think very carefully because the biggest problem against this spike is the next turn is going to be he's not even Ooh, he, he okay. oh 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 okay now it makes sense. Uh, looks like he's gonna is it Karunta the zero to the one. That's and actually pretty interesting because, like, not only is he getting himself a nice piece on board, but he's also shuffling his, shuffling his own triggers back into his deck, which anytime you can put triggers back into your deck, that's a good thing. That's a very yeah. good thing. And being able to get the one again, Gear Cat, and then Time Leap into the yes. Entorana. And putting the Gear Cat there, so only... Pretty, doesn't want to be greedy, I guess? Yeah, pretty interesting development here. Um, so maybe maybe not, 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 not being uh, as conservative as maybe we were uh, first expecting. Um, I think it's more necessity. Like Absolutely, yeah. If he pushes too hard here, he only gets greedy. Then some of the attacks won't go in, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, or he just wants to deal as little damage as possible, kind mm -hmm, of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could be a could be a variety thing. I think gets another Inglisa. That's not Shield uh, value though, which is no. I think that's that's purely just setting up for the turn after. Oh, Next. going for Naboo. Ooh, okay. This one is okay. <laughs> so he can 20 in if he wants after this. Yeah, and still yeah. force, a, force a, a trigger out, which is very good. Yep. 20 and binds the, I think that's this Owl. Yeah, it looks like it. And this requires a trigger to guard. This might just be a no guard, but Yohan still is able to heal at this state, and that's mm -hmm. basically what you're fishing for. Yeah, yeah. You trigger the heel and you tank. Oh, okay. That's not enough shield. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. 15. You need a, a 15k. That's where those old shields come into play. Yeah, the 10k yeah. shields are usually just not good enough. Let's see. I guess he's uh, trying to decide how badly he doesn't want to take this hit. Actually, oh, looks committing. like he very much does not want to take this hit. But he can't. Yeah, he couldn't guard with that second card. They need. Oh, that's triggers. right. Yeah, that was a great one. He just goes for the just tank. Just eat it. Yep. There we go. There we go. Kind of forced there. All right. And then here would just be kind of a no guard. He'll bounce the gear cats. Mm -hmm. There it is. We'll bottom deck the gear cats, and get a good old Entorana. Entorana, and then get that gear cat right back out. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> more, that's more just kind of moving which column it's in at this. Pretty much. Yohan basically just kind of need needs to fish for cards that to help him survive for the next turn. Very, very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can't complain with a plus three in this situation. Uh, it's not always a plus three. As if you mm. are on Carlos' side, you have to believe that your opponent is only plus two. True, true. You know, you've got to imagine it, and then it can happen. Yeah, right? yeah. It looks like, there it is. It oh, is a well. plus three. There we go. Didn't, didn't, didn't imagine it. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So no guard on this. First check, blanks. Both blanks. And a weak shield. That is a 5k shield. Yeah. The heal comes out. That's uh, actually pretty good because I believe uh, Carlos does heal here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So getting the heal value. Um, but he might want to have stayed at 3. But yeah, judging maybe. from how he wanted to really guard those attacks. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is fine too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like he's kind of debating. Oh, okay, nope. He's taking that too. He takes it again. Okay. Ooh, got a, a, a Mikani. Uh, popping out here. Yeah, Mikani, uh, not really that useful in this matchup, yeah. I think. It's mainly there to, to blow up Honleys. Um, and then now, I think some of the cards got reversed. Uh, so they're just going to kind of adjust it now. You know, when you put cards back, then you put cards... Well, actually, I think that draw trigger is the only thing you kind of yeah. put back that could be yeah. upside down. <laughs> right, so. Yeah. Um, but I think you just get... Here, do you get the Interrail or the 10k shield? Mm -hmm. I think you can actually get the 10k shield because the Interrail goes to the bind zone and... You know, it's around in the binds, it's not bad. No, no, not at all. 
but you know, having an answer on that can play down is also pretty good. True, true. Well, this is Let's a hard see. decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's really thinking this one over. Because I feel like, yeah, he takes, yeah, take okay. a shield. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Because Yuan <laughs> really needs that shield value right now. He basically got nothing yeah, this, yeah. This, this turn. Uh, okay. Those drive checks were uh, not too great with the uh, shield value there. Pretty much sad city, I think. All right, well, we there's, have <laughs> there's the rising. Uh, we already know we've got the greed on. We know we've got the uh, uh, Juggernaut Maximum Maximum. Getting a force three right here, stacking on the Vanguard. Right. That's what we we didn't see earlier when we saw spikes, uh, but we're we're seeing it here now. So we might see uh, the full on spikes combo here. We can see the rising Nova at fully operational yes. capacity, right? Uh, then we can see this is this is gonna be rough. Eh? Yeah, like, yeah. At least twenty three k with yep. two crits. Uh, Yuan Sigli had a bad damage um, damage area in a yeah, way. You know? Yeah. <coughs> He's only able to take one attack from the Greed on before uh, it's a lethal. Yeah. Right? Normally, if you stay at one, it's, it's like, you know, when, when you're back in, back in the Morphessa days, you're yeah. like, I want to stay at one damage. Right. Because right? <laughs> uh, if I went two, then it's. Then it gets it's, uh, much, much scarier. Yeah, yeah, sir. So he's using the Dexter, calling out, uh, like, targeted a fullback to call out another fullback and a Rona. Rona's grabbing a Max Max, uh, I guess. Uh, just kind of conserving hand right there. Yep. Looks like and, uh, that's his four calls right there, too, for uh, one of his restand skills. Mm. There's the greed on. <laughs> the, the field is set. Yes. Right, it's all yes. ready. And then going to copy Max yep. Max and the greed on. Going to be uh, a lot of very big swings this turn. Basically, ri Rising Nova just copies effects. And uh, ugh. when you copy uh, two two cards with different restanding type skills, uh, uh, you restand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you restand a lot. And put up the, the juggernaut maximum maximum here. A very very interesting card as well. Not mm -hmm. really what you'd expect from Spike yeah, Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Right? I think Yorn's the the fullback's going in for the first attack. Fullback can attack from the back row, back center column. Yes. Yeah. Right. I believe gets 10k as well. Yes. Uh, similar yes. to Bracky. Just an, a little annoying poke <coughs> that yep, he decided yep. to go first. Uh, but with the with the swing though, uh, even hitting this in, you're going to be going for like a crit to crit to win with a vanguard like yeah, that, which is yeah. pretty it's pretty damaging. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like not at all unlikely either. Um, like one, depending on these drive checks, uh, the the many drive checks that will be happening this turn, um, things can go uh, south very quickly. And here is going for a no guard here. This is one of those chances. Going for a heat gets a it's heal. A heal, very good, very good. Just puts it on the vanguard, right? She's gonna be restanding. Yeah, good to get honestly. Ma va yeah, max yeah. value. Max value. Max max value. Yeah, yeah. Th that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a dexter. Okay. So two damage. And oh, this heal is Ooh, huge. That heal is very clutch right here. This means that this he means that uh, Yoan has a chance to yeah. just no guard the next if he really has to, and just yeah, just pray for no crits to come out. Yep, proccing the Greedon skill right here, and then swings Going in again for another Vanguard swing, an even bigger Vanguard swing than before. Does Yoan have the cause? There is a P. He's eyeing over a PG, I think. Mm. But I think he only has one. <sighs> yeah, I think I think this is probably where you drop that. A um, stand. Oh, ooh, oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. That one. <laughs> that means he can attack again, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember stand triggers? The blank. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. And then activating the greed on or the uh, max max skill. Uh, to restand. Restand again. And then what will you attack with first? Just this one? Uh, yeah, I think so. He has one more drive check that he can do. Uh, maybe just try and uh, dig for, you know, maybe one more trigger. And then if this is guarded, just, you know, slap it on the full back and back row. Might be a Nurgot here. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Might actually just be a Nurgot. When, when you're looking through your cards like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You're really weighing your options very heavily. Mm -hmm. And... Really, really kind of debating this. Uh, Ooh, a PG. Oh, there's a PG. Okay. Doesn't want to take risks because there's no point. To Understandable. Take yeah. A draw. A uh, draw trigger. Okay. 
Wow. So Yohan actually lives through this miraculously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that heal was very huge right here. And this is a perfect... Oh, attacks of Rhi! Oh! Fall back to the Enterana. Okay. Carlos respecting that Enterana. Yeah. Right? I mean, honestly, if you're uh, uh, Carlos right here, I feel like, you know, three damage is... A, like, if you get to your galley turn, three damage is enough. You know, you, you, you don't, you don't really need too much more. Uh, so, might as well try and, uh, like, hit the board while you're at it. Gets rid of that. So, now we're back to... Back to uh, Yoan's turn. Able to access stride. Yeah, yeah. This is good, right? Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, Carlos, Carlos is sitting on good. a very stacked hand and only two damage. So, uh, gonna have to be some very, very like heavy pushes to uh, for uh, Yoan to try and uh, secure the win right here. Yoan does have a double force, though, so that true that can change things. Definitely. We, we've seen a lot of double forces uh, kind of uh, coming in and uh, really kind of uh, just amping up those multi-attacks and the Steam Maiden turns. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how much damage he can kind of get through this turn. Um, still kind of, he's kind of went from like an awkward early game. And yeah, I feel yeah. like he's kind of stable. Yeah, yeah. Definitely kind of evened out here. And the counting of the cards, so there was like 11 cards in wow. Carlson. That's, a, that's an okay amount. For yeah, premium, yeah, you know, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Right. Until we reach those 15. Yeah. Right? Like, Whoa. But 11 is still doable. Yep, yep. Uh, with two damage, though, it, it might be a bit of a yeah, reach. Yeah, might, might be, be a little, little bit difficult, but there's there's a shot. There's a shot here. Yes, yes. Uh, but it looks like Johan's still considering what to do. Yeah, he's, uh, looks like, uh, yep, all right, yep, straight into the Sushma. As to be expected. Have to yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to it's, it's just the best stride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've seen any Gear Carnival player stride anything other than Shlishma all day today. That, so. <laughs> yeah, I think that's correct because Shlishma ends game. Yes, right? absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And what is, what is, what do you call out now? What is the hand? You want to spend a lot of time thinking about it. You don't want to make any ex any mistakes here. You want to make sure yeah, everything's correct. Yeah, especially when his hand is looking so much thinner uh, than Carlos is here. Uh, you really want to kind of uh, make sure that the pieces you're committing are going to you're going to get your return on investment for whatever you call here. And I'll be in I'll be interested to see how Carlos guards this because you might want to just take to four because ideally you you'll see two regard swing in because mm -hmm. that's just how the yeah, attack yeah. plans work. You just like actually no guard that go to four and just to prevent Yohan from ever healing again and kind of just yeah. go, no heals for you. I'm ending you next turn. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, and Yohan looks like he's just moving up the cat. Doesn't want to commit a lot of other stuff. A melum comes ah, out here too. Melum's pretty good. So yeah, melum into the TikTok. We'll yep. Bring the gear cat to a two. Very very classic play right yeah. here. <laughs> But doesn't, don't you need a, hmm. All right, here we go. Yeah, so the Melum's going to whiff. Just grab us a TikTok. That's, that feels so, that feels yeah, so rough. That's, uh, that's, that's a bit of a struggle move right there. But good old TikTok is out. And, uh, and now we have the cat. Cat is around 28 plus yep. two binds, so it's 30. Uh, and then the TikTok will activate and make it a make it a two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, unless your one has other ideas. Yeah, looking like uh, Carlos going into a G guard. <coughs> uh, G guarding, you know, you know, Spike for the G guards are surprisingly uh, decent. <laughs> yeah, they're they're they they got some very robust shields on them actually. Yeah, so I think. It's a bit unexpected. You think, you know, Spike Brothers, that deck that just attacks and doesn't yeah. really do anything. But it's a yeah. surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. We've got <laughs> defensive capabilities as well, yeah. <laughs> Which is funny, even even like with a, a uh, Rising Greed on turn, like as aggressive as it is, it's still also just drawing you a bunch of cards, as we can see with uh, yeah. Carlos sitting on that very yeah. uh, stacked hand right now still. And then... Oh, th there we go. Carlos defends ah, that one. So he he uh, healed the Mekini and is uh, tossing that back into his deck. Very interesting. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's cool. And so G got successful. And I'm probably just going to no guard the Vanguard, right? But yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like he... I guess he's not activating the TikTok on the cat. Oh, okay. So what he's going to do, he's going to bind it, get like a two and a three, yeah, probably, yeah. and then just do the... Swapity swap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we just saw, I think like a round or two ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh there's the Entorana. Okay. 
uh, still trying to, uh, I guess, it seems like he's still trying to kind of make up for that <laughs> very early G assist he had. Yeah, uh, the yeah. The very start of the game, uh, well, which I can't fault him for. Yeah, well, he just wants to get the Enteranas because, you know, when you don't see the Enteranas in the early game, mm -hmm. it's still in your deck. So, yep, yep. Uh, you know, <laughs> once you start drawing them, uh, you can start, you know, getting them and, you know, getting more and more and still yeah, going yeah. there. Uh, but this one, this, this, What's the attack pattern for this? Or, you know, the, yeah. the cat swings in, it's like 28. You, your TikTok has to use it on the Enterana, right? To become yeah. a 3. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the 3 has to become... Then, it, then that's the only way it becomes the 4. So yeah. I feel like we're not getting the max value here. So this is a Nurgard. Second check. I think that's a crit. Mm. And then the third check. What will be third check? Wow, well, it seems he's debating where to uh, to put the power there. Maybe the crit as well. Um. Crit on Vanguard. Okay. Power on the rear. There we go. Third check. That's a heal, right? Oh, was that no? No, I think it was a melon. Uh, yeah, it looks like a melon. So two damage goes in. Uh, both blanks. Wow. Okay. This is gonna swing in for twenty-eight. It's a that's a magic number. Actually, twenty-nine, but it's pretty much twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Goes to five. Wow, Carlos, uh, not shy at all about uh, taking all this damage. I think he's uh, trying to conserve as many pieces in his hand as possible to try and uh, live through this. And then, ideally, you know, a galley turn, uh, as many pieces as you have, you can just kind of, on that crackback, just uh, swing for game. That's uh, right, yeah. So, uh, I right mean, now, like, like you said before, right, you, you've got to make those bold moves. Yes, right? exactly, yeah. But what we're looking at here is we've got an Enterana boost by Gear Cat. That is, I think, around um, 29, uh, 29 right now, including mm. plus 10k as well, because we've got the trigger, so it's like right, 39. Right. So these columns are hitting massive. Absolutely. That, too, is going to become an likely an Elul, I think. Yeah. And the Elul will become 33, then plus... Uh, I think two more binds will be like 30, uh, 39. Mm. And then the last attack will turn into the Schlishma, which is a 35. Yeah. So we got a lot of two card guards coming yeah, out, slash yeah. uh, forced G guards. Uh, and not seeing uh, any defensives on those, those three damage checks is uh, not great for, for Carlos either. Yeah, but. funnily enough, this might be quite lethal for Actually, yeah, Carlos yeah. Here. And in a way, you know, even if it wasn't, I feel like Carlos might have to spend a lot of his hand to guard this, which might make yeah. the, the galley turn untenable. And we're looking at, you see that stand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the rest of that, is the, are, are there many? The, the, the shield value isn't looking too hot for Carlos right now, um, especially considering that, that that stand in hand is definitely going to want to be uh, held on to uh, for a lot of the, the galley combos he's going to want to be doing. Um, let's see. What's what's happening here? I think he has one more. He has at least one more G-Guardian. There it is. Okay. Yep. There we go. It's our, our new uh, premium collection G-Guard right there. It does a lot of it. It's really, really good G-Guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's the Villainous Avatar. All right. That saves them from one attack. Yeah. But what about the next two? Yeah. Some of the, the biggest swings of this turn on those those next two as well. I think they all kind of hit around the, the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is which is scary when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here's the TikTok coming yep. into going to the three. Calling out the Elul, yep. Yep, yep. Funny, Carlos still sitting on a, like a pretty tall hand, but it, he's seeming very reluctant to get rid of any of the cards in his hand. So yeah. I think that just speaks to just how important the cards are in his hand. Could be a fake hand. True. Uh, oh, that's was that two draws that, that got revealed? Uh, I only saw the one. Yeah, I think there's a bit of glare there, but yeah. the, the Enterana skill popping off there. Uh, this one's 39, I think. PG comes out. He's got another PG in hand, so I think he yeah. confirmed yeah. he lives this turn. And then the 
Oh, hmm. is that just a pass? Is he just going oh wow? Okay, going to conserve the uh, interesting field. Yeah, conserve I, the salt. I, I guess so. All right, so we're back to Carlson's turn, and uh, oh, gets a second force three. Doesn't doesn't that LL need to go back to deck? Wasn't that one on time leaped? Oh, true. Yeah, uh, that was time leaped out. Let them know. Yeah. Before we get uh, too far along here. Yeah, it's not really much. You just, just the uh, what was the, the Interana comes back. Yes. Right? Yeah. Elo goes back to deck. The Interana comes back out. And now Let's comes see. the galley. Are they? Do we have them heading over there? <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, Gal Galley Galley comes in. Yep, yep. How much? How much hand does Carlos have? Um, you know that's a good question. I'm the tempted to come. say. Ah, here we go. Yeah, and just the two comes back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. He technically can call a gear cat, but yeah. I think, you know, it's optional, so like yeah. the timing is just missed. Yeah, I think that might be kind of what happens right B here. A bit unfortunate, but that's, yeah. that's just how it is. You've got to remember you your own effects. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's and it's it's easy to kind of slip up and forget things like this, too. Uh, this just is because, the world finals. Yeah, 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 it's the world finals. Lots and, of pressure. Yeah, lots of pressure. Uh, you've already gone through six rounds of Swiss today, you know. And, you know, maybe that kind of, like, mental stamina is starting to run a little bit thin. The mental you know? fortitude. Yes, But absolutely. also, the... the, the you know, this game didn't exactly go the best for uh, yeah, yeah. for uh, Johan. So a lot of things are in your mind. But again, that's yeah. part of the uh, the mindset, right? Probably gets you a little bit frazzled right off the bat when you first thing you have to do is G-assist for a I grade know, one to I ride. Know. And then have to search it in Toronto. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, it looks like uh, we got the laser black guard getting pulled out here. Um, that's a very interesting piece. Uh, it oh. can just really kind of uh, extend some of the multi-attacks that Spike Brothers are going to have right here. Yeah, I'll be very interesting to see the the full power of this uh, mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm. this turn from Spike. So there's there's a few cards I don't know that we haven't seen either the yeah, game is yeah. too quick, or uh, it's just uh, you know some some interesting text. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I think every single Spike game that I've seen either ends like grade three or like or they just die. At grade yeah, three. yeah. <laughs> One or the other. Right, D double checking the uh, mecha instructor there. Uh, that is a massive enabler for the deck. And I think they're just uh, discussing something. Yeah. It's a, the mecha enabler, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're going. Is, this fuel looks pretty good. Yeah, very, <laughs> very, very potent right here. I uh, got the Dudley Mason swinging in with the Force Three. Yeah, that's a lot of power. Your Vanguard has power too. Yeah, yeah. And you're at three, of course. You can take some, but yeah. there's still a bit of a still a bit of risk because mm -hmm. your hand is just not great. Especially when you got two force threes on the board. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that makes sense. What's the attack pattern you think from this? Uh, so right here, uh, probably gonna swing with the Mason. Mason's gonna go back to the deck. Um, I feel like probably you go. With the potentially the instructor, uh, instructor probably uh, binds and moves that black guard to front row, yep, um, yep. unless he decides to use it as a booster right here, which could be very interesting as well uh, with the the galley skill, um, and then maybe he wants to use the instructor for the uh, Dexter because. Uh, uh, instructor binding Dexter, calling Dexter back out, just gets you two more attacks. Uh, very very potent, especially on a galley turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he's got he's got several lines of play open to him right now. It just kind of depends on uh, what's gonna uh, maximize the amount of attacks that he gets this turn. Because really, this is this is do or die for for Carlos right here. Uh, he either uh, secures it right here, or he's gonna have a, a bit of a rough time probably. I have a feeling he might have it. Cause yeah, he, honestly, I'm looking at Yoan's hand. It's just not great, but this yep. is gonna help. First check. Uh -oh. and the second one is just a melum, so that's fine. Nothing got revealed. Okay. Uh, yeah, now that he's up to five, uh, this is very, very scary position to be in against Spike Brothers. Um, you know, and I feel like uh, as a Spikes player, like you, you see uh, some blood in the water right now. 
Yeah. Is there any attack you can take for one damage here? Uh, n I don't think there is. Uh, it seems like... Yeah, no, he's swinging with the Instructor. Uh, boosting with the Dexter. Um, looks like he swapped his uh, 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 Force Markers around. Yeah. Is that enough? That feels a bit low. That's like a double... Oh, he got a trigger, so yeah, that, yeah. I think that, that's just enough. Um, and then he... Oh, yep, binding the Dexter. Uh, Ooh. Dexter, oh, targeting the maximum. He's going to get out a couple of grade threes, probably a Lucifer to get some, uh, another counter charge, get a counter charge to extend. Yep, there's the Lucifer. And is there going to be a second Lucifer? That's what I'm curious to see right now. What else can you get? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like what else is really worth it at this point? Uh, Maybe there's not a second Lucifer in deck, so he's probably just going to call out a... Anything that can attack? Any, any, any sort of grade three, I suppose. And I think he's... Did he just check his check everything again to, yeah, to see where, uh, where his cards are? Ah, uh, okay, so he's, he's pulling out the Mekini. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not bad. No, 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 no. no. Uh, but instead like of getting a counter... Just getting a counter charge one instead of a counter charge two, you mm, know? Mm, mm. I mean, two is better than one, but sometimes yeah, you still yeah, have it. Yeah. I think this is still enough, right? This is still enough. Yeah, uh, definitely still very, very threatening right now. And now swinging in again. This is at least 33, then plus mm -hmm. eight, but I'm pretty sure that decks to get power. Uh, let's see, that's 33, I believe 43 once you factor in Galley, and then uh, so a 51K. Two oh, yeah, Galley's. Yeah. How, how do you got this? Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm starting to think that maybe you just don't. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh <laughs> the uh, the black guard as well. I don't know if the black guard is really going to come up. Potentially, it could, because um, uh, I think like really what he wanted to do was get the the counter charge two, so that way he could activate the black guard, uh, and then went on the galley swing could probably call another instructor, uh, and then just use the uh, Dexter again for the same kind of combo to get more attacks. Honestly, uh, it's, it's it's an absolutely insane amount of attacks that uh, Spikes can get. And honestly, uh, seeing seeing Laser Blackguard kind of come back around uh, as a, a very kind of like potent booster, essentially. Because uh, he calls out, if I remember correctly, he calls out something to a... When he returns the deck, calls out something that to the circle he wasn't on. So mm. use him as a booster. Uh, things are just going back to the deck anyways. You know, you can just kind of... Uh, Get things going that way. Okay, the the bear lock it seems just saves him a bit. Bear lock, uh, b seen a lot of uh, uh, bear lock plays today. Uh, I think it was like two or three in one game earlier that we saw. That's right. And th That's not right. only in one game, but in the same turn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, wait, not that one. We have this one, the bear lock here. And next attacks coming up. We got the vanguard swing now. This one actually doesn't have the the the, the crits anymore, right? Mm, no, I don't believe it does. Yeah, because you have to move the yep. the markers around. So this might actually be the safest one to take. Yeah, got himself an instructor and another fullback. So that's just another two attacks. Uh, more once you factor in the instructor. Yeah, or or if you can guard this, you go, you'll take them like the fullback, right? Because yeah, it's likely yeah. going to just be a one damage swing. You still have the last column there, uh, but he does have a trigger though. So yeah. Just does he have enough hand? <laughs> yeah, that's that's really the question. Because uh, honestly, I don't know that Carlos is planning on stopping anytime soon. Yeah, you know, I mean, once you go, you just have to keep on yeah, going. Yeah, he can uh, at least get, uh, he's got, after the Vanguard swing, at least three, but probably up to like five more attacks, maybe more. Uh, when your opponent's at five, uh, you know, that's a... Very, very, very scary Risky position place to, to be, be in. Yeah. And, I mean, you're, you're on <laughs> continuing to think. I, I guess I, I kind of wonder at what point do you do you try and guard as much as you can, or do you maybe just try and hope that you uh, you see a heal, you see an OT, something to try and uh, uh, maybe ease the burden of guarding? Um, I think you have to bank on it at some point. Yeah. If you can't guard this and you need an OT, this is the one you guard because you pr basically yeah. pray for no criticals to come out, mm -hmm. and the OT saves you on the six. Yep. Uh, otherwise... I just don't see other way. No, Your hand size no. doesn't feel like it's there. Really, uh, he, he's really, really debating it. 
This is a really hard thing to do as yeah, well. You know, yeah. This is is that a one? Is that uh, a one? Oh, no, no, that's he's at 40, 43. Yeah, he's saying two to pass, I think. Uh, so there's a there's a blank, is a Verity, uh, Daisy, and a thing to Wow. Dude. Okay. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Very risky guard right there, but it looks like it paid off. Look, two is fine. You yeah. Know, if, if you got to do two, it's fine. But you have to be very careful on what to guard here because there's still quite a few attacks. If you miscalculate, yes, yeah. These, that's basically game. Let's see, he's swinging with the fullback now. The fullback is. It gains pal. Mm hmm. I think it's at minimum 30k right now. And ooh! There it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It uh, seems like he uh, uh, was, was mulling that over quite a bit. Uh, but at a certain point, you just kind of got to realize the writing on the wall. Uh, just trying yeah. to see if there's – is the OT on top? Is there a heal on top? And, you know, sometimes there is, <sighs> but more often that was, than not, it probably isn't. If he needed to get a heal, that was the attack you wanted to get a heal. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's the one where, you know, there's no criticals. Uh, th there's nothing – it stops basically everything from then on. Yep. Uh, so that is the the one you can. You can't really taking like, taking the vanguard attack always risky. Always a critical yes. might come out. Yep. He pro he's still a hand to guard, right? But like if a critical came out from the vanguard checks, then you'll guard the the critical one. Yep. Uh, and then then take like the one that comes yeah. later. So, so here we go. We we have Carlos moving on uh, past the the first round of round eight. Uh, bringing Spike Brothers to a very explosive finish. Uh, right. Very exciting to Sp see, uh, especially after the, the last Spikes uh, didn't quite get to perform. Uh, we didn't get to quite see it perform like that, but uh, being able to see the, uh, the deck uh, do what it does in all its glory. That's very, right. very and cool. You know, Spike Brothers, very American clan in a way. Very, yeah. <laughs> and this is the home turf advantage. You yeah, know? yeah. Got the, the, the home field. Home field. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an interesting topic. We have a Spikes confirmed. Uh, we're going to take a look at what made it through to the next bracket, though. I think we got some uh, interesting, uh, interesting people that yeah, uh, made yeah. it through. This might be the, one of the last games. That was a long game, right? Yeah, that yeah. Was a long game. So, uh, yeah. I heard Maxime made it through, too. So oh, Mr. very Mr. cool. Mr. Solon Vanguard is, uh, is going to be on stream next, by the way. Oh, so very cool. We're not going to a break. Right, when no more breaks. No more breaks. Yeah, so we've we've done all the breaks today. This is this is the top cut times. We're gonna get uh, once we got our players ready, we're gonna uh, go right back into it. Yep, and I think I think everyone knows knows Mr. Va Mr. Solon Vanguard. He'll be facing yeah. against uh, either uh, I think it was either Ty Smith or Dave Vect. Mm. Now we've seen both of those plays as well. Uh, Dave was playing the Geek Chronicles. So yes. we might see another Steam Maiden yep. matchup uh, or. Ty, my, Ty was playing Narukami, yes, so he might have the... Yeah. The I think he's our only Narukami in top eight. Yeah, the basically the last Bastions, the, the, the two, mm -hmm. the one Narukami and the, the Spike Brothers. Yep, yep. Uh, Spike Brothers will be playing against uh, Steven or Andrew... Steven Lee or Andrew Weber. I think we saw Andrew Weber on the stream as well. Yes, right? we did, yeah. So Steven Lee is the only one that we're not sure what he's playing. Yeah. We don't know what he's saying. If, right. you, if, you, if you listen to the stream before when we announced what yeah, they yeah, yeah. you would know. You would know. You would know. <laughs> yeah, by the process of el elimination, you will know what these last two players might be playing. Um, but we'll see. We'll see very, very soon and confirm your theories. But if you don't, uh, just, just, just post in chat, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Join in. Looks like we got uh, Maxime taking his seat right now. And I think we just got news that Anthony Weber has won. So Very nice. Uh, Anthony Weber, I think was playing Steam Maidens. Yeah, yep. And Stephen, oh, wait. No, no, Stephen Lee actually won. Oh, Stephen Lee won. So okay. Stephen Lee beat Anthony Weber. Uh, so we're going to get the mystery coming out. What is going to be Stephen Lee versus uh, yeah. uh, Carlos, right? Um, Honestly, probably a bit of a coin flip if whether or not Steam Maidens, because uh, I think like half of our top eight is Steam Maidens. So yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You once got probably a 50-50 shot of it being Steam Maidens. Well, once Steam Maiden disappeared, uh, Matthew Bike versus Maxime was uh, Matthew was playing the Steam Maiden because we saw them on stream. Yes. So, yep. if, so if Maxime won, then uh, another Steam Maiden is gone. Uh, so the question is: Is Dave Vect or Ty Smith won that one? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Or what do you think? What What, what is What is your 
I don't know. Uh, both both players really uh, had some uh, very uh, intense showings earlier on stream. Uh, Ty Smith was against the uh, uh, Luard Gize that we've uh, gone on quite a bit about. Uh, had a very intense game there. Um, and then... Uh, anyway, the bracket's coming up now. Oh, here we go. Oh, so Dave Vect beats Ty Smith. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so we have one Steam Maiden confirmed in top, top four now. And the, yeah, so I think we, we have it all. We have the wow. entire lineup. Okay. Um, so we've got, uh, I think, uh, is it is it Dave that's uh, going to be sitting down across from Solomon now? Is that yeah. what, uh, what we're seeing? This yeah. is a European matchup. Yeah, they definitely. Were on, they were on a team as well before. Yeah, in uh, Springfest, I yeah, believe. Yeah, Springfest. I think yeah. one time, I, th I think, uh, did, did, uh, did Maxime get sick for one of the spring fests and he kind of filled in? Uh, it was either, I think it was Maxime or, or Jay, maybe? Oh, yeah, I think it was Jay. Jay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay couldn't make it to one of us, so they teamed up for one. Um, I, think, I think at the beginning, Dave was the one who was playing MFD. And yes, yeah. I think, uh, I think a lot of people memed on him because his result wasn't the best. Right. Guess who's at Worlds right now? Yeah, you know? right. Hey. <laughs> guess who's at Worlds right now after a uh, MFD ban as well. Yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, after after his first MFD deck, he, I think he just continued to rip through the entire year. This yes, is, yeah. This has actually been an insanely good year for both players. Honestly, M yes. Maxime, multiple Springfest tops. Yep. And then getting that uh, that that BCS uh, qualification, yep. losing to I think it was Dave Vect. Oh right. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we got maybe maybe a little bit of a grudge match going on right here. <laughs> yeah. I, all we can say is that these two players are pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, what is it? I think this is the second time we've had uh, Dave on stream, and uh, uh, Maxime, uh, first time today. Uh, finally, finally making it up to the stream table here today. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So I think, I think in terms of who has kind of triumphed in, ter in terms of the region, regional triumph. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have two Europeans and then two Americans. Mm, uh, yeah. Well, two we NA go. players, right? Right, have, right. Uh, actually, we does 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 uh, does Mexico in a and Canada count as America, or are they, they're uh, like continent? They're technically America, technically, yeah. yeah. You know, like the states like to call themselves America, but technically okay. we're the United States of America. Oh, okay. So. All right. <laughs> it's like it's like when a New Zealander does well and the Australians call oh, gotcha, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we we have two Europeans, then we have one Canadian, mm -hmm. and then we have one Mexican. There right? we go. So pretty pretty crazy. Yeah. And then yeah. The Europeans are fighting each other. Yep, they, and we got the the uh, North Americans fighting each other that's as right. well. So <laughs> we are confirmed in NA vs EU final. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who will come out on top? Yes, yes. This is. What do you think? Well, you're you're from America. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a little bit biased. Yeah. Uh, you know, I <laughs> got I got to root for my 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 home territory. That's right. I think the real question is who's going first in this matchup. Yeah, I think yeah. It's going to be a, a huge. Uh, a huge decider on on the ride down line. Yeah, yeah. Looks like they're <laughs> they're uh, getting ready to go, uh, going proceeding to post mulligan. Uh, I think they. Uh, I'm not sure what the die roll decided, um, but I guess we will see. That's a, that looks like a, if that someone rolled a one, sad time. Yeah, yeah. Got the ren sleeves. Actually, I think those are the ren sleeves that. Uh, that Maxime bought very recently. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it's the luck, right? It's the luck. <laughs> and funnily enough, if Maxime and Steven wins this, this would be a team kill in the final. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually on the separate bracket. But, you know, Dave, scary player. Yep, yep. We've already seen evidence of that. Uh, we've, we've seen that Spike brother do really well against uh, yeah. that, just in, against Yohan as well. Another mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. strong player too, going for the fist bump, and we show it's the Highlander. Yep, yep, yep. A little bit of a, a little friendly fist bump before we get started. Yeah, they definitely know each other quite well. Yep, yep. And who, who goes first? It looks like Maxime gets to go first. Gets a Sedna, mm. and gets a draw. Top five. Oh, we see some techs already. That does, but do you want to get any of them? Yeah, he's yeah. He, he seemed to like be really thinking it over, and he's not. <laughs> I don't think he's taking any of them. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Not, it's not good enough. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, wait for something better. Yep. And then next, uh, I think you just pass here, unless you got like a Lisa lot play or anything like that. Right. But I think, I think he's just. Uh, I think he's, oh. He, he, oh. 
Maybe. Is that a Lee? That's a Lizalot. That's a Lizalot. Okay. Grade two coming out of grade one. Gets a heal trigger. Okay. But that's okay. That's not bad. Yep. Uh, you can usually bounce them back to hand. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, self damage skill, I believe, is only when placed from hand. So uh, not no yeah. no no inadvertent uh, <laughs> kind of. Uh, yeah, I think it have to be grade three as well. So. Mm -hmm. Just to, just to stop you from yeah, doing yeah. those plays. Geek Cat comes down but misses. Ooh. Not good. Not good. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you know, you have to. It, it shows that Maxine believed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> plus, no, no plus, no cat, right? Uh, it's, this is a no guard flipping a Inglisa. One damage okay. coming out, and that is. Is that another heal trick? I think it might be. I can't quite tell. But it's okay. But it's okay. One damage yep, means you yep. can use Klesina. Uh And that's actually an Aqua. Oh, Aqua. Okay. But bouncing the Liesl for maximum value. Yes, yes. <laughs> Draw another one. And now we'll have to discard something. But now you're able to play Liesl again. This is actually pretty good for uh, for Maxime. This is what you want to yeah, see. Yeah, definitely. And we see that Kutir in the Ooh, hand. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. A little bit of spoilers for next turn, maybe. Feels a bit unfair. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to discard the... Is he, is he actually thinking of discarding? There's no way you're discarding the Katia, right? Unless he's great stuck. Well, not mm. great stuck. Oh, oh, no. Wow. You know, Is that bold double Pearl Sister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What? Okay. Is this even... Is this, is this fair? I... I, I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. What? I'm speechless. <laughs> he just, he just naturally drew the pelvis. Wow. Okay. Is this a flex? It's like discard <laughs> the Katia and uh, <laughs> drop double pelvis. <laughs> oh, oh drive checking a rollock as well. A rollock's pretty good. Yes. Yes. Does uh, ooh, losing a cat to damage? Maybe not. Not necessarily the worst thing, but not the best thing either. Does Dave just go to five here? Like. Oh, double trigger. That does help. It definitely helps. That does help. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, drops the quick shield. Okay. Great okay. start. How is Dave going to respond to this? Yeah. So, we have the Alil and then Interana, hopefully. Yes. All right. Cool. Got it. Got, got some, some, some plussing, hopefully. So, interesting fact is, like, the Rollock can defend your regards as well. Oh, very cool. I did yeah. not realize that, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's a nice niche, niche play. And yeah. I guarantee you a Mr. Vector is going to swing everything into one of those Pelsons. Yeah, I, I don't know if you really have much better of a choice right here. Uh, because either way, uh, you're either going to nuke one of those Pearl Sisters or just uh, kill some hand. Uh, either way, a uh, pretty favorable outcome for you. Yeah, and... If he doesn't commit all three as well, it's going to be a pretty easy guard for a, or a double <laughs> into Rana. Oh, another one. wow. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> actually, wait. I think the uh, the Pelsis is a massive still. Cause as long yes, as, yeah. So then, then that's it. I, I don't think he can deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, this is uh, not great. No. <laughs> Those uh, Pelsis are all at uh, 28k, sir. So yeah. Huh. What do you do in this situation? <laughs> yeah. uh, try. Uh, I don't know if you uh, can do much else other try. than try and hope. Hope, maybe pray. Pray a little bit uh, to whoever may be willing to listen. Okay, so Dave knows he's just going face. <laughs> Might as well. But in a face race, I feel like the one of the Pelsis is winning. Is that an o That's a heal. That's a heal. Okay, okay. No, okay, no. okay. He heals okay, but it's still in that lethal range, you know. Yep, uh, you yep. know, Two pulse sisters. You know what would be crazy is if uh, if Maxime has like a oh that's a that's the Mitol going away. If Maxime has a Lupina, mm. you know, he can technically well he's just gonna take the damage, gets the crit. I mean, at this point, what are you what are you really worried about? You know, like. <laughs> You well, got you got a pretty solid setup, like uh, in a way. If Maxime doesn't kill him the next turn, doesn't kill Dave the next turn, he might lose because mm. he just dished the Gutier and he's not. Well, you have the Pell sisters, so True. I, I guess yeah. it's like yeah, you, you, you've got that, uh, that kind of solid board state right there. But he's his uh, 
His hand size ain't that great. The Scars will lose a lot to guard this. And here comes the pluses. Oh. Okay. You might pick the crit trigger for the defensive here. Honestly, yeah. Uh, yep. There Takes we go. Takes that. You know, you need everything. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Back to Maxime's turn. Okay. Got those. Uh, what does he write? What is he writing? What is the card? Oh, did you just top deck that reindeer? I think he did. Oh my god. Wow. What, what a okay. good player. Well, yeah. <laughs> Too strong. Too strong. Did he actually have any gray threes in his head? I think it was a Yuika, right? I don't I don't think he did. I think that's why he ditched the, the Q tire just to try and potentially G assist into something better. What? <laughs> what is going Bold on? Bold moves. But like like th th that's the kind of what you need to see. Uh, uh. you know, <laughs> semifinals here. Yeah, I mean you're right. Bold moves. Yeah. Bold moves. <laughs> Uh, reindeer coming in just, now. Just draw. I think. I think honestly, just drawing into those pearl sisters naturally has been absolutely huge. So probably the easiest to guard is this is Vanguard. Yeah. <laughs> but he can take. So he can guard guard the Vanguard. Uh, take one of the pearl sisters. Uh, but that's about it. Um, First check is a heal. Oh my <laughs> god, that heal. <laughs> Oh, wow. Maxime confirmed broken player. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one damage, so that's fine. Yep. Going to use Reindeer skill now. And uh, hopefully not miss. Well, you can't miss, but you can miss, like, getting the, a good card, basically. Right, right. So top ten. Uh Oh my Ooh. god, that is a Lupina, right? Oh my god. <laughs> this, I don't think this is... Is this fair? I, I don't think this is fair. I, I, don't, I don't think this has been fair from the get, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to get an extra attack from those Pell sisters. Oh my god. <laughs> Dave uh, looks like he's picking up the, the Lupina to confirm. I think uh, <laughs> uh, lucky we have the face cams. Here. Yeah, I, I yeah. Have to say, this has got to. I would love to see the reactions from yeah, first players. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> we can see a bit of it on our screen, but we, we may yeah, look yeah. the game. But I would love to rewatch this and just say what's, Absolutely. what's going on. Uh, <laughs> so I think it's you have to swing one of these pulses first. Easy take, easy take. Yeah. And I think what you can. Uh, the power lines, this one is the bigger one, though, I think. Yeah, right? yeah. It's 38 with the 40. Just no guard that. Like, don't, don't, don't waste the hand here. And maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe hit some defensives, you know, <laughs> like hope. Hope for some defensives here to try and ease the burden. I think he has to. There's, like, no chance. Yeah. But or even then, even then, even even hitting some defensive, is it, is it even enough at that point? Is it, is it OT it, defensive will be pretty good. Actually, yeah, yeah. There, there's always that option. So if he gets two defensive as well, he can no guard the Vanguard, which will be... Around uh, 23, right? Oh, dear. Two blanks. That is, oh dear. that is not what you want to be seeing if you're Dave right now. That is actually very, very painful. This is probably the one you know got as well because this has no crits. Yeah. If he has enough cards to guard the other two. And just kind of try and hope maybe you see that, that heal. Maybe you see that OT something. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just bad... Bad situations. Yeah. Like on bad situations here. It's uh, you know, it, it's it's like how it always seems like. Oh, uh, you know, you start off a little bit rough, and then your opponent always seems to open perfectly. <laughs> yeah. <know? laughs> well, here's the thing: if you're so, you don't want to waste all your luck in this game. There's still one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the one ultra, more, one more game. game. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. That works. That's that's very good. A plus ten, actually. Uh, brings it just just a two to pass, right? But, right. Well, just a no-go, actually, because it only gets one drive here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, triggers a... Whoo! <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Because uh, why not, right? Uh, why not? It's, it's <laughs> if you got to go, you got to go. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why stop? This will either drain all of the hand from... He's got a PG. Okay, that's, good. that's good. That's helpful. Uh, I want to double check Maxime, that card. Uh, like, uh, like oh, curious about the, uh, the 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 card pitched for the cost of the PG right there, like, uh, which I think I think that, that also gave uh, uh, at least me uh, like 
a, a bit of piqued my curiosity of like, what's this? Dave Ken what, what got here? it. He goes to wow. a few okay. cards in hand. Still, not, I mean, like, still kind of a rough spot, but at least you're alive, right? Yes. And then here comes the ride down. Oh, this is a huge play. So the Yui Cup bounces the Pearl Sisters mm. by soul blasting the Reindeer. And then wow. because you don't have a grade 3, you ride the Aqua to bounce the other Pearl Sister wow. and uh, hopefully get yeah, the grade yeah. 3. But to be fair, do you really need a grade 3? You have Pearl Sisters. Yeah, you've you know. got both of them. Like, <laughs> what are you worried about at yeah, that point? And Look, honestly, if Maxime does not ride to grade 3 next gen, he might still have the game because Dave, Dave's yeah. only play here is to ride back down to grade 2. Grade 2, yeah. Uh, and Maxime's sitting at a, a, a cool 2 damage. Uh, not 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 too stressful of a position. His hand, I think, is looking like look a little thin, but are, are you really that concerned for Does a Does he have a Rolock as well? Uh, did we see a Rolock? I, I can't remember I don't think he's used one. the Rolock, right? Because he triggered a Rolock. True, All true. the attacks attacking the Vanguard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he has a Rolock to keep himself safe. That is, that is wow. actually massive. Yeah. Oof. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I, I don't want to be in De Dave's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very stressful position to be in. It just, uh, it's just everything going well for uh, on Maxime's side. Um... What, what do you? What would you do? He rides. He rides an L. Oh, Ooh, this okay. is going to be the final interesting. Turn. Yeah, no, this is this is really interesting. This is exactly what we saw uh, Dave do earlier as well. Is like you know when when you're facing off against something that can also ride down. Like, do you play that game of chicken or you just try and uh, push as hard as you can with uh, you know a, a, a just a, a regular grade three boss? Yeah, but the difference here is if you ride the L. You are giving up that ride down game, and you will be f might you might be facing a hell trotter pel pel sister yeah. stripe, which is big. But I do want to give credit to Dave here. Uh, the thing is, you know that well. You might not know, but you might know that you, like Maxime's hand size was low. He might yeah. not have a re ride to three the next yeah. turn. If Maxime does not ride to three and only does a grade two of double Pearl Sisters, mm -hmm. that might be your out, because you yeah. might be able to guard that. You did use a bunch of uh, perfect guards just then, though. Yep. But it's not the end of the world. And it looks like just playing over the... Uh, playing over mm. the... the Enterana. And... Yeah, he's got a lot of CB to work with. Yeah, so definitely. So he can actually do a quite a bit of combo. Uh... But let's see what happens here. Yeah. He's got three cards in hands, it looks like, left. Uh, he's going in. <coughs> Interana swinging in. Uh, yeah, we can see Maxime's hand is not great. Yeah, not 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 too not too thick right here. Oh, but it looks like he's... Uh, he's going to guard with the heel, I yeah. think. What's likely going to happen is the A will goes to three. Right, is it? I think there's an Inglisa there. And, uh, and I think you can go to the four, right? Yeah. A bit of a weird combo when you have CB to work with yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's just how it is. But he's, you have to guard this right because you have to be careful of what you, mm -hmm. uh, what you guard with here. In Drops a that heal. In a way, that heal enables him to Ooh. G assistance in something better if he needs to, but I do think there is a three. Yeah. Dave just saw a PG right there, which is definitely going to uh, come in help. handy if he doesn't uh, cinch it this turn. I think there's an easy no guard yeah. on the Solemn side. He's got to, uh, with the hand that thin, he's got to try and conserve it as much First as possible. First check, second check, nothing. All blanks. <sighs> Going to three damage. A blank for uh, Maxime here as well. The blanks really hurt, to be yeah, honest, on yeah. Dave's side because you need that shield something, value. something to try yeah. and like, like not only like because like you want the push as well, but yeah, like you said, that shield value, especially going into a turn where you know your opponent has two pearl sisters in hand. Is he actually just guarding like this? Whoa! Wow. Another, another three. I think. 
maybe he Maxime's also trying to set himself up to can can you G card after writing or a G assist after writing down? Is yeah, that, you can. That thing? Okay, you yeah. Can. I, that's not something I think I've, I've seen ever seen come up in my my personal experience. Yeah, so. <laughs> goes to four damage, and then the last one. So we're going to the time leaper. You'll probably just no guard this as well. Yeah, I mean. Oh, you just oh, a roll oh, is fine. Sure. Too. Yeah. Why not? And that's it. So he's on four. Uh, you know, Dave got got some more hand. Uh, that's helpful. Uh, we'll see if it is. Did he just? Did he just? Uh, what did he get? Is that a reindeer? Did you just top deck another reindeer? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you know, uh, it I mean, seems like he didn't have the grade three in hand, which is why I think he was dropping those those heal guards to try and uh, you know empty his hand as grade threes to try and g assist into something. Um, but now it's just like, you know, wh why, why, why bother? Uh, you, I just, mean, you just top deck what you need. You it know? is like, what it is. <laughs> just draw the out, simply, you know? Yeah, just, just draw the out, <laughs> right? Uh, ooh. Swings in. <laughs> is, is, this, is this fair? <laughs> I, I, no, this is... Uh, I, I, I think this is anything but. It uh, looks like... Uh, Dave might be trying to get a trigger count here. I think Dave has to take something. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> mm. This is this is the tournament on the line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uh, what would you be thinking here? Is this, is this is honestly, it's like uh, I think, I think maybe. Do you do you no guard the vanguard here? Do you? I, I think you have to. And and hope there's no crits, and then maybe you see OT something. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you no guard here. Uh, take hopefully take one damage, and then OT comes out on six, and you live this turn, and you win next turn. Yeah, that's yeah. the outs. Uh, ooh, uh, calling out the uh, Rafana. Bottom decks. See, I think was that a cat he sent back? I think. Yeah. Uh, getting himself a TikTok. So, seems like maybe trying to prepare for a next turn if it occurs. <laughs> well, well, he could kind of, if he can guard the Pearl Sisters, he no guards the Vanguards, and then takes the last attack because the last Vanguard attack will be a one drive. Ooh. Uh, I think that's a critical. Yeah, but that's yeah. fine. That's fine. If he knew he could guard that Pell Sisters, because he has a PG in hand, Yeah, right? he does. He does. So that's that's okay. And then he discards two to call. If he gets Lupina again, that would be really good. OT was there. Oh, is that a Tiroa? Ange is not Ange, bad, too. Yeah, no. Uh Uh, Yeah, I think uh, going for the Ange. Wow. <laughs> Just get yourself another forest marker. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. When when the deck... I, I think... I think... I think my team's just on autopilot. Yeah, right now, yeah. Like, whatever comes, comes. Yeah, right? yeah. It's just... Uh, if, I, if I get it, I get it. He gets an extra attack from this as well. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I think we might have ourselves another no stride game too by the uh, by the looks the way this is shaping up. So the regards, yeah, the pearl sisters will will stride or not stride. They will attack first um, for big power, big crit. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> I think See. Dave is probably wondering maybe I should have. Yeah, should have should have no guarded that vanguard swing. If he's if he's guarding here though. He will no guard the Ange, I think. Yeah, I think the Ange think is a so bit too. too much. But the PG probably comes out here. This one is the bigger one out yeah. of the two. Yeah, yeah. And then hard guard the last. Oh, the, the last one is still quite big. That one will be at least 30. Uh, yep, be there's 46. the PG. And yep. the other Pearl Sisters swinging in. This is actually bigger because the Yuika gets 5k more. Oh, gotcha. So it's like 51 maybe? Oh, my gosh. Is, is that how it is? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is like 28, 38, 
46-51. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it wasn't double check. <laughs> it was too much. Check out the edge. <laughs> I think. Oh, just is this bear lock? I think it is. And there we go. The whole f double double bear, bear, double bear, bear lock. <laughs> double oh bear God, lock. Just you know, board wipe yourself. Get a, get a, a huge huge guard. Uh, you know that's that's. A pretty heavy minus, but what does that really matter if uh, you get yourself another turn? He still has cards in hand to guard if he needs to. <laughs> I think Bearlock has been the MVP a lot of Steam Maiden yeah, so far. Yeah, actually. Uh, Dave doing the uh, the pose, the waiting pose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> considering what to do. Look at five force markers on Solemn's side. Uh, and what do you wow. what do you search for here? I think you can get like a you can even get a Lisa lot. I wonder yeah. if the Lisa lot's gone. Um, so you can get like a, a Katia? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe? I mean, you know, you've got like, uh, like two force markers stacked up right there. I don't know if it necessarily matters too much what you call as long as you slap it right there. Like, oh, did he not call anything? Oh. Oh, cause he can't bounce. Oh, that's a huge play. Cause Bailock throws away everything and then he can't. He actually can't bounce enough cards required to call an extra card. Wow. He only gets the force marker. I think, is that game? Ooh, it was a one to pass. Oh, one it to pass, one, one to, to pass. pass. Okay, okay. So Dave actually has a chance here. Wow. Dave has a chance. If he can stride, I think that, that, is, that could be game. Is he, is he sitting on, is that just one card in hand that he's got right he's here? Got not a lot of cards in hand, that's for sure. Yeah, very, very thin. Even without striding, he might have it. Ooh, Dave looking through the cards. Yeah. What is left? You <laughs> saw that excitement when he won to pass success. Yep, yep. Did he just top Ooh, deck a three? He d yeah, I think it was an Iglesia. Yep. Oh, wow. And that is the splish... <sighs> Okay. What okay. is this game? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I, I was thinking that this was probably wrapped up within that last turn. Uh, but you know, Dave clinging to life. I feel as like this desperately as possible. I felt like this was wrapped up a long time ago. Yeah. This is getting way, way closer. This than is this is this is what you want to see in the World Finals. You know what I mean? Like you want you want to see like these these like nail bite nail biters of matches. You know. Well, uh, let, 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 since this game has been. Crazy. Yeah. Right. There is an out for a solo anything, and that is the OT is still in the game. <laughs> yes, it is, deck. and he he can take two or he can take one hit safely. Uh, deck technically has been thinned as well. Quite a bit. Yes. This goes in. Uh, he should be able to guard this. Uh, is he gonna two card guard? No guard. The vanguard hit the OT. Yeah. And uh, then everything becomes irrelevant. Right. Yep. Yep. And then calls the two and the th two. All right, uh, double, was that double allo? Double allo, yes, yes. All right. Uh, Max seems sitting on uh, one card in hand right now. And this uh, is a no god, I think. 100% yeah, no god. 100%. Uh, I think you just kind of hope for, for OT right here. 100% the OT life. <laughs> OT in the next two cards means Solemn has a chance. First check is nothing. Second check is also nothing. And third check third is a check. blank. Three wow. blanks. Wow. Okay. And is that is a blank. <sighs> okay. Okay. And the last attack, well, last couple attacks, I think someone has to take this. There is. <laughs> oh. Yes, to pray. And that is the end. Oh, wow. 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 Dave Vex making it through to the finals after an yeah. insane what game. What an insane game. You know, what I, has I, been happening? Well, you know, I, I almost thought Maxine would have had it. You know, especially, that was close. Especially after he was just drawing everything he needed. You know, it was like, what's one more? What's one more thing that he, he draws when he needs it? But... Ooh, man, uh, luck, luck finally finally ran out. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, well, are you exhausted? That was, a, that was like, oh, wow. Yeah, oh. no, it was a roller coaster. <laughs> it was a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Yeah, of yeah. Emotions. Highest of highs, lowest of lows. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that was. Wow. I, I, I'm actually, 
I'm pretty speechless. Yeah, you know? honestly, <laughs> honestly. There was what did we just witness? A lot, a <laughs> lot went on right there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, oh. so we do have an update. Stephen Lee. Stephen Lee. Won the other bracket. He is in the finals. Okay. Facing Dave Vecht. And I think, uh, wow. Yeah. Are we going to see another another game like this? Unfortunately, Spike Brothers drops to the third and fourth player. Yeah, facing yeah. It's Maxime. But, yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. I, yeah. No. Uh, it's just I, I'm emotionally exhausted after that, that game. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I have to say that was that was the game so far. Yeah, yeah, uh, so that was uh, which it, it, I think is not only what you want from the World Finals, but also what you want to see in like the, the the top cut of World Finals as well. You want to see that kind of like intense, high level play. <laughs> very, very exciting. I want to say, like you know, you know when you start the game, you have crazy ideas yeah right and yeah. they all don't work because they're not refined right. well enough right <laughs> yeah. and then as you learn you def you refine your ideas yeah and then they become more standardized until you reach the top where you start using your crazy ideas again yeah yeah but they work and because Much you're like refined, yeah. you're better right that's kind of what that game was you know both players yeah. at the top of their game going well you know my hand is either really terrible or it's perfect. Yep. I have to play to my one out, so yep. it just comes. Yeah, it just <laughs> sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, oh, looks like we're we're going straight into uh, the the uh, championship game here. We got uh, Stephen Lee. Stephen Lee sitting down right across from Dave Vecht. And uh, if we want to talk about players who have had an amazing record this past year, uh, Stephen Lee is also one of them. Yes. Right. We talked about Maxime having a great year just then. Dave showing off that he is the the true uh, true Geek Chronicle yeah, uh, player. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Lee is the AO king. Mm. You know, uh, he I think he, in the last BR he basically stormed every single format, especially air region. I think he came first in premium. Wow. First in V. And then, like, second in standard. Yeah. At what a, what, a, what, a, what a very right. strong showing, you know. Yeah. And he also Doesn't matter the format. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna top. <laughs> and even, I think, in, uh, in, in premium for uh, EU as well, he just randomly decided to play and also top eight it as well. Well, there so, you go. Uh, yeah, he, he, had a, he had a very, very good year. And now he's going to prove it on the world stage. And this is, this is where it is. This is yeah. the finals. Yeah, right? this is it. The, the final match of the finals. Yes. Uh, does it, the only the only thing higher than this is winning the finals. Yeah, you know, and yeah. both players have a lot to prove. A lot to prove. I think they have proven that they are yeah. very strong by making they a certain. Proven far, so much already, but can can who who's going to prove it that much more? You know, who's who's going to take it over the top? Yes, and be and, uh, crowned world champion. You know, I'm pretty sure. Vect, Mr. Vect wants that next stage. Oh, it is his identity. Very very <laughs> true. That's that's a, that's a good point. I wasn't even really thinking about that. And that is not a great roll on uh, Ooh. <laughs> on Stevens. That is a three. Three. That is a three. Uh, the only thing lower than the three is a two. Yeah, true. So true. we will see if Dave uh, can uh, can roll higher than. Is that a? That was a six. Mm, so mm. it looks like Dave is going first here. Uh, pretty good for him. Yeah. Uh, Gets that I ride think that's down. Exactly what you want. Um, especially uh, after <laughs> the intense game that uh, last round was. Going first is very strong in yes, this, in this yes. matchup. <laughs> uh, but I think players will be quite surprised or unsurprised at what uh, Steven is playing because uh, Steven is known to play one deck, mm. and that is the, uh, the Highlander deck. Yeah, yeah. All right. We've seen it uh, just then. We've seen the, yep. the whimsical way, in a way, that the yeah. next team plays. Yeah. <laughs> but what will, what will uh, Steven's game be like? That's the real question. Uh, both, I think. I think we weren't. We might not see much striding. Yeah, we might uh, not see much striding. It's a, a pretty interesting for a, a format that that's kind of like it's a like a main <laughs> mechanic that you think of when you think of premium. I'm looking at Steven's hand right now, and there is one Pelsis star, and he threw away Justine as well, which is pretty good. Yeah. To uh, to. <laughs> Do well, the combos. Yeah, I mean, like, I like we saw oh. with Maxime, opening with a Pearl Sister in general is just very, very strong. Steven just, uh, we saw Klesina from Steven's side. That is a mm. huge grade two ride. 
Uh, and that is the one thing that you know some of the players joke with Steven is that he always gets that Klesina. Right. <laughs> uh, it's just, just a great, great card. <laughs> <laughs> it's an insanely good card. All uh, right. Got a nice little uh, friendly fist bump before we get into the game, and we are off to the races. Now, I do want to say as well that even if you get that double Pearl Sister early on, it doesn't mean that the game is over because we saw the resiliency yeah. of that uh, Steam Maiden deck, and yeah. one of the things of not writing down with Steam Maidens that we we didn't really mention before was the access to Beerlock. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was what kept that was huge. Yes, that was yes. absolutely massive. You have to understand when to ride down, when not to ride down, uh, and also uh, when to if you've won the match or not. Oh, this is no no damage night because he rode the Pumo. He huh. rode the Pumo. Okay, uh, so no Interana here. Uh, uh, but, but double, double Owl. Yeah, double Owl. Interesting. I think this is a no guard because we saw the Klesina. Yeah. Uh, one oh, damage. Oh, there's the Antarana. And then here is when you can guard. So I think Steven will be looking into that. Yeah. Just a quick shield. Uh, it's fine. Very, very easy guard choice right there. Yeah, I think they just... Uh, yeah, there we go. So this should just be the Klesina turn. Right there. Klesina yep. wows. Yep. <laughs> And this is just a straight up plus plus a lot. Right, this is the, yep. the, the Bermuda version of Enterano. And what does he have? Does see. he have a three? Is he is he all ready to go, I wonder? Uh, let's see. It seems he's he's really thinking it over. Uh, I didn't quite see what the, the top three that he got there was. We'll um, see soon though. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. So here is Oh, he had a one hand. We we actually just don't see it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a trigger. There's a trigger there. Mm. There could be two triggers, actually. So I think he's just reconsidering. That is an Aqua. The Aqua doesn't really have anything good to bounce, though. So um, that might be why he's thinking. But then you have to call two yeah. triggers out, which is not cool. Yeah. Not not what anybody really wants to see. You want those on your drives and your damage checks, not on board. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, and well, this is going to be a hard, hard yeah. choice. Hard choice. These early game decisions are very, very important because yeah. this is where a lot of it is. And that is double crit, and they're all 4K, so they don't really hit any really good numbers. Yeah. They do allow you to strive, though, which is very good. Um, oh, I think he actually does want to just put the Aqua Bat into the hands. Huh. Alrighty. It's fine. Yep. He technically can just call the Grade 1 as well and just push some damage, mm -hmm. you know? Let's see? Oh. Uh, Is he going to play aggressive with this? I wonder. Yeah. Um, Puts the 10k on the on the rear guard there. He can aqua and bounce that back. Okay. Then yep. Draw one. Get a heal guardian. Definitely uh, going to come in handy, I imagine. Ooh, Let's but see. what what do you what do you discuss, sir? Uh, is that the Tiruwa? Yeah, looks I think that looks like, like a it. Now, this is awesome to get Heal Guardian, though, I feel like. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Let's see. Does Is Dave sitting on a Heal Guard? I can't quite tell. This should be 14. Intercept right there. Uh, Klesina in. You can get a trigger. I think this should be a no guard. Yep, no guard. Oh, that's the other Pearl Sister. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> And that stops the wow. trigger stops the entire turn right yep, there. Yep, yep. But we do have double Pearl Sisters ready to go on Steven's yep. side. What is going to happen? We have the Anglisa come out on the uh, on, on Dave's side. Just like you'd expect. So yeah. we have the ride down. but A play we've seen many, many times today. This might be pretty damaging because if, uh, if we rise down to two, no more access to heal guardians, um, and then... He'll get punished because those yeah. lines will be hitting top. Very, very massive. Yes, yes. Going uh, straight in the time leaper. But the good thing about Dave's deck is it is kind of tailored to fight the grade two match. He is running the mm. Rolox. Yes. So that will yeah. help a lot. And I think that is correct. I think Dave's build currently, when, whenever you see it, yeah. is a very, very good build that is tailored for the format. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know if we've seen any Rolex in his hand, um, but I imagine probably just going to try and uh, dig from him as much as possible. 
If he gets them, he gets them. Yeah, but yeah. if he doesn't, that's uh, that's also how it is. Yep. Got the uh, Entorana coming down right here. So uh, able to four attacks. Yeah. Uh, I think it's still pretty pretty good, pretty safe. Uh, getting an Elul here. Elul will be either a good uh, good card for later on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you ride back up. Or even just as a rear guard right now. Yeah, yeah. Calling the Nabu. The oh, Nabu wow. will sneak in a damage. Yeah. Seen a, like a, a fair amount of that today, both from Dave and uh, some of the other Steam Maiden players that we've uh, had on stream today. Ooh, and the Nabu coming in now. 20k. Having you need a, you need a 15k trigger to guard this, pretty much. So he's just uh, gonna take just it. Just gonna take it. Yeah, that's probably probably uh, the correct move right there. And Dave digging even deeper. And Tirana going in. This is also this is only a 19k, so a 10k shield. Ooh. Hmm. I think we'll. Uh, it's not a bad take, but. The damage differential will be quite big. The Time Leaper yeah. will do another attack, calling out that Interana again. Um, do you, is, is Steven just willing to go to higher damage here? I'm, I'm yeah, I think he definitely seems to be mulling that over. Um, I guess it depends. Does, does he even need the damage, though? Two damage might be nice uh, for some plays, because you can go into a... Uh, you can ride back down to the Klesina, mm to get another card right, uh, at for one CB. And then if you go into something like a Lupina uh, or an Ange, right, mm -hmm. that's another CB mm -hmm. that's good. Uh, and we do have the two, two Pearl Sisters as well. So yeah. uh, that, could be, that, that could be the play. But will he take this? He's taken so much. Yeah, yeah. See, it doesn't look like Dave is going to be able to actually use the Time Leaper skill. He doesn't have the uh, the CB open. Looks like he expended that for uh, Entorana, I think. Yeah, yeah. So uh, pretty pretty uh, conservative turn here. Uh, just trying to make the most of, of what he's got right here. He actually goes for the Entorana anyway. Oh, wow. Um, not able to call it the Cats, but that's just, uh, that's just how it is. Yeah, you know. <laughs> still four attacks. Still four attacks. Four attacks is still good. Uh, Steven would just shuffle the deck and decide whether he wants to guard or not. Uh, but wow. Wow, this is a... Uh, uh, if, if he doesn't guard, it'd go to four. Yeah. That's, that's the problem. That's, uh, that's, not, that's not where you want to be very, very early in the game like this. Uh, I feel like three is already kind of an itchy spot to be in when you're on grade two, but... Uh, we'll see. Uh, he's he's taking the four. Okay, going to four. Uh, going to five. Actually, wow. I think we saw a crit. Okay. Did, we, did we see a crit? I, w I didn't see the drive checks. <laughs> the, it's it's there. It's five yeah. to one. Yep. And he can definitely guard the last attack. Guarding the heal. Does he not have a good three? I wonder. Is that the mm. is that the question? Yeah. Oh no, he has the, he has an I think it's an orange. It's an orange double pearl sister. Okay. okay, so draw into an Aqua. Huh. But Ange isn't the best enabler of the Pearl Sisters. Mm -hmm. That's the issue. Uh, all right, so he's, he's going for it. Uh, and I feel like this is probably the do or die moment right here. This, um, this actually, yeah, this definitely is the do or die moment. Uh, you, either, you either clinch it here or you uh, just kind of hope and pray on the, uh, the RNG to maybe give you the trigger checks that you need to survive the next turn. Yeah, and I think you're just going to throw them down and just go. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only out. You win this yeah. turn. Uh, Might as well, like, uh, you know, if you, if you can't really uh, plan to have a next turn, just throw it all on this turn, you know? Oh, he's, he's, gonna, he's actually just going to go all in. Puts it on that booster. And then now we'll drop both, I think. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't see why you wouldn't at this point. Like, I don't think Dave's hand was that big either. So yeah. This is a real possibility. I think uh, choking him at one uh, really kind of helped to try and you know, stave off a lot of the plussing of the uh, Entoranas there. Yeah, yeah. 
Because the Enteranas need to be boosted, and if you can't boost, then if you don't have the, yeah, the you cats, don't get a you don't call them out from the Enterana. It's, uh, it's pretty rough. And there it is. There they are. <laughs> Double Pearl <laughs> Sisters. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and this is now... Ugh, how, how will this turn go? Does Dave have the cards in the hand to guard this? It all comes down to this. Uh, a Rolock? Uh, there's a Rolock. Oh, that's, oh that's, he's got another Rolock. That's huge. That, yeah, right that is huge. That is absolutely huge. Double Rolock, I think, is going to basically win the game. Yeah. Win no, the game. 100%. 100%. Unless, unless uh, Steven can have just some absolutely over the top drive checks. And even then, I still don't know. I, if I don't can, think so, too. You can too. get that with the, the, the Rolocks. He, he needs here. to do five damage here. Rolox are denying four damage already. Yeah, yeah. And he's put a lot of power on these uh, on these boosters. The second Rolox is shown. Uh, and I think the question now is, do you attack a rear or something? Or, but I think Arch has to attack yeah. a Vanguard to, to be able to... But like we saw earlier today, too, uh, damage denying steam mages doesn't necessarily matter too much because of how free Shlishma is. Yes, yes. But I think the the question here is maybe if you attack the rears, does uh, does Dave have enough cards to maybe replace? It? He does have a mm. lot of cards, but are they he quality does. cards, yeah. right? Uh, and then with the Highlander, right, doing more damage to the Schlishma, you know, I mean, to the to Dave might not be that useful anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what uh see what Steven does here. Yeah, what he ends up doing here. Uh, it's definitely definitely thinking it over. Uh, this is this is like uh, again like where where the nail biters kind of come in because you're sitting there like any any move uh, could make or break uh, the rest of the game for you. Getting a Kutya, that could be good just yeah. to get a card that you you need and then you can get Sandy. I think he's eyeing over those two cards. Uh, but I don't think even even that I don't think is enough to really save him. Because remember, like, four of these cards are just, like, not triggers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's grabbing the Q-Tire. The rock, rock Army doing very well. Double Rocks. Yep. Makes, this is power of Rocks. Yeah, yeah. No, that's... Uh, it's been a, a very prominent card in premium in general. I think, uh, like, mostly saw it quite a bit in uh, Nightmare Dolls uh, over uh, Springfest. Uh, and then now, uh, I think uh, it's just kind of kind of caught on from there. Any any deck that can go back down to grade two can uh, make very very good use of Rollock. So I think here you get the Sandy, and then what he's gonna do? There it is. There right. we go. Okay. So we we so interesting thing. He has the uh, the the, thing, the Rukius was it called the three K? Yeah. So he can technically call the Rukius down with a G guard. And then get some extra pal on yeah. the Vanguard. That might help him survive the the Steam Maiden turn. Dave taking a look at the uh, all the cards revealed, kind of uh, sizing up what uh, is uh, still there. If Steven can trigger a heal here, I think he might be might have a just shot. in good shape. Yeah, because yeah. uh, we know he has one heal guard, but if he can get another and just heal down to four, could be good. Yeah, yeah. Doing the shuffle, and these are going to be some very, very important drive checks right now. It's a no guard on Dave's side. First check, the reindeer. Second check is another reindeer. That is not what you want to see. No, that maybe maybe that's what you wanted to see uh, at the start of the turn. Yes, uh, not yes. not on your drive checks though. <laughs> yep, and that just lowers a huge amount of shield in that hand. Yeah, that's uh, not like if, if you're Steven right now. That's uh, gotta feel pretty. Pretty bad right about now. Yeah, and then the Katia attacks into actually just one of the Interanas. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dave takes that. All right, and uh, pass to Dave. And now we see if, if if this is the turn that is going to make Dave Vect the premium world champion. Second, Eng the English comes down for the second force marker. Gonna see that stride, discards that Elul, goes into the Schlishma. 
This is the car that has just been powering Steam Maidens like crazy. All season. All season. <laughs> all season and all day. Um, That's right. Like, like, like we mentioned earlier, I don't think we've seen a single Gear Chronicle player stride anything other than Shalishma. That's right, because there's just no need. There's just no need. When, when a card does as much as Shlishma does, like, why, why would you want to? Why would you ask for anything else? Exactly. Honestly? Exactly. Another Entirana comes down. Uh, but is this the only plays that are going to be happening right now? Interesting. Mm, this is uh, how many binds? So I think it's like a 20K. So a 10K shield will be enough. Yeah. But does he, does he even have 10K shield? That's the real question. Ooh, there it is. Drops a f is that a 10 or a 15? Either 15, way, it 15. guards. And the, uh, getting the, the skill off, getting more plus, getting more Enteranas. More Enteranas, you know? Why not, why not plus four, <laughs> potentially? This is a 30k attack. So if you want a G-Guard, this is one of the times when you might want to do it. Uh, Again, that hand doesn't look good at all. No. Uh, you know, it's not, not, not necessarily a small hand, but the quality of the hand just isn't quite there. So here comes the G-Guard into likely the Rukias. I think you just Citron this one. And this one allows him to call a card from hand. And this will just give the plus 10k. Yeah. So now Andre's 23k. Uh, ease the, the, the guarding pains this turn. There's a PG in the hand. So the reindeer is a good, good place to PG. We'll discard for a PG. And the Inglisa comes out. It's a 33k, or 43k Inglisa, because he yep. gets an extra 10k from a Shlishma skill. Calling on an Alul as well. And that Alul is 20. But the Alul should... Can it get bigger? I think it can, right? Uh, I think so too, yeah. So um, it should be able to hit over. Looks so like a this is a PG. Dropping the PG right here. It's got a reindeer. Yep, yep. And let's see the drive checks. A heal. Puts it on the Alol. Yep. The second check is nothing, and the third check is a crit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yep, second that on the Iglesia. So I'm, f I'm feeling like maybe uh, Steven is going to need to take one of these attacks, and it can't be the one with the critical. Yeah. But th that is the biggest attack as well. That is the... Uh, yep. It's like 53 now? Yeah. Steven's, I think, sitting on six cards in hand right now. Oh, that's uh, the OT! There's the... Ooh. That's oh, boy. Okay, well... Uh, He'll need a heal. A heal might s heal on six might save him from uh, from the game. Yep. Because uh, this is now 35. Shlishma coming down. The Alul is 30, it looks like. And then it's going to turn into a Elul or an Inglisa, and then, which is a 33, which will turn into a Shlishma that's a 35. Yeah. So I think this is where you get that heal. Uh, and you might be able to live this turn. We actually haven't seen that many six damage shields. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know if we've seen any today. Actually, I don't think we've any seen any uh, six damage OTs either. Yeah, uh, so it's well, we wouldn't see one. Well, yes, yeah, not 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 from Steven's side, anyways. Yeah, but hey, as, uh, I think he has to do it. Yeah, as uh, as painful as it can be, uh, you know, what other option do you have at this point? You got it. You got to chat channel the Maxim Solemn. Yeah, get yeah. That, uh, <laughs> Draw the out simply. That's right. Play to your outs. You know. <laughs> This is this is that uh, this is that scene. Yeah, where, this uh, is uh, you're gonna take, you're gonna gonna choose, and here it is. Oh, and that's is. a wow. Yui card. There so you go. There Dave you have Vect. it. Dave Vect is your, is your new <laughs> premium world, world champion. champion. Wow. wow, wow, he went. Wow, he went zero one on his first round, yep. and then went for the reverse sweep. The reverse sweep all the way up. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, and I mean, that caps out an incredible year for Dave. Absolutely. Absolutely incredible year. It's, it's, 
what, what more to say? He, he played some amazing games. Yes. Yeah. This whole tournament, and the same same can be said for Steven as well. Steven did very very good. Uh, yes. But just yeah. coming slightly short, right? Just, just didn't, didn't, didn't quite short. have the pieces he needed to really try and uh, make a comeback in that at all. <laughs> Riding that Ange, I think, is uh, not really kind of what uh, set him down the uh, that path there, I think. Yeah. Uh, it seems that everyone who seemed to have drawn those Pearl Sisters yeah. did it. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe not so much of a blessing. Maybe a little bit more of a, a of curse Of a curse, there. right. Of a curse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Wow. Dave Vect, your 2022 BCS World Champion. Big congratulations. Uh, and thank you. It's, it's, it was, it's been a great day. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. It's been a great day. We got through it. Uh, <laughs> man, uh, I think uh, we're uh, going to go to a break here, I think. Yeah. Um, here soon. And uh, a very short break. And when we come back, we will be live with the award ceremony. So uh, stick around. You don't want to miss it.
and introducing your top players for Card 5 Vanguard's standard format. In third place, we have Nick Amato. In second place, we have Romain Wang. And finally, your champion, Alexandre Kwan. Congratulations, all the players. Yes, yes, cheers, guys. And next up, we have the top players for Car Fight Vanguard V Premium format. So in fourth place, we have Deshaun McNeil. In third place, we have Antonio Tut. In second place, Charlie Tran. And your champion for Car 5 Vanguard V Premium Format, Kevin Cho! Let's hear another round of applause, guys. Let's go! Next up, we have the top players for the Car Fight Vanguard Premium Format. In fourth place, Eduardo Ruiz. In third place, Maxime Solem. And in second place, Stephen Lerr. And your champion for the premium format, Dave Vect. Another round of applause for our top players, guys. Let's go. Next up, we have your top players for the Vice Schwartz. Right, in fourth place, we have Gordon Lai. In third place, we have Matthew Mead. In second place, Michael Doolittle. And your champion for Vice Schwartz, William Tang.
All right, big congratulations to all the players. We, you know, go back to the casters for the last word. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. <laughs> Not going to lie, I'm very tired. It's been, a, it's been a good one, though. Uh, despite all that tiredness, I, I don't think I would trade it. Uh, I've had an absolute blast today. It's been, uh, it's been great. very fun uh, meeting you, uh, working together today. I feel good like job, we, we brought it home. We brought it home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the real people who brought it home as well is the champions. Yes, absolutely. Maybe, maybe we'll get that top absolutely. eight bracket again. You know? We can just yeah. take a quick look at that before we swap over. Otherwise, the winner, Dave Vect, worked very hard. Yes. Got it all yeah. the way home. We uh, got to see, uh, I think, uh, three games of his today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, some some uh, reverse sweep moments as well. Been very, very hype. Uh, been very, very exciting. And uh, yes, uh, with Stephen Lee second, Maxim's on third, fourth place, Carl's yep. Spike Brothers, right? Yep, yep. Pretty yep. good, pretty good top four, yeah, right? Absolutely, Diverse. absolutely. Can't be uh, mad at that at all, at all. And uh, with that, <coughs> I think we're nearing the end of our stream. Uh, any, I guess, any any final words you have to say? Honestly, um, I mean, other than just you know, like the congratulations to our champions. Uh, uh, I think, uh, I guess, just thank you to everybody for coming out, uh, for everybody hanging out on stream, everybody being here, uh, participating, uh, showing up, spectating uh, here live with us here in LA, uh, joining in all the side events. Uh, it's just been an absolute blast. Uh, it's been a uh, uh, very, very, very exciting. Yeah, this is the the one time uh, Wells has been. In LA, yeah, right, compared yeah. to everyone else. First and time stateside. Yeah, stateside. I hope it does still travel around the world. Yeah, It'll yeah. Be very, very fun to just meet everyone. There's, there were so many people today. I, I was really, really surprised. Normally in Japan, yeah. it's usually the, the, the competitors, and that's kind of it. But this, we had huge spectators, a lot of people Absolutely. joining, a lot of people just wanting to meet people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that's the. Uh, that's the beauty of the game. Yeah. Right? It brings people together. Absolutely. It brings everyone together, and you can uh, keep on playing and, and doing what you like doing best. Yeah. Uh, what I is what is the best? What was the best game today? What was the best game today? <sighs> best game today. I think uh, for me, it's it's a tie between two. Yeah. Uh, of course, you know we've mentioned it a lot already. The uh, Luard Gize, uh, which I believe I heard uh, placed tenth. Tenth. So uh, just just shy of that top eight, but still a very strong showing for something that I don't think anybody really expected to see uh, yeah. here today at all. Uh, and then uh, the other one is uh, that that uh, game in the finals between uh, Maxime and Dave. Uh, yeah, because I <laughs> what a whirlwind that game was! It looks like it's going one way, and it goes a completely different way. Very very exciting to watch. I have to say that was my favorite too. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the Maxime versus Vec game. Whew. That is pulse that pounding. Is, yeah, pulse pounding. Really, really, really good. And uh, yeah, I just want to say uh, thank you all uh, for watching as well. Without you, without everyone watching, the plays, all the supporters, we wouldn't have you. We wouldn't have this game. We, we wouldn't, wouldn't have, have, this, have this, game. this game. We wouldn't be here. You That's know, right. we wouldn't be That's here right. joining in with everybody here, enjoying this this amazing community. And I, I really, I think that really, uh, at the end of the day, you know, we have our champions, but I think we're all winners because yeah. we have this very amazing community that's, that's kind right. of built up around this game, and honestly, I'm just eternally thankful yeah. for it. So. And some of them have one more than others. So. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, that is that that will be us, I think. I'm yeah. Kai. You can follow me on uh, Transgram at uh, Twitter. Yep, and Tie I'm Fighter? Tie Fighter, and same thing. I'm not. I, it's I know it's a, it's a funky spelling, but if you if you really want to find me, you can do it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and that, thank you, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day, evening, or morning. Yeah, whatever it might be for you. Thank you, everybody. Bye.